All right, guys, we're live. It's me versus Professor Pwn, Saffron versus Deathwing, a uh, new dragon DLC. Should be fun. Um, as far as my build, I'm going to be going for the new Dragon Hoarder. So I have the mechanic where basically, let me show you guys real quick. Um, it is called Artifact Hoarders. So the dragon characters can't use as many items. But um, when you hoard items, it, it gives you mana and it also gives you gold for just being a dragon. So that's kind of what I'm doing with industry. And uh, we also are using the new Lizard Race, which has a poisonous trait, which is fun. And what are you doing, Pwn? You doing a, a Chaos Dragon? Yes, uh, just all chaos is, is pretty much the game plan here. Right on, with, yeah. With the, with the new tomes. So Pwn is doing, like, I'm doing an undead dragon, so Saffron is going to be raising, because the whole undead system got reworked completely. It's, like, apparently much more efficient now. Um, and Pwn is going to be doing the evolved dragons, like Pokemon, with chaos. So he's going to be using the new dragon tomes, whereas I probably won't. I'm going to be kind of focusing on undead, but we'll be doing, you know, probably we might even do another dragon stream sometime this week, so... Uh yeah, I know, dude. It's so fun. The dragon, the dragon stuff is rad. Uh, you ready, man? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's fire it up. We got two random rulers for us to feast on too, which is gonna be great. My only regret is that I couldn't get a metal jaw. I know. I know. I was looking for that too. It's bleak. I, I went. I, I was like going through all the. I was hoping that I could like, you know how it has like the, uh, uh, it's something with an O. I can't think of what the hell, the exact thing is, but it's like where you like decorate your dragon, sort of. Hmm. And I was trying to find one that would, like, if I could make his jaw like look white at the very least, it would, I could I could pass it off. But. Yeah, this is it's it's grim, brother. Here's here's artifact hoarders, by the way. Gain a tier two or three hero item after clearing an ancient wonder or infestation, uh, which is awesome for your secondary heroes. The dragons can't really use too many items, um, and also you gain mana for each item that you're hoarding, which is very fun. Um, and we have mana addicts as well, just to get astral and. Uh, Soulfire, new, the undead spell got changed. It doesn't cost souls anymore. So you can auto-resolve as undead, which is great. So let's do a little bit of prospecting, right? So we get items in the mountains, and then suddenly we are, uh, you know, we're sitting pretty. So soul collection is, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is a sustained world spell, spell where you get six souls per turn, but it costs 30 gold. But with Dragon Horde, it's really not that hard to do. So I'm pretty excited for that. All right, so we're going to do some autos. Oh, the dragons have, um, they have breath attacks too. So they start with breath attacks. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to auto this pwn. Yeah. All right, didn't lose anything, which is great. Got some souls. Outstanding. And, and you said that they kind of updated, uh, like the, mul the multiple multiplayer? Um, they updated, uh, yeah, the, for multiplayer, they made it so there's, I mean, what I saw in the patch notes was a lot less issues with like crashing and whatnot. So that's pretty big. Um, all right. Hadries can play with us again. <laughs> yeah, we can have we can have actual gameplay, yeah. All right, we're going to go out here a little bit and take a look at the map. So there are four players and I'm like right in the middle. What the hell is this? All right, let's then uh you shall die. I kind of feel that way, dude. Okay, so he's going to hustle down this way and we'll pass turn. I had to look at where I was on the map before I decided to oh. to make my move. Oh, look at that dragon. So he starts with Dragon Claw, which is like his main attack. They all start with that. But we also started with a Ring of Regeneration from our Dragon Hoarder trait, which is really good. And we started with Max Mask of Precision, um, which is being hoarded right now. So you can see in the Dragon Sword, we're currently making three gold from Dragon Sword because we only have one item being hoarded. But as we find more in the mountains from prospecting, see, boom, that's going into our Dragon Sword. We're making more money. It's, uh, it's a really, really fun strategy. Okay, so let's get you. Keep moving down. I know, we might even be able to do some FFAs and stuff now. It's going to be great. They also made, like, teching way, way uh, more expensive. Like, like the skill tree stuff, it takes longer to get, like, abilities in general, so. Uh, all right. It's got a nymph. <laughs> oh, no! What is this? Like, that was an incredibly easy fight. <laughs> You're not even supposed to have that yet. Oh, no. Okay, I don't know where my infestation is. It's probably down here somewhere. Granted, we have some nodes we can come beat up here. So let's head down this way. Go, go, dragon. Evil dragon. <laughs> All right, so we can go prospecting here. Yes. So prospecting is just so much fun. It's, it's just the greatest thing. Oh, cannot queue at this moment. Interesting. Oh, okay. So it, it actually has like a little pop-up message. 
for multiplayer now. It says like, oh, you know, your opponent's doing something and you can't do this because of X, Y, and Z. Okay, so let's start on the uh, worker's farmstead. Requires a forester, which we do have one nearby. So let's do this. Track population. Pop that down there. Um, I'm going to fight this bone just to show everyone what the dragon looks like in combat. I don't need to fight it, and this will be the only time I'll really do it until I need to fight again. But yeah, you guys get to see the dreaded dragon in combat. So they're pretty beefy. They start with 100 HP. Other rulers start with a little bit less. And they have this uh, breath attack, which is which is pretty good. Um, you can move and use it too. So let's get you here. We're playing industry. We're playing reptile industry, and we're using one of the new um, race traits, which is um, poisonous. So when people hit us, they get poisoned, basically. I don't think it's like the most competitive thing in the world, but it's really cool. So we're going to bolster our dragons, and then we'll pass turn. So now we can use soul fire. So this is a spell. It used to cost souls. It doesn't anymore. So we could pop that here. And it does good damage. See? Then the dragon can fly up. And do this. Oh, ho, ho, look at the breath attack. Oh, that's so cool. And it does a lot of damage, too. It's actually, like, not a bad ability by any stretch. All right. So only... Why do I have a 5% to hit that thing? Jeez. Okay. Well, anyways. Let's start nailing these guys. So that's the dragon breath attack right there. Uh-huh. Knock it down and knock it down. So Pwn was saying that the AI loves to target your uh, your dragons. Did they just not get to move or something? Oh, wait. Oh, dude, the dragon breath has a 30% chance of freezing them. The shadow dragon. Yeah. So it just like snared the whole army. Wow. That's pretty good. Lucky. I literally got a, a snare on every unit in that force. Okay, that's right. I'm a man addict, so we got to better cast something here. This is just another case of classic streamer lucker. Streamer luck, yeah. So that's the breath attack. Ho oh, ho ho! Big dragon. All right. <laughs> evil dragon. My dragon is so evil, dude. You have no idea. And now you have the new um, dragon tech trees. So you have the dragon lord tech, and then you have the standard tech trees, which have been reworked as well. Um, but we're going to go for Draconic Health. This gives stats. Uh, Tail Swipe is another attack. I think we're going to go for Draconic Health just to make it tankier. I, I can give my, my... Since I'm feudal, I can get, I can make my dragon a feudal lord too. That's really nice. That's a, that's a cool synergy. Okay, so we need to get another Pioneer here. We finished that building. Um, we can start on the old uh, Stonemason, which is usually what you want to do next if you're industry. The most evil of dragons. It's a nice little area for a city evil down here. Of dragons. Oh, dude, I'm so evil. I'm al I'm already evil alignment. Okay, you have me beat then. I don't. I'm just like I'm just kind of kind of lame over here. I am the chosen destroyer. <laughs> what what Pwn and I were curious about is if we do race transformations like Whiteborn, does it turn my undead into or my dragon into an undead? Um, which would be really interesting. Yeah. Did they do... do uh, so, yeah, there's there's the Dragon Lord. And I'll show you in between turns. We'll look at the new tomes together. Um, soul Overflow. Yes, that's fine. So, Soul Collection has a 30 gold upkeep. Man, that's really expensive. So, I don't know if that's worth doing quite yet until we expand a little bit more. But we will eventually. Okay. See, all these items are going into our Dragon Sword, though. You can currently see we're getting 9 gold plus 1 from uh, the Tier 1 item we got. So, pretty rad. Uh, let's head over to these mountains over here. Do a little prospecting. More dragon sword. You can see our income going up, which is really fun. <laughs> oh, giant fight, dude. We're about to have a giant battle here. Okay, we almost have enough for the military engineering, which is good. That's in the works. Let's go ahead and speed this guy along, because I need to go find that infestation nearby. I have no idea where it is. The dragon transforms on level 4 and 12. Got it. Okay. Thank you. I haven't, like... This is my first time really diving into it, so some of you guys may have seen more, but, um... Can this thing evolve? It's a Pokemon? A fighter unit? I could use it in my army. Why the hell not? Let's have a flight on there. Pokemon. We're Pokemoning, dude. Got to buy it. Okay. Should be an easy auto here. Just a couple scout units. 
Yes, dragon. Yes, ring of the vicious killer. Dude, I love the dragon sword. Our mana goes up too, so you can see we're getting 12 mana from our artifact horde also. Oh, so fun. All right. So we got the wand of healing. That's pretty useful for us, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, so the dragon breath pwn, correct me if I'm wrong. So when you level your dragon, you know how you get the different breath attack options? Those are just different like variants, right? Yeah, so you can go cone. Yeah. Which is a three a three hex. You can go comet, which is a one hex, like it's more of a sniping type thing. Yeah. It, and then you have the line, which is like a five, hmm. a, a five just like dead straight line. The the breath one, the the comet definitely seems safest. Com comet, yeah. I mean, like if you want to keep your dragon in the back. Yeah. Like you want, you're gonna want to comet if you're. A giga chad like myself and uh <laughs> and you're and you're like i'm playing a dragon i'm gonna use cone because <laughs> because cone yeah the cone does the same amount as the comet um oh wait range breath attack that deals damage to all units in a one hex radius oh wait so the oh so it still hits things around that one hex right or yeah. is it so it's not just single target then it's like around the one hex yeah well we'll, we'll do the comet we'll, we'll try it out all right, should be fine. So we got the big man here. We can start. Can you on... get dragon heroes? You cannot. Nope. You you just recruit whatever your race heroes are. Well, only one big dragon. Okay, so I'm not quite ready for that fight yet, which is fine. We'll head out this way. Found the infestation. And that's very lucky. And uh, you're still doing your turn. Uh, no. Okay. I'm waiting on other players. Oh, pass. Yeah, we'll go for the Comet. Comet seems fun. Okay, so we found a Desecrated Temple, which is Tier 2. Probably can't take that quite yet. Tail attack is crazy. Man, it seems like you guys got all the intel. Soul Collection is 30. We still can't afford that quite yet. It's so like the first tail attack is just like an AoE, but if you get the upgrade of it, it... It, it, like, displaces and stuns. That's really nice. Oh, can I reach it? Oh, I can't quite reach it. It's the worst. Okay, and it looks like we found... Did we finally find a free city? So, th yeah, these are the same as us. Okay, so that's one of our... I could give them a Whispering Stone for now, but I'm probably going to go Karate Chop them at some point. I would wager... Oh, that is a haunted graveyard. That's like a legit fight there. They have like little zombies and shit. Hmm. Spooky. I wonder if I could take it. What is it? A a, a bone dragon? Have a dragon duel? <laughs> to become the undead dragon, you must beat the undead dragon. No kidding, dude. No kidding. Yeah, the prospecting stuff seems a lot smoother now for sure. Like being able to see the uh, like have that like tooltip is is pretty helpful. Yeah, oh. I like the the UI update they did for that. Dude, I'm just getting so many items for my dragon sword. I don't know if it's good, but it's like, man, it's fun. All right, let's get you in there. Then do this, do that. Okay, so five seventeen should be able to win a couple of these. I think we can. So 150 per hero defeated. We'll get that when we eventually end up fighting a hero. Okay, that looks fine. Outpost is founded. Deathwing is chaos. Yeah, he's playing a because chaos Death dragon. Deathwing is all about fire in liquid hot magma. <laughs> liquid hot magma. Okay, we need to... Trying to bring about the cataclysm. Yeah, good times, man. Good times for all. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there will be much uh, joy and celebrations to be had. Let's get the Arcane Institute and turn. All right. So I think we roll down and try the Haunted Graveyard. So hang him from the gate is a message. I'll take the money. Let's go ahead and just take his money. We'll ransom him. Dude, we're about to have a dragon fight. Are you ready for this? No. Oh. It's going down, man. There can only be one. The, dra the dragon duel. The bone dragon versus, uh, versus me. Okay. Can you make a gold dragon? Yeah, you can. You can, yeah. After 
like Pone and I finish the, like the main course of the stream, we'll um, I'll go through and show you guys like all the stuff too. Yeah, like obviously whatever affinity you choose for your dra your dragon will develop what kind of uh, yeah. So the like damage and stuff you do. Yeah. So each affinity you choose, like you can choose one for each affinity type, and it gives you a different breath attack, and also gives you that affinity. So I chose a shadow dragon. Because obviously I wanted to go like towards the undead tech and play like, you know, um, little saffron. Oh, I can't use the assassin's dagger because I'm a dragon. I guess he can't hold that tiny little dagger in his clutches there. Yes, or order is gold. And you and you do uh you do the spirit damage, I guess, is what it's called. Bone golem or soul binders? Soul binders is probably pretty good. Bone golems, I know they like buffed a lot of the un un base undead stuff. Is that you? No, the halfling? No, it's someone else. Okay. I, I found a, a halfling. This is, this is a bronze tier one, and it's, uh, it's telling me that it's that hard. You gonna die, bro? Uh, I'm not gonna fight it just yet. <laughs> you gonna we're, die to the bronze? The bronze keep. We're, we're gonna put it on hold. Yeah. Okay, so then we'll do the Masonic calls next, which requires two quarries. Shit, Perhaps I, I shall go do this Gorgonzola I found. The dreaded Gorgonzola. God, dude, I'm about to fight a risky battle. Ugh, why is it risky? I guess it's because it has a mythic bone dragon. Oh. <laughs> just just the big mythic dragon coming for me. Oh, God, it's making me nervous. I know one of the undead ones where it's got the sarcophaguses and stuff. No, it's not a wonder. It's like oh. a it's a haunted graveyard. But that one's actually slightly tough. Go, my minions. Keep Keep going in the mountains. I, I played it uh, last night. I was doing it, and like the necro, they have they have that bone dragon, and I killed it. Mm. And, and there's a necromancer unit, and they can bring back an undead unit. You know, like what they can either summon an undead, or if it is undead, it comes back with like fifty percent of its health. Oh my god! So they re-raise the bone dragon. I was like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> that's and rough. Uh, <laughs> oh, I found you, bro. Look at Pone, Deathwing the Destroyer. Ho oh, ho ho. Okay, let's attack. We're evil after all, so. Auto combat. Oh, okay, I got level four, which is gonna help, and we got a storm scale scarpent. Ooh, I'll take that. I will take that all the way to the bank. That will help us win that fight. Now we got the signature ability. Oh, so with your dragon, okay, so this is new, guys. You choose an aspect when you level up, huh? So this gains soul drain, reducing morale and applying soul bound, and you deal units. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. So you can choose different aspects. This one gives you faithful and status resist. This one gives you HP and watchful, which gives you extra retaliations. This one gives you critical chance and defense, deals 10 damage per negative aspect, and astral. Oh, that's so cool. We're going to go Shadow, obviously, because it drains souls and applies morale penalties, which is like everything you want with this faction, so. Your soul is mine. Exhilarating Roar. Okay, so Strengthened. Ancient Governor. Oh, that's really good. Gives knowledge, shitty stability. Oh, sign me up for that. Hell yeah. He's, he is the Ancient Governor, after all, dude. Okay, I'm going to try and... Oh, I'm going to try and auto this. Although, what is this one? For every two turns, allies defend... Gain Rally and Fortune. Ooh, that could be, like, something bad. So let's actually just be patient and not be a potato for once. Okay, so that's going down. You guys want to see me lose my whole army in the first couple turns? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> feel like it's going to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and we can attract pop. Seraphon looks awfully lot like a black dragon to me. It looks a little different, but like I was, I was like kind of banking on the undead transformation. I was like, oh, you know, that'll, that'll get it done. How awesome would it be if you had a white dragon that was turned to it? That would be cool. That's it. Because of you turn, these guys are mercenaries and they have to learn a lesson. And they have to pay the price. And huh? that's on you. Oh God. Okay. I didn't want to do it. You just couldn't help yourself. You forced my hand. This haunted graveyard is not going to be an easy fight. But I do have a storm serpent now, so I'm feeling a little better about it. Uh, I'm going to try and auto this and see what happens. It's a risky battle, but I mean, I feel like I... Oh, uh, that actually is okay. 
Like, I wanted to replace both those units, so that is more than fine. Oh, oh, dude, have you ever gotten a tier four item? The Staff of Inyok? I have. During the first three turns of combat, a decaying zombie is summoned next to the hero every turn. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's perfect for my Necromancer hero. Oh. <laughs> yes, dude. Sign me up for that. All right. Guys, it's it's escalating. Things are things are going down. All right. Yelling timber. We almost have enough to do the necromancer uh, the thing as well. That's really well because our other heroes can use items. The dragon is just limited; like he can't use the pimp staff because he's got his giant claws. But the staff will we'll, we'll have a necromancer support hero. Um, he can use rings. That's it. Yeah, dude, that item is awesome. Pony, are you trembling, dude? I'm going to get a decayed zombie every turn now. All right, now you're not. That's true. But eventually, <laughs> it's, com it's coming for you. No, the dragon can't hold the staff, but somebody else can. The arcane. Yeah, a wizard dragon. Dragon is going to be a wizard. You watch out. Waiting player decision. We're going to get soul binders. Our soul count will increase soon. Soon we'll use the uh, soul collection, which gives us six souls, souls per turn, but, um... Yep, adding it to the old dragon sword, baby. I almost didn't go industrial for this. Oh, I don't know if I meant to go that way, but that's all right. Could be worse. This map has a ton of mountains, bro. It has a ton. I see that. I'm like, I'm just like the prospector king here. Um... Oh, by the way, so if a free city starts hostile with you, you can use the uh, primal check where you can try and intimidate them into being like non not hostile with you. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't care to do that. I'd rather just attack them. So <laughs> you you can use it on other things too. Yeah, you gotta check your primal privilege, dude. I just got a bone wyvern mount. How cool is that? <laughs> if only your dragon could ride dragons. All right, so Materium Adepts, Sniper, oh, range and accuracy, that's pretty cool. Grants double the morale bonus to killing enemies. Well, I want somebody who's going to use the staff. So I guess having Inspiring would be most useful. This unit grants double morale bonuses to its allies when killing an enemy. Hmm. So the staff is definitely more of like a support unit. Granted, I don't really have the best choices. So what I'm going to do is take the Materium out up just to get extra Materium. Um, and just, you know, he'll just level up. And unfortunately, he's level one, but he'll be cheaper to buy also. Hmm. Pebbleton loses Alliance and we get a Scald unit. Oh, sign me up for that, bro. Oh, hell yeah. The Staff of Enoch. Oh, fiery wake boots. Let's give you the ring of uh, concealment, making you harder to hit. Although that should be on my dragon for sure. So the dragon 100% wants the ring of concealment, I think. Although ring of regen is really good too, so maybe we keep that. Okay. This nymph is eating up all, a lot of my mana. Is it? Is it causing some drama? I'm not I'm not getting mana at the the rate I would have liked. I don't even know what. Oh, by the way, um, sorry for the slight delay here, Pwn. I'm going to show them the new tome. So this is the Tome of Evolution. This is the new Dragon Tome. You get a healing ability. You get the ability to summon a hatchling that can be evolved. All the dragon stuff is very much uh, themed around like Pokemon. So in this case, you you get like a little skirmisher dragon that can level up. This is a really good one. And there's some, there's some cool synergy. Um, rapid Evolution Enchantment. This gives 20% experience to all your units in combat. And if your units die that have level up, they come back to life after the battle, assuming you win, as long as they're tier one or tier two. So this is crazy good. If you want to go like dragon with like elemental summons, you could totally go materium and get like golems and level them up. You could do it with elementals. It benefits like any evolving Pokemon unit. And if you're feudal like Pwn, uh, your defenders will level up quicker too, which is rad. You have Draconic Vitality. This gives you three uh, hit points per rank. So your units can get a maximum of, I think, 3, 6, 12, I think, like 12 HP on top of everything, which is really good once they're elite. And you can summon a, a Wyvern as well, which can level up too. Yeah, so it's it's pretty great. 
it's a really, really fun tome. Granted, we're going a little bit more evil, so I think that's going to be the play. Yeah, resurgence on on evolving units, dude. It's like it's it's so nice. It's so nice. Those oh. units are considered dragons, but they don't evolve into big dragons. But in tome three, if Turn wants to show you that, there is there is dragons that you can get that evolve into bigger dragons. Yep, that's true. Dude, I have no idea what to do, man. I'm like looking through these tomes. I'm like, I kind of want to get the dragon tome just because it's cool. But the hatchlings aren't really that useful for me um, with the tech tree I'm going and undead and all that. So we'll probably do something else. Yeah, I forget. I, I got to put the guy's governor. I totally blinked out on that. Um, this isn't a bad one. Yeah, that does give you this, which is what? For city stability? Cryomancy is badass too, though, for just going like pure darkness. Trying to think like what synergies there are with the undead, you know? I guess just like buffs are always good. Um, Cryomancy, what does Cryomancy really do for us? Eh, we get to look really cool. You know what, we're just gonna keep it like simple today and just go for like, you know, the mouth breathing. Pwn's going mass chaos, I'm just gonna go dark, whatever. The frost blades hunger. There's probably way, way more optimal builds, but you know, I think this is gonna be cool. And plus, we are not the sweat lords today. Yeah, turning our realm into ice is gonna be fun, right? If we're playing like a, you know, an ice dragon, I think that makes some sense. All right, let's get this, let's do that. And we can uh, buy a little bit of this. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Outstanding. Soul binders is ready. Uh, I would I would probably go Doom Herald over the uh, Inquisition Tome, but maybe maybe I'll get that eventually too. Do we already explore with everybody? I think we. Did. I am very evil. <laughs> no, you're very evil now. Oh, dude, I should just give up. All right, should be a safe battle. Let's see what the auto looks like. Oh, ho, 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 big dragon time. Okay, we don't lose anything. Nice. And uh, we got some experience in here, so this finished this pretty quickly, which is nice. Get the wor worker's farmstead. I don't think we can get foresters around here. It looks like we can actually, so let's pop that down. So that'll uh, that'll boost that, and then we trap this. Yeah, yeah, like White Walker kind of dragon theme, I think feels pretty fun. All right, so let's uh, gear out, pimp out this army a little bit, and uh, we can probably take the crossbow guy out. Just move you in there. This army is pretty sweet now. It's like legitimately strong. Let's keep prospecting. Oh. I wonder if they're worth my time. Probably not, but we're gonna no. keep we're gonna keep truffling in the mountains. Dude, the amount of treasure I'm finding with this prospecting and the dragon sword synergy is really fun. I, I hear it like <laughs> you're in your I, I hear all the boom. So guys, this is a fun ability called Terrified, Terrifying Gorging. Um, it has a 90% chance to eat a unit and just kill it outright, and it just heals you. It's super cool. Um, so I think we, I think we grab that. Like screw the, all the other abilities, you know. Like we don't need to bolster the rest of our army. Yeah, I think we just go like dragon stuff, right? Reduces the cooldown to the breath attack. Okay. So I think we do, Draconic Health is nice for more HP, obviously. The Roar, I don't think we care too much about. Ancient Governor times two, I think we do that. For now, we can come back and get that, but getting the knowledge from that, I think is, is a little bit smarter in terms of the long game. Going Faith Undead would be funny. Yeah, so it works great. Me and, Tar right, me and Taran pl played uh, a battle offline and Taran did a d demonic uh <laughs> yeah it was it was fun it was it was decent for sure um take yeah that. that was a fun one it was it was great let's head back up this way i think we need to go see what's going on here it was like all of his uh all of his holy words have been corrupted it was a, it was decent too pwn pwn was able to punish me with a really nice archer build but it, it still felt like it was like a viable build um, all right, so that looks good. We got that. This is Keeper's good. Keeper's mark, very good. Keeper's mark's good, but if you have blight to counter it, like you did, it seems like it's like pretty pretty yeah. doable. Because I couldn't like take advantage of it and heal up afterwards. 
My whole build was based on like healing. Um, oh, dude, this, there's so many mountains here, man. There's so many mountains. That's why we call you the mountain man. I know. Just laughing it up, dude. Uh, let's take the wizard's tower too. Just get that Imperium going. Yeah, I could make some skeletons, it's true. I'm kind of just saving up the souls right now. I, You know, speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and pop soul, soul collection now. It's going to hurt my income, but I'm going to start banking souls up. We have this guy with this legendary staff of Enoch here, which is cool. Um, oh, I forgot to do the desecrated temple. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, there is a, a camp up here. Yeah, we'll go do this, get some more levels, and then we'll come back down and do the temple and everything. I need to I need to deal with this up here. The frost blades hunger. Okay, let's shuffle. Nothing too great there. Oh, can't queue order at the moment. Okay, let's see. Alright, launching this. So now I'm collecting six souls per turn, which should add up. Get Frostblade going, and we will get the dreaded um White witches, they seem cool. All right, so we're gonna head up here and say hello to our our friendly neighborhood free city. That looks good, that looks good. Let's go play some mini games in the mountains. Ooh, a nightmare. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, so. So right now, Pwn, let me let me give you the numbers. The Dragon's Horde is currently giving me plus 50 gold, 49 gold. And it's giving me 50 mana also. So I, 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 yeah, it's hard to tell if that's like really impactful at this point in the game, but it seems pretty damn good. I wish I had 50 more mana at the moment. Let's withdraw the Whispering Stone. We can go ahead and give that to one of our cities that's what here. I, that's what I'm really hurting on right now. Oh, and money? Yeah, you're just poor? No, mana. Mana. Mm, got it. I'm doing fine on gold. Gold schmold is what I always say. Yeah, the Lord of Dragons is ready with his mana, huh? Okay, let's keep truffling. Bard the... Wait, is Mole Man in here? Mole Man. Mole Man. I've turned off custom rulers. How did Mole Man get in here? The, the Delver guy is uh No, his name is Pwn Slayer Mole Man. It's the one from our previous campaign. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna befriend him, dude. Me and Mole Man are gonna be homies. Look, Mole Man's here, guys. He's back. Let, let us negotiate. Let us do a wizard's bond. Oh, I can't do it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Mole Man, my old friend. Dude, Mole Man has it out. His name literally has Pwn, is Pwn Slayer, so I think he's gonna have it out for you. What? Everybody should. I am playing Chosen Destroyers. Oh, yeah. So, Pwn's just trying to kill the free cities and stuff. Oh. So much money. Let's go ahead and drop another one of these. And uh, as far as building goes, we have the tavern, the wizard's tower. We could do another one of those, but it's going to eat a lot of our mana. Let's do this. And what do we need for that? Is it just money? Yeah. Okay. And then we can also do a vendor here. Ah, Deathwing is trespassing? How dare you? Dude, you expanded your city on that underground <laughs> passage that my guy was under. That is pretty funny. Freedom. You accept this quest? Sounds good. A dragon slayer thinks they can stop Deathwing? Are you just... Oh, 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 oh. You're just laying the beat down on some, some poor guys oh, over there. Okay, so I chose the Nightmare Mount as one of my my options for my people. Yeah. I thought that would look super cool uh, with the whole Deathwing aesthetic. When my pikemen level up, they they evolve into a cavalry. Their shield unit cavalry. Oh, no. That's really good. Oh, Pwn's doing something right now. Okay. We can look here. Um, Definitely want to get this. Free cities give, free cities with the spring zones give you vision and more knowledge now. So they did buff that. That's nice. Mines grant plus ten mana. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the lot of, the the whole tech trees have been changed pretty heavily. Dude, I can't believe Mole Man's back. I I didn't expect him to, ret to return. Yeah. It's like right. he never left. Let's bash these flagellants. Farm the souls. 
All right, Free City. You're going down. I'm yelling, Timber. Let's get the Frost Blades. Go, Frost Lizards. Hmm, or do I, I... I'll go clear this camp first. We can actually reach it here. Nice. So this is going to give us uh, some high-tier items because of the uh, the artifact orders. Oh, Monster Slayer Tier 3 Bow and a Crusader's Claymore. Damn, dude. You're in some danger, bro. It's coming for you. Uh, is there any way we could do the Builder's Quarters? We could do it like right here, but we need the Forester there. So we'll do Builder's oh, Quarters. Oh, I see your hero. Do you see him, Can the you, big man? You have the dreaded staff. He does. Yeah, the staff is really nice. Lots of wizards there. What are we going to do with this guy? Is he going to be a support character and like lead the army? That actually is probably smarter. So let's have him get restore. Cannot queue at the moment. I like how it tells me when I can't queue because you're doing something. That's a, that's a nice little quality of life change. Oh man, the dragon. The dragons just have so many cool things. Terrifying gorging is nice because it just straight up heals you and also does damage. Gone are the days of playing regular heroes. <laughs> the dragons are taking over. The dragons are taking over. Uh, while an army leader, all non-hero units have less upkeep, which is certainly nice. Soul collector, base, that's base attacks gain. That's just him. So what we can do is we can transfer our army to our... Uh, we can just put the dragon out on his own. Right? And then the dragon is just going to, you know, be greedy and fighting and whatnot. Yes. Yes. Good, Anakin. Good. Keep prospecting in the mountains. Pwn, there's simply too much treasure here, dude. This is, like, literally one of the best prospecting maps I've ever had. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see if it matters. Your second city has zero. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't have fortifications right now. It's weird. I thought I leveled it up, but yeah, it doesn't matter at the moment. So this guy will lead the army, and uh, the dragon will just roam around on his own. <laughs> I know. How come none of us named our dragon Trogdor, man? I feel like that, I feel like that was a shoe in All right, so we take the... Uh, the knowledge extraction. So when we hit a hero, we gain we gain uh, knowledge. Don't know where Deathwing is. All right, in the countryside, just running around, eh? So add siege projects. We can harass defenders. It's fine. We don't really need to do too much. Oh, I see Mole Man. Mole man, you need you and I need to be homies. He does not like me enough to consider this. So empire relations are cautious. Uh, just threat level wary. Okay. So mole man and I are we have a tenuous relationship here. You you're being denied. Well, he doesn't. Yeah, he's scary of me. I don't know what's going on, but it's just uh, just the nature of the beast. They should consider moving your wand to mass heal. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, so firstly, we'll do some prospecting here. Dude, the dragon sword grows, Pwn. I know. I know. These mountains are just full of resources. Oh. So dragon sword right now is giving me 60 plus gold. No, more than that. Almost 70, actually. Yeah, it's one... Yeah, they, they nerfed it. 150 flat now. Okay, so we can unequip that. And that can go on to you, because you're a support character. Assassin's Dagger, you can have the Prison Shank also. Should have that next turn. We're building, we're building. And everything's looking good. Yes, items on my hero do not give resources. I'm aware of that. Mm -hmm. But you still want them to have items, in my opinion. Um, wow, that was a pretty terrible roll. Uh, blizzard, summon luster snow spirit. Meh, let's do blizzard. Gonna be focusing more on the undead here. How's everything looking? Main city. I would like to go to the next tier if I can. Excellent. So now we've aged up here. 
So what does the stonemason need to be boosted? Okay, that's ready, but this requires two farms. So let's build a farm here. Three units, uh, level three units at turn six. Yeah, I mean, let's do this. The dragon is ready. Sieging is gonna go down next turn. Production here, let's get a tavern. Cause so we're not playing dark culture, so we do need to worry about, um, we do need to worry about city stability and all that. Okay. And you can keep truffling. Give me the resources, precious. Where is your? Where are you at on the map, man? Uh, uh bottom. The dragons are good, but like, there's things that the other characters do better. Like, for sure, the caster, like, wizard kings are going to be exponentially better at, like, you know, having just, mana. Yeah, just like <laughs> magic stuff. And casting spells. The DLC comes out in two weeks. Yeah, we they sent me uh sent me the early early look at it. Hmm. Okay, looking good. And then next turn, we'll try and grab this. Yeah, and they reworked all these trees too. Like a lot of stuff is very, very different here. Uh, you could the dragon characters are really strong though. Like out of the gates, these guys are definitely the strongest fighters. Um, they start with this crazy good breath attack, so they give you good early momentum. And you know, depending on how you play them, if you use the dragon, the dragon horde, and the artifact hoarder, you get mana and gold for um. For just, you know, grabbing artifacts, so it's pretty nice. Hmm, what do we have here? Oh, is this like some raiding party up here? What the hell is this? Is there like some some hostile armies over that direction? What trickery is this? For the foolish blood. God damn, I'm running into everybody. I know. Well, I I think I've discovered everybody. Um I have now. Yeah, you have. All right. Well, like I, I think I found every free city on the map too. I'm gonna try. And every time I click in turn, there's just like a new guy that's just like, "Hello." That's good for Hello. you though. That's just all Hello. food, right? I've. I mean, I'm not at them, but. You're coming for it, dude. Who is this? Is this? Oh, that's uh, that's this guy's already annexed territory, which is quite nice. Okay. We'll do that one later. Yeah, the dragon, I mean, has 200 strength in his stack, which is pretty respectable. All right, so he's moving. I don't know how dragons are affected by the transformations yet. We're going to find out because I'm going for the undead transformation this one. Um, so we'll we'll see. Okay, so Workers Guild is going to give us We're production. We're both rooting for it. Looking good. Yeah, I would love for my dragon to turn into like a giant undead dragon. That would be like super cool. Oh my god, there's so many resources. I it would be cool if he turns into a bone dragon. I don't know though. Like I'm I'm hoping that's the case. Um summons aren't as good anymore. They're still very good, but they only last 3 turns now, no matter what. Um but they can act the second you bring them in, which is pretty nice. So Um all right, so let's go ahead and do the defensive training. Which is a good one. The dragon is our leader. So like when you go to pick your lord, like when you go to pick, you got the feudal lord. Or, or was it the warrior lord or whatever? Yeah, the champion. The champion. Champion, that's what it's called. Champion, you got wizard king, and then you have dragon. Yeah. Is this mole man? Oh my god, mole man's setting up like outposts near me, dude. He literally set up an outpost on top of one of my quests, so I can't do it without like grudging him. <laughs> <laughs> what a troll, bro. Oh my god, Mole Man. Okay, let's head over here. Can't quite reach this, but we'll get it next turn. Okay, tier two. So obviously Doom Herald, we're, we're going to go for that probably because it's cool, but Necromancy. So Restore Undead, Rotting Explosion, Raise Zombies, uh, Necrotic Magic, which is good for our support units. Oh, this is new, by the way, too, guys. So Necromancy can, um, can summon Corrupt Souls now. Which is awesome. So you get a good tier three fighting unit, like pretty early. Um, and Necromancers, I believe, got reworked too. Like the souls cost for everything is way, way better. Necromancer themselves did not get reworked. They didn't. Yeah. Let's see. So they still cost fifty. Uh, they they might be cheaper there. Yeah, we'll have to see. 
I'll try. I'll try it out. I'll grab a couple of them. Because uh, Whiteborn is only a hundred now. It's not like three hundred like it was before. So that's like way more reasonable. Okay. The soul well. So it gives three plus three souls and uh, per adjacent research post. I think I have one back here, so we can pop that down here. And uh, this is still going. It's going to be a hot minute before that's done. Let's go ahead and get the gold vein here for a little bit of money, money. Yes. Give me the money, precious. Uh, are overworld summons also three turns or just combats? Just combat summons. So if I, if you remember how like the meta for this game was basically just spamming like summons on like 10 characters. Now they only last three turns. So it's not nearly as good as it once was. It's still very good, but um, yeah, I'm playing a lizardman faction. I have the poisonous trait, which this seems pretty cool in theory. They reworked the undead summon. So you get a tier three undead unit instead yeah. of the three. Okay, production, materium boon. What is there anything I want here, stone spirit? We'll take the materium boon, it's fine. Damn mole man. Mole man. Mole man, come and get it. All right, so I got the shadow aura, which at the end of each turn, adjacent enemy units gain misfortune, which is okay. Um. Tail swipe is pretty cool too to have. Oh wow, it has like a cruel trait to it too. Oh ho ho ho. I feel like Draconic Health, like maxing that is gonna be good and reducing the breath attack turn timer. I mean they're all like pretty damn good to be honest. We'll get the uh, tail swipe. So we can have all the cool fighting abilities. Plus all right. defense is a good offense. Oh no, we just we just slayed a bunch of spider hatchlings. And Fiery Wake Boots. That's a brigand camp, eh? The Enchanted Den. All right, so we could go do this. It's a tier one wonder, so I think we'll head that way and try for it, unless Mole Man grabs it first, which would be super annoying. Yeah, uh, well, we we did not hit the Banshee. Uh, er, did, I don't think... I ever got the Banshee from the Undead Summon, although obviously it should be an option. I kept getting Corrupt Soul. Yeah, I'm not sure off the top of my head, to be honest. It could it could be a thing. Those are the only two options, though. Yeah. So Dragon Man is chilling. He's coming to party. Um. Yeah, we have the Soul Gathering going on. All's good. This quest is calling to me. What does the Enchanted Den give us? That's a really easy one, I think. Is it? Is it not? Okay. God, Mole Man is such a troll, dude. Where is he? Where's Mole Man's base? He's probably up in the top right corner. The AI just has like an absolute... Ground, isn't he? No, because he that the Mole Man I made does not have subterranean. I see him running nearby, dude. Okay, this is like an easy one, so we could just auto it with our side army. Cover more ground. Ring of Vampirism. Uh, okay, so let's take the face cloak. And what we can do next is take the military engineering to make outposts quicker. I love Banshees. They're really good. I think Banshees are a great unit. They are they are amazing, dude. Oh, God, so annoying. Turn, do you think it'd be possible to make a Kislev race in Age of Wonders 4? Uh, yeah. Donation sent to you. Yeah, absolutely. You would just you would just probably go, let's see, yeah, uh, feudal. Probably, you'd probably go feudal, although, like, yeah, the cavalry. Yeah, you would go feudal to get, like, winged lancers, and then you would just, you would play with, um, you would play with, like, holy and then a little bit of dark to get the ice upgrades and just make your guys, like, super, like, you know, savvy on the ice. Oh, dude, you could totally do that. Thank you, Templar Knight, for the donation. Yeah, dude, you could totally do Kislev. Dude, because so they yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, go ahead. No, absolutely. That's all I was gonna say. They said uh, in a like one of the live streams I watched that they know that a bunch of people, or it might have been the blog, I think I read, but they said that they know a lot more people want more unique mount options. So maybe there will be a bear in the future. Oh, bear! Okay, so it looks like he leveled up. The possibilities are endless. I know it's gonna be awesome. Okay, Empire Development Skills. We don't need to worry about that too much. 
Mole Man <laughs> is a monster that I've created. I know. <laughs> it's my it's my past coming back to haunt me, dude. Take the enchanted den there, which is quite nice. It's actually a good spot for a city too. There's a lot of like good resource nodes around it. Um, all right, so let's go here. Bunga, bunga, kawa bunga, dude. Oh wow, this is like, dude. There's a lot of good resources up in the north here. Holy shit! Gonna have to set up another city up there. All right, so am I being raided? Who the hell is this? Gauntlet? God, get out of here. He doesn't like me either. I just made peace with him so he would go away. I was like, get out of well, here. <laughs> Had enough of this. Okay, so. Soul well near each research post. Didn't I already build a soul well here? Could have sworn I built one. Did it get canceled or something? It's weird. Oh, it got raided and canceled me building it. That's really annoying. Okay. And then oh let's. Yeah. <laughs> He's out to ruin you, dude. I know. I just got I just got owned super hard. Okay, let's keep truffling. Mole Man deserves a bear mount. Dude, Mole Man, Mole Man was the most tyrannical character we've ever made in this. Okay. Such reckless moles. The moles are awful creatures, dude. Oh, I have double research posts over there. That's gonna be really yeah. nice for a solo. Like, like it did you, you met the halfling guy, right? Uh, yes. He's like the generic halfling character, I think. Yeah, he's yeah. got bases going all over the place. Yeah, the nature halflings always expand like super crazy. I like to picture them as like rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just yeah, just going at it and expanding and multiplying. <laughs> oh, flings multiply. <laughs> Well, that's what they're like in uh, Warhammer. Halflings are just right. like just just like all degenerate. I love it. <laughs> All right, so Necromancer costs, oh, Necromancers used to cost more souls. Now they only cost 25, it looks like. So that's pretty cool if that's if that's the case. Cut it in half. Yeah, they, they definitely used to be 50. So I'm actually going to make some undead units here, guys. We're doing it. We're... How, much, how much does the skeleton cost? He, and but uh, bone golems and skeletons are low maintenance now, so their upkeep is like minuscule, which is really cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some and get some undead units, guys. Let's let's get into the flavor a little bit. We got soul wells coming up in all of our bases and stuff, so I think we're okay. Uh, Court of Whispers, Crypt Blade. Nothing we really need to do at this point, dude. This is I love the new undead system. Seems a lot better though, guys. Like way way better. Yeah, that's coming up. Now we need a combat hero. So level five, feed on chaos. Oh, that thing has like the chaos eater ability. But if they're not, if the hero isn't of my race, they won't benefit from the transformation, correct? Yeah, so they That would need... be my understanding. So that's why I don't think, that's why I'm thinking the dragon won't work, but I'm surely rooting. You're rooting for, for me, huh? Yes, I am rooting. I, like I said, I also want demon. <laughs> I also would like demon dragon, but. Mm. Don't think that's going to be the case. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so now we reset skills. Go here. Go here. And we want to get um, that for the distance. Now this character can move up and join the forces here in a minute. Dude, it's it's so fun. Yeah, this is it's great. It's a hero, so I'm actually gonna get some knowledge for taking this guy down, which is cool. Don't do it! Dude, Mole Man just literally made a city right on my border. <laughs> uh, He's establishing his dominance. I can so one of the dragon traits is you can eat you can eat enemy heroes and level up, which is cool, but um I kinda want the Imperium for now, and you guys will see why in a minute. Oh yes, give it to me, dude. So brigand camps will give me more tier three items. Because of the artifact hoarders. Oh, yes, dude, yes. Gonna build an outpost here and take that shit, because screw you, Mole Man. Mole Man and I, we, we were once friends, but... <laughs> what is that archer lizard one? 
that comment, man. Holy shit. Dude, Pwn, where? Okay, the halfling guy's in the corner. We see him. We know where he is. The question is, where is where is the Dark Lord Pwn? Being dark and lordy. Yeah, no kidding, dude. This character is going to go ahead. Unholy leader, so non-undead units and army. Wall army leader, non-hero undead units get a buff. Okay, so we don't care for that quite yet, but endurance training for now will be really good. Friendship ended with Wallman. Now evil is my best friend. <laughs> Yeah, you could, the big, sh yes. After Pone and I finish our battling um, today, I'll show you, we'll go through everything. All right, oh, so the dragon's level two now. So what do we want to get? Draining Blade. Warding Bond, Reckless Rage. Blink seems pretty good, but Blink takes up action points, doesn't it? Uh, It takes up one, it's a like one, and you can't move after it, but you can still use like, you still have two more action points. The Locket of Channeling is a pretty good item. But you can move and blink. And still have, like, one attack. Okay. Which is, like, generally what you do with the unicorns. Dude, the halfling, the halfling had the, the gall to insult me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know why? Because all you're doing is taking up his precious banging space. I know. Wow, that's actually a pretty hard one there. Well, man's just brazenly uh, trespassing. I think I just crashed. Will, will you be back or what? No, I'm hopping off for the night. Peace out, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. You've had enough. Uh, all right, so let's take the research post here. Yeah, screw you, Moleman. What is he at right now? He's like just straight up trolling us, right? Yeah, you know what? It's fine. He's going to declare war on his own, so we'll just keep pissing him off. All right. Only this game made it easier for people to reconnect. Oh, wait. It does. Total War is just cackling in the corner. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> You will never see your friends again. <laughs> <laughs> just evil witches laughter. Like, <laughs> All right. Where are we looking here? Total War is just like the most miserable connection experience. <laughs> it's just pure suffering, dude. <laughs> All right, where are we at? So that's a quarry there. I think we have enough. So we definitely want to just get soul wells. Got to get that soul economy jamming. Vendors, we need the money. And uh, do we want to spend anything on Palisades? Nope. I can't, I can't believe Mole Man has returned. I, I explicitly turned off rulers just so I wouldn't have to deal with him. Now he's just all up in my face. Building random ass cities in the middle of my empire. Alright. Looks good. I may have to fight this um, if I lose anything. Although if I just lose a shitter, you know, it's fine. We'll let it roll, but... No, we're good. I've almost, I don't think I've ever, like, you know the unique traits that you can give your race let, uh, pop up sometimes? Yeah, yeah. I've never, ever accepted any of them. <laughs> well, I'm going to try this one. Uh-oh, I think I just crashed again. How dare you, dude? Well, I was trying to select my thing, but you had to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like it's this option that keeps crashing. Just ruining all I, your... This is the same screen I crashed on last time. Oh, Draconic Health plus 30 hit points? Dude. I couldn't click it quick enough because you were like, let's do an action. Let's play the video game. I know, I'm sorry. Thus stopping me from doing so. I just have to get every advantage I can here. Defensive training. Pretty good. All right. You haven't seen a battle in a while? Yeah, most of them are pretty easy autos. Um, I'm happy to fight some, but the thing is it... Man, where's Mole Man? Is he like... He still hates me, okay. We, we have a very bad relationship. New Empire development skill, gain a con conquest of a city. I think we just save that and do this. Perfect. So this is a pretty damn good spot for one right here because look at all the good nodes we have around it and it's also not quite in the snow. We got this uh, unicorn here, which we don't really care about. So we will head over this way and this way. Are you back in the game? Yeah. Sounds good. 
Hmm. Yeah, the, we, so Pwn's been crashing, but it's not the d- same desync bug. We actually haven't had a single uh, desync yet, as far as like just our standard game action goes. All right. This is a lot of space up here. It's a lot of space. The Frost Empire Grove. Endurance trading is really good. Yeah, I already have it, so. But our dragon is such a chungus, dude. Oh, ho. Look at this thing. Look how cool it is. You sweat, are you sweating bullets, dude? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> that that intimidation didn't go very far. We're definitely going to go try and beat down Moleman, though, I think. It's got to happen. He's just, he's just been too ornery. Uh, currently, the Dragon Sword is giving us 75, 81, 81 gold and 81 mana per turn. So that's like the equivalent of like a lot of building tech. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm going to do the origin tech tree, but I'm saving for uh, for a city right now because I want to build a city. So. But yeah, going for the magic origin thing when you have undead is obviously very good. How's the, oh, these guys aren't happy. I need to probably get some sort of a tavern here. Need two farms for that. Hmm. I think I want to fight this myself. You going to fight it? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're, while he's fighting that, I can show you guys the tomes. So we looked at the new dragon tome. Um, but the other dragon tome at tier three is called the tome of, um, tome of the dragon. So it gives all of your mages. This is really cool. So no matter what ma- battle mages you're using, like let's say you're playing Dark Culture, you can get the Firebomb ability. So it gives them like an AOE um, explosion ability. So like you could have Warlocks that have their curse, but also have an AOE nuke. It's really, really strong. Um, also you have Purifying Flame, which um, it heals and removes negative status effects. So if somebody has like Blight on you or something, you can get rid of it. You get a Draconic Race Transformation, um, which gives them natural regeneration. So... Uh, at each turn in combat, they heal, which is pretty cool. And also on the world map, you heal faster. So pretty badass. Um, you also get dragon attack. So AI yeah, about to corner camp me. They are going to corner camp you, dude. He get, just ran into the corner. Just get, dude, get on, bro. Feel it. Uh, the dragon attack here, units defending the city take uh, fire damage a ton, 26. And uh, they basically get lit on fire and there's random fires everywhere. Um, the last thing that's really cool about this tome is you can you can build a young dragon, which can level up into a big a big dragon. Um, and if you're evil, you get young obsidian dragons. And if you're good, you get young golden dragons. And these can all be Pokemon. I'm not playing. I'm playing undead this time. Um, but Pwn is going to be doing this stuff, uh, assuming he lives that long. Oh, oh! Unique buildings here. Knowledge is pretty rad, and uh, Firebomb, which is uh, a hero ability. So yeah, it's. The tome is really, really rad. It's really rad. Yeah, the dragon tome is amazing. Pony, are you fighting the horned gods? Is that is that why they're corner camping you? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, you don't think so? Okay. Got this level three hero with a sweet bow. We clear out all this stuff. The haunter's graveyard. I think we make this our city. Just look at all these like sweet nodes around here. We definitely need to get like public order and food. Yeah, soul wells are pretty good, and we'll have a handful of those now. Necromancer is coming out to uh, augment our army quality in a bone golem, and then we'll have like two pretty respectable armies. Uh, yeah, so we have the new lizards. That's what we're playing. So if you look at our heroes, they're lizard people. Um, and they so the new race trait for them is poisonous. So whenever anybody you get blight resistance, and whenever anybody hits you in melee, um, there's a thirty percent chance that they become poisoned. I don't think it's like the strongest, but it's very cool. Yeah. So this is the new lizard trait. Um, this this episode I went um, poisonous and uh, the level up one to like get my my dudes to level up faster. So yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm playing Kel'Thuzad's dragon, Saffron. I, I'm going to be trying to turn it into an undead dragon. I don't know if it's possible, but like if I can, I don't know if they benefit from the race transformations is the thing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so you can totally play Lizardman from Warhammer now. You could just have a Toad be your ruler and then have like a Lizardman army. Boom. <laughs> yeah, the, the uh, not the Murloc, but I can't remember what the hell those guys The Toads? Are. Yeah. I, I don't remember like what they're actually called. Yeah, the, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, Murlocs in in you mean in uh, 
No, no, no. I mean in this game. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. They're just toads, bro. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll keep it simple. They're just toads. not even worthy enough to call out their name. Yeah, you get one major transformation on level twelve. Sounds good. So yeah, we'll get some sort of a transformation at level twelve. Somebody's saying who's probably watched some early access fights. Um, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what I was talking about. Like I've only seen the nature one, but like you get like all the grass and you become like a plant. So maybe the shadow one will just make you undead. I think it. I think it will. Yeah, I think it probably will. Uh, by the way, I'll fight the next fight so you guys can see the dragon. For anybody who joined a little bit later, I. I haven't really fought in a long time because it's mainly been easy auto resolves, but um, I will I will fight here in a minute, so you can see it. Yeah, Murlocs, Murlocs, yes, it's pretty great. So well, so wells. We got necrotic magic coming, which is cool. So we'll definitely replace our steel shapers, which are pretty terrible with uh, with good characters. <laughs> steel shapers are pretty bad, you know. They're, they're okay if you go like a certain build around them, but generally I find them to be pretty mediocre. It does like make you the, count as undead. I, like oh. the, I do like the sorcerers later in the Materium one. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the, the ones that do have the AoE stun. Yeah, and they and they can like steal the defense and stuff. And yeah. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. Some good stuff right there. What, what are you fighting? Are you doing a wonder? Uh, No, I'm... Fighting an army of a free city. Dude, we have so many items. Oh, man. That's right. We got to give our archer character a sweet mount. Nightmare has intimidating aura. This gives us very fast and flying, which I think is what we would do. So we'll switch that once Bone is out of the battle. Yeah, I wanted to get an undead dragon leading an undead army. That was like the whole gimmick. Um, so yeah, we'll see if it works out. We'll see if it works out. Going to run out of space here, it looks like. The city should be able to expand this way. And this one will go this way. Yes. Good. They like bolstered up their defenses so much. <laughs> the dreaded Pwn. Look at him. This is Deathwing, the destroyer. Um, so Pwn's playing Chosen Destroyers, which is the Haggard one base build. It's really hard to make it work. <laughs> it's really hard, but maybe it's better now. I don't know. Yeah. It fits, though. It does. So where 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 is is your one base pwn? In the bottom right. Yeah. I, oh, I see a city burning. Okay, this is where pwn is, by the way. He's he's not that far. From, he's kind of far from my lands. Yeah. This is pwn's like rat's nest in the corner. Yeah. Undead lizardman. Yes. Hopefully we can get to that transformation. I think we will. Saffron versus Deathwing. It's the World of Warcraft dragons doing battle. Yeah, you don't need to be industrial to get transmuters, correct. I think industry is best played if you don't get industry tomes. Like industry is really good for city building um, and expanding, but like you get other tomes because the industry tomes I don't think go well with, it's it's a weird, a weird paradigm for sure. Okay, like literally nobody likes me. The, the halflings are- I like you, dude. I know, the halflings are eyeing me, dude, giving me the evil eye. You can be my friend. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So well, about to finish several soul wells. Nobody would expect us to do the dreaded team victory together. <laughs> yeah, we just smash these yeah. shitty normal Shit difficulty AI. The AIs. Yeah, yeah. The dragons come. Yeah. The Chroma Conclave. It's time, Pwn. It's Gotham's reckoning, dude. Yeah, I wonder. Like my my dragon has 160 HP. It's so cool. I went from losing three units to no units. So yeah, of course you didn't lose any. <laughs> Not surprised. I think that was worth. All right, so let's get you. Mole man just capturing territories and shit. Being a sausage. Okay, so we need to get a tavern here. So uh, what, what's your aura do with that dragon? Uh, it, it gives misfortune. God, dude, mole man's just expanding right on my new cities. Like literally just the worst. <laughs> Can I declare war on this little shit already? God. You don't have enough yet? Well, he's we're both trolling each other, so it's like it's just this vicious cycle of, of torment here. No justification. Is there no justification in this world? Sadly not, man. Sadly not. Um, alright, so let's do the wizard's crypt. 
Hey, thank you for the donation. As one spot, maybe the force be with you as Spock once said. Nice, dude. Nice. Um, all right. So let's do this. Can my dragon solo that? I feel like he could. It's just like a couple. All right. So let's give you the bone mount. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. We can actually reach the graveyard here. Okay. We can reach all these, I think. And then you come around and will that pull in my other two armies? Yes, it will. Outstanding. All right. Auto combat should be pretty easy. Dude, why why are you guys siding with Mole Man? Oh, a hunter spider, huh? Oh, that mount can jump? Clearly they know your their favorite character you've made so far. <laughs> yeah, Mole Man's pretty popular. Um Okay, auto combat. Let's see if I lose anything. I'm gonna go fight a wonder so you guys can see the dragon. If I lose something here, I will fight it now. Okay, we're just karate chopping. Ah, you guys like my critical role reference. I've, I've also been developing critical role dragons of the Chroma Conclave as rulers. Restoration. Behind the scenes. Let's go ahead and do demon step isn't that good. We'll do a restoration on you. All right. So that's coming. Carl Franz versus Goku versus Gandalf. Dude, this mole is the worst. We're both maxed out on the the hatred. I don't know if multi I don't know if this is a good game to just like hop in and like randomly play multiplayer because they're with this kind of game there's so much like super cheesy shit you can do still. Yeah. Like uh, I don't know if this is the right game to like not play with your friends because oh. you can always find like ways to cheese the system to make it to where you'd be like, oh, I, I lo logged in with my my fun stuff. And the sweat lord guy is just like ha has some sort of stupid exploit that he found. <laughs> and he's just like, <laughs> time to shit on the noobs. Oh, God. I, Mole Man's right next to me, and I can, like, almost kill him. But, like, the Grievance, I don't want to go into the Ethereum deficit. Oh, dude, it's brutal. Oh, he's right next to me. Mole Man. <laughs> Keep patrolling to her ran. I hate Mole Man right now so much, dude. Save me. Summon Corrupt Souls. Hell yeah. Dude, look how much mana. Pona, how much mana do you have for reference? Okay, he just, like, grie oh, he just grieved me. I overall do i have yeah i have 77 i have 2432 it's a lot of mana <laughs> oh. you are out out manaing me dude i am about to smash mole man so freaking hard bro oh my god mole man you're gonna get it although he does have armies coming here so we probably need to hurry and speed summon this and uh yeah guys it's time mole man's gonna he's gonna go in the trash <laughs> he's going he down lived, he lived a good life he, he had a good run uh yeah let's go ahead and go this way oh no shit that should have been a farm okay oh all right so we see him here if i kill him the rest of his armies will fold most likely like a piece of paper um let's go ahead and get you out send a spell shaper with the dragon man Keep the hero in that army. We need to do a poll to save him? No, dude. No, there's no saving him. <laughs> he's he's going down. The Grand Mill. And yeah, we don't have a Forester, so... I guess everything just builds super quick anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we need to get our, our nation happier. Let's do some prospecting before we smash the mole. So he's going to hunt my, my dudes in the mountains and stuff. It, it seems Mole Man is the favorite to win this four-player battle. Not not the rabbit hobbits, not, not the evil dragons, but Mole Man. No, he's going down. I'm I'm gonna just goon him so hard right now. <laughs> oh, I can't reach him because I I did some army merging curses. Okay, next turn. Next turn, Mole Man goes down. Let's get some skeletons in here. Lee Mole Man. Mole Man is going down hard, bro. All right. Uh, you've been denounced. Okay. Great, dude. Okay. So 
So let's go ahead and do this. Declare justified war. <laughs> he just gave me this death glare when I did that. <laughs> He's like, you invented me. <laughs> yeah. You guys ready to see Mole Man get straight up eaten by a dragon right now? Because that's what's going down. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is gonna be a reckoning, bro. Look, he's, he's running. Where's he going? Where are you going, mole man? Leave the city. Oh my god. Mole man, twenty twenty four. Dude, he's the worst. I swear. Right, ride it in. Oh, should I, I should probably pay attention? My guys are kind of low. It's like I don't want to lose anything here. Oh, and I got the decaying zombie from that, like, staff. That's so cool. That's really nice. Can't heal himself. Okay, I can heal you. There we go. Can I eat heroes? No, you can't. You can eat uh, tiers one through three, though. I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah, he's more, it's more of, like, a metaphorical he's going to get eaten. Um, all right, so let's do this. Are you fighting him right now? Yes. Let's watch the epic battle of Mole Man. It's, he literally has one unit with him, so he's not, he's, it's, it's more of a ceremonial thing, and I wanted people who haven't seen the dragon to see it too, so. Um, alright. I, I hope he descends upon you with the, the league of a 10,000 mole men. Don't think it's gonna go down like that. Dude, this, the staff that just gives me zombies is so cool. See the comet breath. I haven't seen it. I just did it. Like, right before you jumped in. Oh, no, I saw it. Like, that's where I, I just saw it right right then. Okay. Let's do a little bit of this. <laughs> the staff. I told you to take the mole staff. Oh, tail swipe. Okay, so tail swipe, I can, like, get... You can get up in their face and, and swoop it. Let's try it. Oh, it does a lot. Does it do more than my claw? It does, actually. Oh, that's cool. That's rad. And, uh, Do you have the upgraded tail? Do you have the tail bash? I, I don't have that one, the one that stuns, no. Yeah, and it displaces. Just need to do that for mana addicts. Dude, look at Mole Man, just coming to, coming to face his end here like a true hero. <laughs> we have to make sure the ceremonial beatdown goes to the, goes to the character here. You know what would be really epic is if he ran up and, like, and just like smacked you with the, the stick instead of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> went out like a true hero okay mass restoration i'm just kind of like trying to learn my abilities now too because i haven't like played this i haven't if fought you kill so much. him if you kill him now turn he'll he'll come back stronger than you can ever imagine just the jedi mole man <laughs> oh we have to get the ceremonial feasting let's go <laughs> Oh, be gone! You and your stupid outposts is spamming all over my lands, dude. <laughs> God, it's so annoying. Okay, let's raise that outpost. Can we reach that army? We can. Is there any, like, scary armies that could reach me after that? I don't think so. Get that trash out of here, dude. Be gone! All right, so they might siege my city here. No, they're just raiding. It's fine. So I can come back and deal with that. Oh, Mole Man. Who would have thought he would be the bane of our existence? Uh, bathhouse, Academy. We okay. all knew. Yeah, you could you could just smell it in the air, huh? So we want to have you just produce uh, merchandise in the meantime. That just gives us money for that turn. Archer has leveled up. Eagle Eyes is what you want. That's the long range one. Mole Man has been sent back to the void from whence he came. Oh, Spur to Action, by the way, doesn't work on your um, your uh, lords anymore. Oh. Yeah. So I think that's good. <laughs> it was really strong with Archer Heroes. It was like literally the epicenter of a lot of my strategies. That or just resummoning everything again? <laughs> yeah. Rallying Blessing, Draining Blade. Alright, that wasn't spur to action, that was the other one, but I wonder if that one still works on heroes. Where you refresh all their their cooldowns and stuff. I think that one still works. I haven't I haven't looked at it. We haven't had a single desync yet, correct. We haven't. No. Crashes, no desync. Nothing funny yet. Alright, Mole Man. Who? The 
This son of a bitch is trying to burn down my conduit. Okay. You stop that! Someone's causing problems for you, huh? It's it's the green mole man. Oh, he's burning down one of my mines, dude. We're both we're both fighting moles. <laughs> it seems there's a mole problem. It's all we get, dude. Yeah, I'm not using the steel shapers. I'm not using them too much. Um, all right, so let's do the joy siphoners. That's gonna be really fun. And we also do have a necromancer now, which apparently is not that expensive to make. So that's pretty fun that we get to use those. And I can summon corrupt souls. Awesome. Let's try summoning some corrupt souls and start replacing our army with undead units. Cut the steel shapers out, get some proper undead. Quick turn for me. I'm going pure shadow just for the flavor. Um, I know there's more optimal builds, but yeah, it's, I think that's gonna be fun. Think that's gonna be pretty fun. Yeah, sanctuaries are insanely good. Those are some of the best buildings uh, out there. All right, so mole, the mole man has like a city here. Um, he's raiding my lands. Could this little undead army take him? I think I could take that hero. It's like magic included. Let's, let's see what the auto says, and I'll just run back to the city afterwards. Yeah, definitely. 150 knowledge just for that? Like, sign me up, dude. That's a deal right there. Let's get a bathhouse. We could also resurrect some of the... Um, the necros now cost gold and, and less souls instead of just souls. Yeah, it's, it's a much better deal. We need to get a governor for this city. We will soon. Then the undead legions will march on Mole Man. <sighs> so nice to see his stupid outpost gone. Winter is over. Let's melt some ice. I know it's like <laughs> what a what a nice action flick. Uh, quote was said for my quest here. Okay, necromancers, let's have you head up this way. Bone golems are chilling. Take another province here. Let's go ahead and just make farms. Bone's doing something. Are you just Everything. annihilating or what? Yeah. All right, so we got that set up. Um, get a grand mill, keep our cities growing so they're not just potatoes. That's going. Here we have this. We got the bathhouse on the way. We have a lot of Imperium too, so. Vassals, magic origin units. Yeah, that's probably pretty good to get right now. Um, Breastplate of the champion. Special provinces grant extra gold, which is good for us. Mines granting gold is nice, but I think the magic origin unit re reduction will be very like immediate because we're going to be getting like banshees and you know corrupted souls and whatnot. Corrupted souls are just straight up fighter units, right? Yes. They actually, don't even. Oh. But and they have a uh, execute ability if something's low morale. That's really cool. Oh, this is so fun, dude. I don't have a governor yet. I, I don't have a fourth hero. It's going to happen. We just have to... Oh, my God. The bird caught one of my, my scouts in the mountains. All right, Mole Man. It's time. The iron price must be paid. So I lose mana. Yeah, we'll for sure just do this. This is what? 70%? Yeah, let's just take the... Dude, it's crazy how much mana I'm getting from the... Uh... Okay, let's auto combat that. Yeah, they're really, it's cool that you can get them now, like through the uh, tech. That's that's a really neat neat thing. Oh, be gone, mole man. Your filth will be <laughs> pushed out of these lands. Raise the hell out of that city. Oh, you know what? I, I could actually vassalize that city. And by vassalizing it, I can then use the ability later on to farm. Uh, yeah, we're going to vassalize that. Because I think there's an undead ability that you, like, kill the population of a city for some benefit. I can't remember what it is, but... Uh, so there's the harvest population in the tier 4 tome that you kill off one of your populations on your city and you get a bunch of souls. Does it not work on the, um... There we you go. can't target an enemy city. Um, let's go ahead and do the... Yeah, we can do those next. It's not a problem. 
All right. Mole Man will never die. I kind of feel that way, to be honest. He's just uh, this eternal threat. Okay, so we need to save up for another turn. A couple turns here to get another hero. Let's get a mint for more money. Grand Mill's coming. Ruler Mole Man has returned to Bulwark. Okay, he's back. And he seeks blood. Oh, that's right. We can reanimate heroes, can't we? Yeah, and it just costs souls, if I'm not mistaken. What is this? Oh my god, look at this guy. Tier 1 units and Sundering Caster. I think I'm going to save my souls though for now and just buy one. Yeah. New rally has started. What do we have here? Uh, Storm, sail, ser Storm Scale Serpents. So we're going to get a little Vassal City here. We can withdraw our Whispering Stone. And give it to our uh, new Vassal City. Yeah, I'm thinking about the Demon one. Yeah. So maybe I just will... Uh, I'll just raise this one instead. That's the Demon Tree that does that. Moleman's actually gathering a pretty formidable little army here. I might have to fight. How's the dragon looking? Pretty good. Do you march perhaps to your doom? No, there's no way. My my heroes are too strong. Doom. Well, man's like level four, I think. You're still uh, doing your turn, right? Yep. Okay, sounds good. I don't want to make sure I wasn't like forgetting something. Mints will be nice. Give us some money. Dude, the dragon's horde thing though, like the amount of money or uh, mana we get from our artifact horde is pretty nuts. We're getting like 100 mana a turn from that almost. I, I do like it quite a bit. Yeah, the dragon's fun. Abarash, yes, it is. Um, we could probably destroy that outpost. So let's move you up this way. And then you can come here. You can send the Steel Shaper over to that side army. Arcane Research, let's get a Banshee. I don't know if it went through last turn. Maybe it didn't. Mm, shit. It's really nice getting just like a free Skjald early on. I wish I had that instead of the Nymph, but... Nymphs are still pretty great though, for sure. Yeah, still a good unit. Just gonna keep sniping them as they... No! Oh, damn! AI just like randomly moves. Okay, I think they're gonna actually siege the city, wow. Two turns until the old breach, eh? I think I can reach them and, and raise the sea, rage, uh, raise the uh, siege next turn. Doom Depth Trench gives us knowledge. Uh, three knowledge per alignment level below neutral. Counts as a conduit. All right, let's drop that right here. Doom Depth Trench gives us 10 and 10. And we can go ahead and drop that here. Are we looking here? Looking good. Don't really need the shrine, to be honest. I don't know why I even built that. Oh Bend man, is this, is this Marauder army about to go walk into my territory? That would be a pain in the ass. <laughs> they coming for you or what? Maybe. Mm. The Dragon Ruler. Pebbleton is under siege and my brave skeletons hold back Mole Man's legions. All right, start casting Joy Siphoners, which is really good for undead. If you want to play the absolute 100% most optimal way of this game, Wizard King is better than the dragon. All right, Pwn. We have a big fight. I think I think the people, you guys deserve this. So you, you might want to hop over and watch. It's like two big armies clashing. It's Mole Men's entire legion. Oh, <laughs> what is this ability? Rampant fire? Oh, there's just a bunch of shit on fire. Lovely. Okay. Here we go. Dude, the dragon characters are great though. I think it's my it's my favorite for sure. Champions are okay. They they're probably they can definitely feel a little bit lackluster at times. All right. So we got Mole Man's dragon armies. Is definitely my favorite is. Yes. Yeah, the dragons your fave too. Yeah, it's really fun. Why did my skeleton make like a pig sound when I clicked it? That was very strange. 
her and you joining tournament? Uh, what are you talking about? Like Total War tournament tonight? I don't know. Somebody yeah, probably. Your chat. No, not tonight. Tonight's uh, we're playing this. Why are my units like immune to fire or some shit? Like the way they're moving, it's like. It's like normally it paths you away from the fire, but here it's like, oh, they have flying, so they don't care. They just go over it. Oh. Necromancer has strength and undead, which we can do on nothing over here. Big Papa Dragon's on its way. Let's bolster defenses. And more corrupt souls and more view. All right. Do your worst. Do your worst, Mole Man. Does the Strengthens buff increase the... Yes, yeah, so you can buff your Dragon's Breath. Mine, I think, is pretty well buffed. I, I mainly gave my Dragon... What the hell is this? You guys seeing this shit? It's like Mole just teleported into my backfield. <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh, he has chosen <laughs> death. Yeah, no kidding. All right, Soulfire here is, I guess, does some good damage. Yeah, we could cast that. Um, what else would we want to cast? Soul Overflow gives us maximum HP. It does cost souls to do that one, though. Soul Fire doesn't. Rotting Explosion sends a zombie in. That could actually be pretty MLG, like is sending one of our shitty zombie summons in. Hmm. Alright, so the dragon should just absolutely wreck this guy, right? Oh, this is that character who's actually reasonably tanky. Okay. So we need to get a cast a spell first. So let's just do Soul Fire and find uh, the biggest blob of units we can. Which is going to be back here. Doesn't do much, but it triggers the uh, ability we need. What, did you take man addicts? Or? Yeah, I think I have man addicts. Um, Alright, zombie. So the dragon would be going over here. We have the breath, which is nice. I think we'll just summon an animal here first. Just fight right away, and hey, we get a nightmare, which is pretty damn good. Now we can get you. Lower his morale a little bit. Aren't you? I thought you were fighting like a city. Uh, it's like no, he's he's like outside the city. I think. This character, man. Oh my god. Um. All right. So raise undead. Okay. So I'd have to actually legitimately target a. Oh, I should have. I should have buffed these guys. Okay. Not used to using necromancers. Kill them. Okay, so that guy should die next turn. Guess we could fly our archer over there and try and get a little MLG sniping going, but I think we're okay. Crap souls could almost come in and finish it. Let's move you up. Oh shit, I just put my support character out front. I thought that was a crap soul. Hmm. Well, all right. What do you got? You got anything to protect yourself? Not really. You're gonna be in the in the front of the battle, all ready to go. Next units, zombies. I think we prepare this zombie for the dreaded uh, zombie corpse explosion. So we'll do that next turn. And he's just gonna hang out. Yep. 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 Uh, you can actually reach here. Nice. Big damage. Yes. No, I was more so saying that, I was just curious why this battle map is completely on fire. Yeah, I don't know why. It's kind of strange. Armor buffing the Krupp Souls, yeah. But maybe you had some sort of evil witchcraft I didn't know about. Yes, the AI going after the zombies, the big place. <laughs> In industry units just feel so haggard if they're not like appropriately built, like compared to some other factions. Oh my god, that guy just keeps summoning, zo summoning zombies even to this point? Jeez. It's crazy. All right. So let's do the zombie corpse explosion thing. So we're going to send you... Now, what is the radius of it? So rotting explosion. Target a friendly zombie. Oh, wow. Oh, that does a lot. Target a friendly zombie unit. So we need to just get it down here. Or right here is fine, too. So we're going to do the zombie rotting explosion. See what that does. <laughs> That's cool. Is this his capital? No, like, this like are you fighting this capital? No, no, we're uh we're just fighting off in the old uh 
in my lands, actually, as a matter of fact. All right, so the Corrupt Souls and finish this guy off. One down. Then the dragon can go and uh, do a little breath attack, although there's really not too many breath attack options here. So we'll go join the dreaded zombies and try and eat that guy next turn. I love rotting explosion. It's a great ability, especially when you just get the free zombies from that staff item. It's like, it's that, that's a uh, quite the item. It is. It's really good. Can we not. Do, your zo do they go away after three turns? Is it? Yeah, they do. Like, does it keep summoning? But I'm pretty sure they go away. Turn? Yeah. Go, my minions. I could have attacked for the explosion. Yeah, that's true. Got a little excited, not gonna lie. All right, so Archer. Their leadership's gonna start wavering pretty hard at this point. I don't even have like the leadership stuff, but it will soon. Then you, is there anything else we could do here? I don't even know what these do. Let's do the spider egg, sure, why not? I'll be auto-resolving most of the mole battles after this pwn. I probably could have even autoed this, but I just wanted to show people like the dragon. Sure. I understand that it's, these can be grindy for sure. Um, all right, can you even reach anywhere, buddy? Not really, but next turn maybe. All right, let's go bashing. Yeah, this mole man's gonna be on a mass retreat next turn probably. Oh, should have moved a little bit closer, although it still, still applied the stun. All right. Oh, man. The dragon will feast next turn. I'll show you guys the gorging ability. It's awesome. So you just tried to taunt me. Got a couple of random ass steel shapers doing nothing. Obviously, you don't need it for this, but it's great when you have, uh, like, because it gives you a fat heal, so. Yes. So if you're, like, in a pinch, you could just eat a crappy unit. I think it's, like, 30 HP, which is pretty respectable for sure. I didn't mean 40. If it, 30 or 40. if it fails to eat them, it actually um, does does like damage too. I thought you always. I thought it always ate them. No, it's a 90% chance. From what I've seen. Casting this just to get the life steal going. Have the big crab beat it down. Do the skilled. We'll buff the dragon and all his homies. So this is the devour ability. Yeah. So you click it. 90% chance. He got 8, and it heals my dragon for 30 HP. It's it's so good. It's so cool. All right. Uh, oh, what? So we just summoned... Oh, dude, I just... Saw, it was able to summon a Banshee, right? Right. And, and use it right away. Yeah, that's so good. Those are the two that we know of that are level 3. Yeah. He's got to just be routing here, right? That was a super one-sided fight versus Mole Man. But it's just AI, what do you expect, you know? Go my decaying zombies, get them. Dude, they're, they're munching, yeah. How are you liking your dragon so far, the Chosen Destroyer? He's epic. He's pretty good. He's big, he's a, he's a dragon, he's kind of pissed off at anything and everything. Yeah, that's how he rolls, huh? Let's probably break their leadership here. Oh, I'm assuming I moved into the proper position, maybe. All right, that should be a mass route. Uh, do you wish to claim victory and win the battle immediately? Yeah, sure, it's fine. You could chase them down, but we're gonna spare pwn the time of that. Oh, the siege has been lifted. Freedom. Yes, dude, it's time. There's going to be such an unholy beatdown on these stupid moles right now. Okay. So we need to get all the undead in the right army spot. Raise zombies. Sure, why not? Okay, steel shapers. I can probably start to cut out of the core army. Yeah, he's going to get nice buffs from that other character. That's the first desync we've had. So we just we just had a desync. And my game actually did crash. Did you get a desync as well? 
I did. Okay, so it was both of us. That was the first one. All right, guys, firing it back up. Well, when I clicked resync, my whole screen's black. Same, same. Yeah. Oh. Dude, the dragon the dragons have a lot of interesting uh, tech for sure. Like, I think Pokemon Dragon is probably really good. Like, going like uh, I almost went with Puff the Magic Dragon earlier. That was gonna be <laughs> my game plan. Like an Astral Dragon with like that focused on leveling up elementals super fast and just having a ton of tier three like jacked elementals super quickly. Um, so yeah, there's like lots of neat stuff. Yeah, raise zombies and corpse explosion are bread and butter for undead. Oh yeah, it's really fun. Look at the, the tournament banners are still up until the uh, until the screen appears. Hold on, it should appear in a second. There you go. Okay. All right, online multiplayer reconnects. Let's go down and check it out. <laughs> and now Moleman is the one that needs saving. Isn't that isn't that true? Yeah, we we Pone and I play pretty quick. Typically, I mean. Sometimes it's a little not optimal because we're just kind of shooting the shit, you know? But yeah, obviously there's more optimal play, but... Okay. This is busy. One moment, please. You're reconnecting to the realm, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm back in. Hmm. For me, it says one moment. Okay, it looks like we're back. Great. Okay. So what was I doing? I need to need to figure it out here. Die. Another necromancer coming in. Doom depth trench trench. We got you. Definitely need to recruit a hero. So let's see what options we have on the recruitment table. I wouldn't be bad for like a fighter. That's actually hmm. Summon a devastator sphere. Oh, I think I have to get this character. Pone <laughs> hates devastator spheres. The bane of his existence. I gave turn the devastator. <laughs> I got devastator sphered last night. I did. It was it was it was brutal. I don't think it actually did anything, but it, it, it didn't do any damage. But I ate like three attacks out of you. Yeah, <laughs> and it, your berserking unit went after it. It certainly sent a message. <laughs> all right. I was I was like, if all this thing does is tank a, so, a couple hits, I'm totally happy, and it did. It, it sure did, brother. It sure did. Um. All right. Let's repair that. Man, hostiles in domain? What? What did Hadries win? You you win a tourney already, Hadries? He probably did. A tournament just started and you won it. Oh wow, he would actually take uh he would actually take peace with me right now, Moleman. It's not gonna happen, guys. Moleman's gonna get it. He's gonna get the wrath. We do need to get a governor for this city though. Got it. So yeah, so that'll be destroyed in a couple turns. Mana income, I know the mana income's good. It's eventually gonna matter though, because I'm gonna be spamming like undead magic units, like the tier four ones and whatnot. So um, oh, the dragon level two. He's so close to getting there. So his defense in, isn't that great. Exhilarating roar, quicken breath, shadow aura. Let's get dragon scales, make him a tankier. He's like a fighter. Like, I feel like building a dragon as support is, is boring. How's the... A, you could be Big Mommy Dragon. <laughs> God, no, dude. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> Alright, so... We captured some of their heroes. Yeah, we'll keep them in the crypts for income and stuff. <laughs> Molly Molly, is that an Austin Powers reference? Molly, 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 molly. Yeah, that's pretty great. All right, so we'll have like a necromancer army. We'll just start moving through the hills here. We're gonna go find a mole man's rat rat's nest in the corner. Give him the biz. All right, so you're battling uh, moles as well, yeah? <laughs> yes, I'm battling free city moles. Let's get the wizard's tower fully upgraded. The worst kind. You're still battling those those uh, those free city moles. Yep. I just had the. I had like. What I had another free city army march at me, and then I had like two marauder armies fight me. So <laughs> it's really slowing my progress down on trying to wipe this guy off the map. Being attacked on all fronts, eh? Hmm. 
All right. Looking good. I have to like stop and heal up right now. My my dragon's doing great. My army's just like, uh, <laughs> Lord, my Lord. I'll get the better tail swipe next next year. Um, tail bash, yeah. I don't like the idea of displacing them though, because I want them to stay near me so I can eat them the next turn. Like that's the thing. That's why I didn't get the tail bash. Do cities founded from outposts still have ten gold upkeep? Uh, I'm pretty sure it just becomes a normal city. Yeah. Dude, Mole Man. Mole Man is getting eight, dude. Here's here's Big Deathwing over here. Look at him. Ho 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 ho! Well, Mole Man is weaker than you, according to the uh, according to the the tier list thing here. You are the because you've wiped like thirty armies of his. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. Okay, so let's recruit. Could animate a hero, but I think we just recruit one. To be fair. Oh, I can get a war breed. Feeding on chaos. This guy's offering me one right now. He's offering you a war breed. <sighs> Man, so yeah, if the guy isn't of my race, he won't benefit from the oh friend of ogres. Order add add up's kind of an interesting idea too. And give me some free affinity so I can get some tech. I don't hate that. All right, so you are going to be another support hero. It's just like a million items, Jesus. Um, sure, we can spare a mask of precision. And uh, we can get Vicious Killer, our Wind Barrier Ring. And let's reset your skills, make you a support character. All right, and let's go ahead and get uh, the strength training. So you'll come defend the city against these Haggard Raiders. Should be able to defend them off now. And now the big dragon is going to go and uh, find Mole Man's capital city. We found you, Mole Man. Yeah, skeletons are... I'm going to have skeletons in my army. No, for sure. I'm, I'm doing all the, all the cool stuff here. All right, so we can go tier two. Let's do that. Tower is coming up. Doom Depth Trench will be done in a turn. Get an Arcane Institute there. <laughs> turn was so happy last night because he had war breeds with hooves. They were awesome, dude. <laughs> Alignment changed to very evil, Pwn. You better watch out, dude. No, I, catch, selling my items is not is, is dumb with this strategy. So um, I'm doing a... Uh, there's a new build in this game called um, Artifact Hoarders. Dragon characters get bonus income for artifacts they sit on. So I'm getting gold per turn for my artifacts and also mana per turn. That's why I have 2,500 mana. Yeah, that's why I'm so jacked. Yeah, that's why I'm like pretty pretty loaded here. So we'll send this army over to go clear out the... They can She can go clear these nodes too while she's at it. We're coming to Karate Chop Mole Man. It's time. But I clicked in Mole man, your your time on this earth has come. Uh what is this? Plan an invasion? Okay, sounds good. Are you the lord of the free cities or what? Uh I am the destroyer of the free cities. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Alright, so we need to head over here. I am Gotham's reckoning. Be gone, dude. God. It's all these annoying trolls all over the place. Instead of repairing this, we'll just build a, a Doom Depth Trench there. We can't repair it. Maybe I have to repair it first before I can uh, replace it. Okay, that looks what it's going to be. Not sell, but uh, you can buy. Yeah, yeah, I can buy items, yeah. I'll look into that. I'll look into that. Raise zombies. Um, let's do a little shuffling and find something that's actually good. C cruel weaponry is a great one, so we'll do that. And uh, now we move in. Go put an end to this troublesome mole once and for all. All right. What other items do we have? We don't have any, like, chest armor. Fiery wake boots kind of sucks. Yeah, I might as well give some items to that character so it can be slightly more useful. Prospecting hunters and the society trait. I know, it seems like it's a really good combo. And it's just like the intuitive combo too. What the hell is this? Oh my god, really? It's like that that place in the corner is coming after me here, huh? 
All right. Um, do we need more food here? Why not? Yeah, we have plenty of buildings, so let's get some farms. Short. <laughs> Short. I haven't heard of uh, what Pone's up to. He's been pretty quiet over there, to be fair. All right. I'm trying so. to march and destroy this free city here. Your armies gain in hostile domain, instantly gain 750 knowledge. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is this is the good stuff here. We're getting to the good stuff. Oh, that's so good. Tome of the... Oh, here we go, baby. Let's let's do it. Yes. Can you play multiplayer without friends? Yes. Like, if you're asking if you can just join other people, like, set up games, yes. Mm. However, there's a chance that you'll find somebody who's going to abuse... This game has certain mechanics in it that you can certainly abuse. <laughs> it's time, Pwn. There's going to be a reckoning. Uh, okay. Is the, is the mole man's days numbered? Death magic? Yeah. No, we, we're getting all the goodies. Mole man's days are extremely numbered. Yeah, he's he's in trouble. We're, we're at, like, legit out of his capital here. See him sitting in there, little goblin dude. All right, so that's annoying. We don't really have much to do there. So let's build this. It's going to take a handful of turns. We can build the wizard's channeling tower. Let's get all those like sweet buildings there. Yeah, you know what kind of sucks though? So, Trying to level up these units without uh, having the leader ability where they gain two a turn, two XP a turn. Yeah. Yeah, because it the, makes uh, the a world of difference, dude. <laughs> yeah, the dragon doesn't have that. That's right. No, he does. He doesn't, but he doesn't have the one, right? That uh, gives two experience per turn. Is it? I didn't see it in his tree when yeah, I was looking. So they yeah. changed it. You, you can't start with it anymore. You have to get two abilities in the leader points before you can unlock that one. Understood. Understood. Maybe he wants to be my vassal. The mole man isn't ready for that yet. <laughs> mole will not consider this because they're too strong to surrender. So, like, once they get beat up. Oh shit, an ambush. Yeah, they, they'll they they'll consider it. I would happily... I just got, take... I, I just got ambushed. By what? It, this mole dude, like, he's got a bunch <laughs> of forest in his territory. <laughs> and, uh, like, I didn't see these two armies he had. <laughs> Pone's just being but ambushed by dread moles everywhere. <laughs> the ambush failed. I, I killed everything. But it was funny that it happened. That is pretty hilarious. Add siege projects, uh, and we can do. Uh, oh, hello! Something just happened. I'm also sieging. Hmm. So definitely do the that plus the undermining walls. Oh, hello! You gonna? They're gonna come and fight me? No way! All right, I'm gonna try and auto this because. I would absolutely annihilate this army, but to save you guys the time, I'm going to see what the auto looks like. Oh, uh, come on. It, this should be a super one-sided fight, in all, in all honesty. I didn't get to do my cruel weaponry, though. Hmm, it's too bad. Come on, dude. Just just, 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 just go down, moles. If I lose, like, one or two units, we'll, we'll roll with it, especially crappy in, industry units. Just the level. What level is your dragon, dude? Um, I think nine. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same as mine. Oh, we just cr crushed that mole army. That's right. You better flee into the city, little gremlins. So this is a really good trait. Yes, good. Makes them look all edgy. And then we will do all this. Five turns for that. You got it. Attack, the extra evil. Farm some souls. Meant to clean those out earlier. This character doing like all of our housekeeping basically. Hmm, yes, someone undead is good since we're going undead. Defensive training. Looks awesome. Maybe you can head north. All right, Bone Golem. Go join the party there. Building, 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 but we can annex another province here. Let's take that. And then we got something down here. Let's get the academy. It's gonna be five turns, but should be good. 
almost have enough for death magic too. Death magic's gonna be crazy strong. All right, stupid moles are sitting in their cities. This is our like good archer character. Um, we definitely want cruel weaponry. That one can you can just do insane damage with that. Okay. We got them all in the void. And uh, casting combat spells is cheaper. We have the 2,000 gold one we could do at any point also. Yeah. I think, you know, we don't... This actually would be pretty good. We have a lot of special, special provinces. This will be like another 40 gold, I think. Yeah. That was worth it. I have, Dude, I've been like kind of in this bottom corner, Pona. I have to admit, I haven't, I haven't seen you. Don't know what you're up to. I only have one city. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you raise a great point. All right, so yeah, hero, let's have you hustle up this way. Get the boner golem in that army. The little housekeeping army, as I like to call it. Wow, that's like a really bad. So target resource node, necrotic spires is like a defensive one. Fetid legion, what does this do? So grants weakening aura, oh, that's cool. All right, let's grab that, that looks badass. All right, so Fetid Legion is on the way. The city is going to get absolutely smashed here in a second. And I think we are about good. We just need to do a little bit of prospecting. It's pretty wild that there's still prospecting to be done, dude. You have 12 gold. Do you only have 12 gold? No, I'm, I'm making quite a bit of gold, actually. Not sure what they're referring to here. Let's pair that. That's being repaired. Bathhouse and end turn. Okay. So two turns until that's breached. We'll save up for the uh, for the death magic for things dying and giving us mana. Have that stupid bird just taking a shit all over all of our uh, territories here. Uh, we could do the room of recall. Don't think this is a bad idea though to get here. So where do we want to build this? We got to like plan. So we have three cities up here. So probably just like right in the middle is going to be fine. We can do it on this quarry. Cool. The chosen destroyer. Don't know where he is. Pony, the chosen destroyer. Whispering stone he uses. Oh yeah, yeah, the whispering stone. I did forget about that. Well, I guess I should give it to one of my cities that is unhappy, so. We can whisper a little bit there. Domain has been invaded by an NPC army of Oraculum. Are we at war with them, though? Are they just, like, scouting around? I'm not sure. Mole Man's rebuilding. We'll be dead in two turns. Yeah, all right. Pass turn. It's the WoW expansion, yes. <laughs> Pod and I are playing the newest WoW expansion. <laughs> I named my city WoW expansion. <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, I found Pone City in the corner, the dreaded destroyer. It is him. They slowed the game down a bit, though. You can't, like, tech quite as fast. Like, everything's more expensive and, um, like, all the traits and whatnot. Yeah, I do have a quest to conquer them, I know. Yeah, you used to be able to plow through every single one of them pretty quickly, but... Yeah, it takes it takes a while to age up now. Ah, uh, what is this? Do you acknowledge your farmers declare that there's an issue with the yields? Improve the peasants? Okay, so then I get... Ah, oh, that's not bad. Sure, why not? We could take the population increase. Uh, one turn till that's breached. Empire development skills. Gain 200 mana and 200 knowledge upon conquest of a city. Nope, we're still saving up for that fancier one. Oh wow, look at that. Holy shit. That's a that army sure sure scaled up. Yeah, I was just about to attack something. Oh my god, I This thinks I lose? <laughs> no, I mean this army is not capable of beating mine. <laughs> There's no way in hell. Chaos not getting a fair shake, huh? The game's definitely trying to cheese me right now. Okay. 
Hmm. <laughs> they ask for this in the return. That's it, really? Guys, it's time. We 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 create the mightiest vassal the land has ever known. Mole, mole man. <laughs> So Pwn's fighting a battle right now. So we got a little bit of time. Thank you guys for joining, by the way. Sorry, I haven't been as engaged chat and I'm like super focused trying to like learn all the new stuff. Yeah, it's slowed down though. So if you guys have any questions, now's a good time while he's in battle. Um, but here's our Chad Dragon character. Oh, ho, ho, ho. at level 12, we get like a big scary transformation. So I'm hoping to get that before, you know, I end up fighting Pwn, whenever that might be. I think you'll be okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I just want to have it because it'll look a little cool. Right, I'm saying like I think you'll you'll have it before. Yeah, before we fight. Yeah, you're pretty far away from me, so. You have this like corner up here. Definitely need to consider getting a uh, the teleport tower, so I can recall my ruler back. That'd probably be better to just plop that down. You guys want the mole to be my minion? We could, we could wipe him out one more time. We probably do that for the experience. We just karate chop his army and then we, we vassalize him. Although it might just end him. I don't know. I think it's worth the experience and knowledge we get for wiping him out. My society traits are mana addicts and artifact hoarders. Um, so artifact hoarders, what it does is the dragon's baseline ability is that for every artifact you have, you get money. So looking at my gold right now, um, you can see. My tier three items are giving me 10 gold. My tier two are giving me 72 and my um, dragon sword is giving me seven. So I'm getting a hell of a lot of extra money from dragon sword. Oh my God. Yeah. He killed, he just killed my Lord. You just lost your dragon. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Deathwing is just like, Oh, um, but ma the mana hoarders, you start with two high tier artifacts. And every artifact you have gives you mana. That's why I have like 3,000 mana. Because I just like... So for any like summoner build, I highly recommend going industry, artifact hoarders, and then just having like infinite mana. Not infinite, but a lot. So I can like afford to have so many magic-based units. Um, it will end him. I don't know if he has... Well, man might have more cities though. Let's see. He still has a good economy. Pwn's just dying down there. Deathwing took his name too literally. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He, he did indeed. All right. So we need to get a bathhouse here too. If we can. Yeah. Bathhouse coming here should solve those issues. Deadwing? Dude, you got to change your name to Deadwing, bro. Deadwing duck. Death magic will be good. Support and battle mages. So the necromancers will get that. Corrupt souls seem like a really nice unit. Um... Any unit? Yeah, I'm just. Oh, never mind. Find, find the leftover remnants of the the Moleman's army here. Apparently, they're they've never been stronger. Oh, the I I see where you are. You're just like in the east side of the map, right by the World Tree. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not fighting like the same Mole Man that you, I, I'm fighting find the Free City Mole Man. Man, I'm tempted because guys, here's the thing. This will give me a hell of a lot of experience and. I'll get 150 knowledge. They changed it so it's 150 knowledge per hero killed flat. Um, so I'll get 300 knowledge here plus... Um, I can just vassalize the city. I'm just going to vassalize it. I think that's the play. Mole Man's funny, fun, fun and all, but, you know, it's just... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose. <laughs> the Chosen Destroyer sent back to the shadows. Oh, no. I don't know, guys. What do you do? We, what do we do with Mole Man? Let's put it to a poll. Um, nice, and him. All right, you guys choose what we do with Mole Man here, and we'll uh, we'll we'll go from there. So vassalizing Mole Man is 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 basically making him. My, I'm his overlord, so he stays as a ruler, but he's just my minion. And any battle I get into, he helps. Um, cause so what you do is you, when you go, you just, you go into diplomacy and you negotiate and then you just click, I become overlord. So, you know, yeah. What killed Pwn? Pwn is dying to uh, some army down South, I guess, down here. Yeah. He, his, his dragon got killed. Did you get the HP upgrade on your dragon? Uh, I don't think so. 
Yeah, I think that's like a must. I don't think I've gotten that one yet. No, 160. My dragon has 160 HP. I don't know about that. You guys want him to be vassalized? I'm going to let this go until Pwn finishes his battle here. Well, my battle's done. Okay, well, until next turn. Okay. <laughs> Deathwing, the chosen destroyer, dude. The Unga Bunga. Okay. Let's do a little bit of prospecting here. Prospecting. Poker drubs, that's not a bad item, actually. Alright, so you guys want Woolman to be ended, huh? Looks like. Okay, well, we'll see what the options are after we uh, karate chop him here. It's a lot of experience. It's a hell of a lot of experience. Hmm. We still need to get this desecrated temple too. Oraculum. Frost orcs. The frost orcs cometh. Okay, school of cryomancy. Man, we got so much mana. We could probably just trade mana for different resources too from the other rulers if we wanted to be really sweaty. It's okay, Pwn. It's an opportunity to rebuild your army stronger than it was before, you know? That's true. And you can upgrade your units. Okay. Alright, so you got level 5, which is nice. So let's get endurance training. Hand down the best. Looks like we got a chess piece for you. I'll take it. Hmm. So what sort of characters can we get? We can get you, and um, then we want to get, actually from this city, I think what we do is we pop out a Bastion, and then we can get a Necromancer from the other city here. Cool, um, Death Magic is really good. I think taking the money right now, the Rite of Wealth from Materium is gonna be better though, because we could just like sauce out all of our cities. Great. Scholar's Guilds. Let's go for the uh, teleportation circle, speed build that, and then we can start building the final tier city. Looking good. Desecrate structure. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can do domain of death. It's not a bad one. All right, time to go karate chop the mole man. He actually mustered a decent little army here, but it shouldn't matter. Even if we lose one or two units, I'm okay with that. You guys have seen Mole Man get annihilated in combat several times. I don't think we need to watch that again. Did it go? Oh. Oh, it's just because it's processing the fight. Oh, I forgot to cast Whiteborn. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Well, it didn't matter anyways. All right. So Mole Man is gone. Oh, look at that. Celebrating the defeat of Mole Man. Apply the fading craftsmanship to make uh, copper load rise higher. Spiritually guide Mole Man to Mage Heaven. <laughs> oh man. Yes. So I guess we just vassalized the conquered city, although 800 G's is pretty good. Um, we'll vassalize it, it's fine. Having a little mole presence in the corner will be good. So here's Whiteborn. It's gonna make our, you ready for undead lizards? Oh, they look the okay. They look a little different. <laughs> they look pretty similar, actually. Okay, the little halflings are up there. Mole man turned. Can we not see council as we once did, my old friend? Yeah, poor mole man, dude. I feel a little bit guilty about it, for sure. Let's go clear some of these armies out if possible. Let's hit the mountains. I see Pone's base down here. This is our support lizard, so he can get the uh, get the experience training. I should have gotten that earlier, but better late than never. It's got all those angry alligators and shit. This is our sniper. Killing momentum's really good. All right. I don't need more mana, that's for sure. Oh, the dragon's almost there, Pwn. Quicken breath, the dragon scales gives resistances. Man, that feels that feels like it's the way, but we'll get the tail bash just to try it out. <laughs> the barber takes a little bit too much off the top. Yeah, Mole Man's in the trash now, he is. 
We have some characters in the crypts. They might have some good items too. Should probably check. Although they are generating mana, but I think selling their mains is better because of the items we get. It's going to increase our... Uh, see, our, all our primary resources just increased. So then we go to the prison and uh, I think we can... Sorry, guys. It's a tough life being a mole. And then, um, yeah, these guys have dog shit items. So we'll just sell them and sell them because that just sauces our economy so hard. Oh, God. We're so just loaded right now, dude. Necromancer's coming. Get a bone daddy down here. Call it a turn. Hey, take care, David. Thank you for joining. Mole man dug too deeply this time. It's true. He did. He certainly did. Can repair this finally. Can we win this fight? Yes. Should be able to. Karate chops. Let's annex that. Looks like we can. Pone's doing a little something. Up to no good in the neighborhood. Yeah, I felt a little bit guilty about the mole beat down there, for sure. <laughs> they were my, they were once my people, you know, and now they. Uh, I was gonna say you killed your child. Yeah, they they paid the price. It's like one of those movies where like the the you know the protagonist like accidentally creates the villain. You know, it's like you made me this way. All right, what do we got down here? Yes, it's like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a like a hundred other movies. All right, looking good, looking good. Uh, do you know prospecting? If they'll prospect on their own, if they just run around, and like you give them the auto. I don't think so. Yeah, wasn't sure about that. It's just auto explore. Okay, so we definitely want the soul well. You're not going to believe this, but I actually have pretty quick turns right now, surprisingly. That's weird. I don't know why you would. <laughs> I got a lot going on, but I'm just I'm just really quick with it. Yeah, I bet. Okay. Looking good. We get a bathhouse after that, and we can pass. All right. So now it's time, like I said, guys, we're going like into the Shadow Realm. Oh, this is like my favorite tome. I love this one. It's so fun. Yeah, that's a cool one, but we want to get something else. So we got to go fishing for a while. It's going to take a minute, but here we go. Oh. Yes, Anakin, good. Okay, let's pop this down. Why do I have a random peasant spearman in my army? Is that supposed to be a zombie or something? I just have like one random like peasant spear dude hanging out. <laughs> okay, let's get the fetid legion going. Can replace these guys with good quality units here. The little halfling in the corner is getting a little bit crazy. Yeah, he is. Uh, He's building roots and stuff. He's a vast empire. Does he? How many cities is he rocking? Um, one, two, three, he has four. <laughs> they're just, there's just a lost wizard in the back of your base rubbing its hands together. Like, <laughs> what's going on with that? I didn't clear it out like forever ago. And it's just, he's back, huh? Well, he's upgraded. He's back and he's pissed. He wasn't originally, he did, he was not always lost in his wizardry ways. Yeah, he was once a once a, a noble a noble lad, huh? Hmm. All right, so let's go prospecting in the hills. Past turn. Pwn's turn, kind of quick. Okay, so I think we can probably start fine tuning the army a little bit and cutting you. This character should be done like now. Get another one of these. They're going to be pretty good for our purposes. Mm. Wizard Tower Recall. So, Ruler Recall spell. Wizard's Observatory just gives us extra range. We really don't need mana, but taking the bathhouse actually helps because having good city stability benefits you in a multitude of ways. 
Um, can we speed the building of that one? No, it's a thousand G's. That's expensive. All right. So Fatted Legion is ready. I don't even know what that one does. So it grants hit points. Oh, that's pretty good. To all of our spooky ghost characters. So what unit is this in this army? This is a anvil guard. Okay, we can cut you. Get some better quality units. So let's speed you along. We got you in there, and then we can get the Bastion joining this army too. Dinosaur Man, we can get rid of the um, Spell Shapers and get some like cool undead units for the army. So I'm thinking Bastions are going to be really nice. Bone Golems are also not a bad choice. They they have they have good staying power. Like the fact that they um, they resurrect is really good. Where they come back as the skeletons. Well, the thing is, you can only fit so many armies in, uh, in into a battle. But yeah, I do plan on having a bunch of skeletons. Yes, it's the game plan. We'll roll. We'll roll out dirty with them. Okay, pawns down there. Up to no good. Um, let's go ahead and summon some banshees. Should be very nice. Let's put these guys on auto explore. I think we've like legit almost cleaned out the mountains. There's like not a whole lot left. <laughs> not a whole lot. Locket of channeling. Yes, good. All right. Yeah, the uh, there probably won't be a Warhammer tournament this weekend, but soon. Yeah, soon. I have the poisonous trait, so it like reflects poison damage. You gain a banshee, two skeleton units, and a bone golem. Oh, that's cool. It only costs 600 mana. What a deal. Okay, so you hustle on this way. I'm genuinely curious what Pwn's up to. It's awfully quiet over there. Oh, ho, ho. That I could probably take down. Would that give me the experience? Let's see how far we are off leveling. Hmm. Wouldn't be bad. Just a couple holy units. Go clear that out real quick. Bastion head up here. Undead head up here. Auto combat. Go, go, go. Worth it. All right, so you head across. Let's get a Forester. Bone Daddy heading up that way. Hero is leveled up, so this is our uh, support character, if I'm not mistaken. Spurred action is pretty damn good still, even after they nerfed it. Have any better bows? Nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's one new physical trait, only one, um, not multiple. Okay, the halfling guy is over there cackling pretty hard. The chosen destroyer pwn is probably amassing his dreaded unstoppable legion once more. Unstoppable for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound too confident. I've never lost ever with this army. <laughs> Except to the mole man AI. You're just like, oh, just flying through the air. What are these guys? Oh, the skeletons are still like bugged out. The tooltip on them, that's pretty funny. Yeah. All right, so let's go up here. Oh God, is they, it gonna crash? They did nerf tomb, the Tomb of Root. The, well, the vines aren't as, uh, they, don't, they only stick around for like one turn and then uh, they don't get any enchantments or anything anymore. Yeah, it looks like it crashed again. One sec, guys. It's just, uh, it's it's for, uh, I the problem with having like long Jesus hair is it just pokes you in the eye all the time. <laughs> Gotta get a haircut, man. All right. Auto combat. Back in, baby. All right. Let's head back down here. Let's head back down here. Start fine tuning our armies a little bit so you can get this guy in your force. Dragon Man can get a couple of those on the next turn. Oh yeah, this is like my favorite spell by the way, this one. So firstly, let's get this magic and then we can start doing the uh, March of Winter. 
the terraforming spell. It's great. Did they touch the Barbarian Skirmisher units? Yeah, I think there was some nerfs to them from what I saw. I think there was some nerfs. Can keep you, actually. Why not? Nerfs. Nerfs. Yeah, there. I think there was some. Um, Frostfire for adjacent Snow Province. So we can set this up here. Because that's where we're going to do the Marching Winter. We can send you to go scout a little bit. So he's just going to hustle down here and just kind of make his way downtown. What's my what's my dragon homie up to? It looks like you you're pure evil, dude. Wow. Okay. You got you got me beat on that. Pone's got me uh out on the evil department. Defensive master, sentinel, fighting, defense. Can grab defense. Oh, Pone's doing something right now. Okay. Summon elemental seems good. No, he's still doing something. I'm you, fighting. Try, you, try not to lose my guy. Your dragon? No, not my dragon. <laughs> no, not him. Not this time. He's, he's coming back for more, huh? Okay, so Necromancer, Corrupted Soul. I actually still think the Bone Golems legitimately make a good mainline unit because of the fact that they respawn as a skeleton. So it's kind of like they're, they they really have the power of like a tier 3 unit, I feel. Um, like a lower end tier 3 unit. Yeah, I have a lot of mana, it's true. I'm going to keep the skeletons and just have a unholy wave of the undead. If needed. Call you Mr. Mana. Yeah. No, I, I have a lot of mana. I don't have quite enough uh, to really get like the spells going quickly, though. Is there anything I can get in Astral that would help? Yeah, casting reserves is really nice. I need to get to that. Um, so while Pwn's fighting, we can just kind of like scheme... Yeah, Whispering Stone doesn't help us. Yeah, Province gains stability with each one that shares a border. Bless Parade of the Champion. Infestation. Yeah, nothing here that's really super helpful. Cities can now build teleporter improvements. That's a pretty good one. I think we just go down Death Tree, though. Uh, universal Camouflage in your domain, and cities gain vision range. All heroes instantly gain one rank. Ooh, I think we save for that, guys. Because then my dragon just goes to get his level 12 transformation and Yeah, Pone, are you're not are you pure chaos or do you have do you have some nature too? I I have a bit of nature. I did the the one nature thingy. Uh the uh, the evolution tome. Dude, look at look at the undead lizards. Oh yeah. So cool. Yeah, so the morale isn't gonna be an issue for me, thankfully. Big Daddy is going to get the level 12 transformation. So this is this is the what you guys have been waiting for here. Um, we get this guy to uh, level 12, and I believe he turns into an undead dragon. Um, he's got shadow aspect, so he gains soul drain, which is good. Demi giant runes? Did they add some new runes? Demi giant? I don't remember that one from before. I don't know. We have enough wonder. Uh, you still have a wonder near your city. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down and get that on the way over here. Pwn City's pretty big. He's got 14 population at his one city, so definitely pretty Chad. All heroes gaining a rank. How close are we to leveling? Pretty close. The wonder might actually give it to us. Yeah. He's turned into something better than an undead dragon. I'm excited, dude. I'm super hyped for this. His army's pretty good. Necromancer skills. Gotta be like super lame. <laughs> yeah, just like the lamest. <laughs> oh, wait, why do why do my skeletons have draconic vitil vital uh, vitality? What? Because uh, your skeletons are are your race. Yeah, but I never got that ability. You never got that transfer race transformation. No, I think that it just pulls. Oh, it was from the it was an event that spawned some skeletons. It must be from your culture. Oh yeah, it's probably my culture. Hell one. yeah, dude, sign me up. Give me all the good stuff here. <laughs> he stole it from us. I did, dude. I did. Do you think a dragon could work as a good frontliner for an astral society? Yeah. No. <laughs> I think so. Dragons as yeah. frontliners, it's like the risky part though with astral is like if you lose your dragon, you have no magic, so then you're just in the pits. Um, you do get the soother in. Uh, 
Yeah. Astral Society, which means you can heal decently. You can build the dragons to be... Let's see. So all the dragons also have when they're below 60% HP, they deal more damage, which is pretty cool. So they just get, like, pissed. Um, yeah, they're they're really fun. Natural regeneration. Do I want to keep this? I want to found a city here. Nah, I don't think so. Could found another city, but I think we have our hands full. Are right, we looking at building? The frostfire's coming. Hey, you should be able to go back to doing things. Do it. Come back to doing it. All right. All right, so we get you in the army. Um, that's going to be done next turn. Move you out of the army and just replace you with the good quality units. And then we can slap skeletons back in there, I guess. Yeah, so those skeletons have the, the dragon upgrades, is what it is. All right, brother, all done. Yeah, dragons start with higher defensive stats and more uh, HP. They have 100 HP, whereas I think the heroes start with, like, what is it, 90? And you uh, you have better resistant armor, too. <laughs> so track you. Can you take me higher? Oh, my God, Fursona. What's, what's going on over here? The Ham Binger is the halfling's name, dude. The Ham Binger. <laughs> He's almost the Ham of Binger. I need to make it so he can't declare war on me. Okay, it doesn't look like he can unless he wants to take like a huge penalty. All right, so this will help our necromancers and banshees, which is really good. Oh, yeah, dude. So rad. All right, so let's go ahead and do the Marching Winter. We can do this. Um, Dragon Man is going to start running down this way. Although we could just go straight through here. Is there roads through this mountain pass? It looks like there is. Hmm. All right. So Dragon, he grabs the skeleton on the way down. Whatever. It'll do. This army's jacked as hell. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right. So you keep going. Go, my skeletal minions. What do we got here? So it looks like this finished. Um, we could start working on a frost fire per adjacent, adjacent snow province. Doom depth trench is just a safe one though. So we'll do that. A signature skill is available. Oh, very good. So this is, um, this is our sniper character. Okay, so none of those abilities are that great. We'll just summon an elemental. And then she's also leveled. Martial expertise is ranged damage. Would you consider the dragon leaders and their associated chums play, pay to win? No, definitely not. The dragons are strong, but like wizard kings, I, I agree with Pone's assessment that wizard kings are still probably the strongest. I don't know though. Like again, I, I've barely, this is my first time playing it. If I were to just like make a snap judgment though, that would be like kind of the direction I would lean. But um, all right, I'm, I'm growing impatient. So we need to just pop this right now and see. All right, so all my heroes should rank up. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Shadow transformation. Okay, he becomes undead. His breath attack oh. gets increased in size. Oh. He has a 70% chance of inflicting frozen, and he heals every oh. turn. This seems good. Oh, that's so sick. Dude, he becomes like a giant skeletal dragon. Oh, that's so rad. Oh, man. That's so, that's so freaking cool, dude. You finally revived Seraphon. <laughs> Seraphon is back, dude. He's pissed. Let's, let's this go. time it's personal. Let's get some defensive stats on him. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Um, let's get you out of the army here. Get you in the army. Pretty good quality there. Looking good. So these guys have leveled up also. Now what can we get here? Probably like a restore is fine or something. Soul Collector. Yeah, that's actually pretty good for that. Hot Topic Dragon. Dude, this dragon is straight out of Hot Topic. We have our Necromancer Man. All right. Armies are looking reasonably strong. Another hero leveled up. Oh, this is our other support character I forgot about. 
I wonder I wonder if I can just click on you and look at oh <laughs> Are you jealous? <laughs> Is Deathwing you... sitting over there all, all spurned and upset that he doesn't look as cool? <laughs> just just virgin Deathwing versus Chad Surf. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, phone. Say it oh. ain't so. I will not go. Yeah, you gotta turn the lights off and carry you home, dude. Okay. The Shadow Drake of the North comes. All right, so let's look at some politics here. All right. Do a little bit of that. Great. Cool. I just had this chaos thing where, like, I could either... Like, there was two way, or all three of them had Deathwing leveling up. But one was like, oh, my city loses two population. <laughs> I could murder my other hero I have. <laughs> or I could block drafting for six turns in my city. And my one <laughs> hero levels up twice and Deathwing levels up once. Just the haggard chaos. I, the, the haggard so, chaos <laughs> events. So I took that one. <laughs> but, uh, just leveled me up. Mm. Yeah, me, uh, the resurgence is really good. Power. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Dude, Pwn, are you is Deathwing trembling down there with his his one city? I am level twelve. Oh no! All right, <laughs> let's see what Pwn looks like now. Hold on, let me know when you do it, yeah, so I can look at your character. I gain the I gain the fiend type. Okay. Uh, becomes part fire damage if not a chaos dragon. I am. I am. Has two separate base sixty percent chances of inflicting a random negative status effect. Always inflicts burn. So it's like the Chaos Eater's energy, yeah. So Pwn does, Pwn does fire damage, which is great against me. So Oh, look at, look at him. Look how cool he looks. He's got a little halo of flame. That's rad, dude. They're emitting shadow clouds. I know. It's really cool. Well, we'll go clear all this out and maybe take this army out too. We'll see. We will see. We're very rich at the moment. As a matter of fact, screw it. Let's just speed build some things. We have the money. All right, looking good. Doom Depth Trench is about to finish. Uh, Keystone gains mana. Uh oh, are you frozen? No. I had like some weird event pop up and it just uh... nuked you. Yeah, it, it might be frozen. I'm still hearing sounds. It, it could be one of those like I still have my cursor and stuff, so I might have to just close it down. He's got fire damage though, which is bonus against my entire army. I don't know what the rest of it. I assume he's got pyromancy tome also, so it's pretty pretty good. Oh, okay. Hey, I just had a crazy good event right there. Wow. All right, so let's get a frostfire. We can do it right here. That will finish next turn. Oh. <laughs> I thought that I was going to be able to gain this fire giant as a unit, but... Not today? No, he just goes to my city and helps production. He's just <laughs> laughing at you, dude. <clears throat> my skeleton's 140, huh? That's pretty good. Pretty decent little unit quality here. What is this, like, halfling legion down here? Bow down before the way. That song's so good, man. Nine Channels is so awesome. Alright, so that's going. Man, my knowledge is off the... I just had some, like, temporary event where I get a huge knowledge buff, and it's just, like, insane. I'm, I'm a little nervous about Pwn's magic damage, though. That's, like, one thing he has on me, is that his, like, his damage type counters mine. My units. So that's tough. But, you know, I think we'll endure. I think we will endure. Nature gets bird. Astral becomes the Elden Beast. Oh, really? That's pretty radical. Yeah, Frost Fires are really good. Yeah, really, really good. The Chosen Destroyer Pwn. He's up to no good. Taking some time for some supreme scheme, I would wager. <laughs> Halfling, yeah. Good old Mole Man is just off in the Shadow Realm. Hey, look at that. Got a minor tributary now. Frosting transformation is done. Let's see what other options we have for like cool stuff. Veil of Darkness is funny, but I think there's cooler things we could do. Prelude of Doom. 
Again, we can just like keep shopping around until we find exactly what we want. It's altered to Arctic terrain. Yeah, enemies have weaker resistance. It doesn't like destroy the terrain though. That's not a bad spell. Oh my god, is that done too? Really? Wow, we have so much so much knowledge right now. So now we have March of Winter. So you cast this on your cities and it, it turns it into ice and gives you food and production based on um based on the territories that it spreads to. So pretty good. So we basically just cast this on all our cities. So it's good we have a surplus of mana because we're going to start using a hell of a lot of it. Um, all right, desecrate structure. Yeah, flash freeze. Yeah, it could be worse. Although the other ones are faster. So nope, that's same speed. Okay, so let's head down this way. I feel like my units are so slow on the campaign map here. Alrighty. Go bone daddies. Keep moving. Let's go keep scouting with the skeleton. See what's uh, going on in the middle of the map. See if there's anything to farm. It looks like there actually are a couple nodes. Some focus crystals. Nice. Oh, there, there's actually stuff to do here. This is great. All right. So we have some, we have some stuff to do in the middle of the map. I wasn't sure opponent had cleared all that yet, but it would appear not. Hmm. Perfect. Yes, pass. Yes, look at the frozen empire starting to spread. <laughs> yes. Yes, my pretties. Go forth. All right, uh, anything here? Your heroes gain experience faster. I think we're chilling there. And now we can do some road building to get down to here. Hey, nice, a fire giant. Can our dragon reach it? No, we'll get it next turn. Let's keep moving. And then there's just this just random ass marauder army sitting in the hills. Does terraform magic reverse after your spell ends? I I don't know actually. I'm not sure. I I, I think if you turn it off, maybe it does. But that's a, it's a good question. I actually have no idea because I've never like been in a situation where. Oh yeah, just prospected a wind barrier ring from your base here. So he's got that. Can he? Can Big Pimpin wear more rings or no? Big Pimpin. Pwn's army is probably mostly like Unga Bunga. No, we want Locket of Channeling. There we go. I'm, I'm no haggard barbarian. Aren't you like playing Chaos? I am, but I'm playing Feudal. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So you're you've got some spice going. Um, what else do we want to build here? Some blacksmith for the uh, so we can produce units in a pinch if need be. Hurrying that would be kind of stupid. Will the schools crack next? Get all that forbidden ice tech and uh, cool. He's on the way. They don't disappear. If I uh, let's see, yeah, I don't really. As you mind, uh, they seem to be. Yeah, I don't really care to go after Oraculum. Um, conquer the city. This may require you to declare war. If the free city becomes conquered by another player, the quest will fail. Yeah, it's like, whatever. I, I have bigger fish to fry than crossing through the dreaded mountains. Unless there's some big penalty I don't know about and it's like some new quest. Marching winter, marching winter. That one pretty much is already marching winter, so we'll do this one next. Yeah, you get the one ring slot. The dragon only has one finger, which can which can have the ring on it. Okay, looks good, looks good, looks good. Got the bone daddies all over the place. Dude, whatever is going on with this like re renegade army here, man, it needs to it needs to stop. The one that just marched across the seven seas to come to my territory there's one that's doing the same to me dude it's just it's just supreme trolliness oh, oh, oh yes yes oh let's go dude so many waste the divine okay so that's cool Merely attempting to bring some and, and then when they die when the effect expires okay 
Sign me up for that. That is radical, dude. Yeah, there's like this like random renegade army that's just like trolling after me. Death to the rock giant. Go forth and tell them bow down. Oh, the rock giant becomes a labor servant in one of my cities. And oh uh, yeah, that's what I thought that I was going to get the fire giant from, but it's just oh, that's cool though. So I can like uh, he can subjugate the giant. Wow. Okay, in Quen form. So we, we go to that city and see what they're doing. So this city just gets like a million production for a couple turns. Um, that's pretty rad. We can do the school of cryomancy here. Um, replacing the quarry for now. Man, it's getting pretty bonkers. Okay, so let's keep heading down this way. Make some roads. Dragon Man can go explore this. Slay these vile creatures attack. Yeah, sounds good. Should be fine. I'm pretty sure that's like a low tier wonder here. Pwn, we have done it. We have won. Oh, I got a Thunderbird mount, dude. Oh, a new skill. Hmm. Uh, so I have like in my like the wizard hero something called firebomb. Like yeah. That's yes. Yeah. So all your heroes can throw like ranged fire attacks, which is super good against me. <laughs> yeah, it's badass, dude. It's really good. Seed of Shadow, and then what we can do next is get you to build. Um. This can go right here. All right. I don't know why there's no walls in this city. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Some funny business going on for sure. Wow, I can still just keep building things. Um, all right. So the dread, the dread pwn city is over that way. The tyrant he is. Can I reach any of these guys? I don't think so. Keep exploring. This bone daddy army can keep moving. Oh my god, I, I wasn't sure if it would actually come raid me. But it looks like it is. Oh, it's so obnoxious. <laughs> if you want war with the Shadow Lord, um, who is this guy? Bulwark? You know where Bulwark is on the map? Bulwark. Oh, it's one of my it's my my minion who doesn't like me. Okay. Yeah, I should probably give uh, him a whisper. Not a very good minion. I know, it's the mole I subjugated. I was like, I didn't know you could come do battle. Oh with me. yeah, if you if you so like if you force somebody through through violence, they do do not like you. Yeah, for a while at least. For Let's... obvious reasons. Okay, observatory doesn't really help too much. Does that actually open anything up? Let's just get that. I've never gotten that before. Mm, let's just do that just in case. And now we can go start squashing units. Dragon. See, Pwn's up to no good here. We're doing a little bit of raiding. How are you still having something to raid? Or Oh, that's your conduit being raided? Yeah, that's me getting raided. <laughs> I was like, how are you still... Uh... Yeah, that's wild. Okay, so this is like your border here. I'm, I'm, I'm snooping around, dude. Making you... Making you suspicious. Keeping me on my toes. Indeed. Okay, let's do this. And uh, we can also get a... Uh, yeah, we can throw a white wish in there. Yeah. Use those to repel the invading armies. Mole Man to the Revenge. It was almost Mole Man to the Revenge, but thankfully it calmed down. Um, is there anything I want to do? Teleport Circle. Marching Winter. Hasn't been cast on every city yet. Yeah, you can mix races. Uh, it, you just need to conquer conquer one yeah correct so we got our, our frozen jolly empire here bro what's up guy just raided my land and now he's like, <laughs> like <laughs> do you surrender <laughs> oh my god 
Wow, the shuffling is so expensive now. I need to get the astral thing to make it cheaper. Okay. See, I'm going through the mana pretty quick now, though. It's good to kind of keep a surplus with this kind of playstyle here. Yeah, we'll get that. That looks like a good spell. Whose city was this here? The Lizard Scourge? Oh, it's some city that you, <laughs> you like, plundered, dude. They met the Chosen Destroyers. Did they meet the, the most chosen of destroyers or what? All right. Oh my God, I just saw this giant dread dragon fly fly on the edge of my screen, dude. He was like, do you surrender? He's <laughs> like, oh God. Do I see a turn ar invasion army marching here? You see a turn setting up a city on your border, yes. I see, I see all these exclamation marks. The undead. They're here, dude. The hordes cometh. They do. The war! Not yet. I mean, maybe. It depends on what you want, what you end up doing, but... Um, we might get a little bit ornery. We'll have to see. I guess I could have just jumped that out of the army, but... Yeah, just have it. Okay, how strong is this thing? Uh... High risk battle. Yeah, once we get another Bastion here and the Ice Witch, we should be able to win that. Chase that guy out. Yeah, we can like pull this guy in. It's going after my... The AI is literally raiding, like the mobs are raiding my uh, my Seed of Shadows that I built. <laughs> the, yeah, they added a way to get rid of City Runes. You can dismantle them now. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's expensive as hell. 500, oof. I'm not gonna get that anytime soon. The undead scourge musters its strength to fight the burning legion, I know. That's basically, I'm, I'm the lizard scourge. Yeah, so it's it's very much in the flavor, but. What do you have? You have soul grinders, necrotic magic. Okay, still probably worth. You got the two bone daddy golems. A couple turns, we'll have this. Man, that knowledge boon thing I got earlier was insane. And now all the, the frost territory giving me just tons of knowledge is also very good. So we might lose the Pun's army, but if we do end up fighting him and losing to him, we can just fall back to our base and make him come to us. We're definitely stronger according to the balance of power. Um, but you never know. He's got... You are coming for me. Yeah, I'm setting up to... Oh, oh, look at this. He's got the He's got the wyverns and shit. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that knight. That's so rad. Hell yeah, dude. You got some cool stuff, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, you got a really radical army. All right. So we can annex another province here. Let's take that one. <laughs> They're actually going after my Seed of Shadows. Oh, that's so annoying, dude. Okay, what does this fight look like? It's a risky battle. Come on, guys. I need you to win this. Oh! They should win it. Those are Bastions. No! Really? How do I lose to that? Is it is that thing that strong? Oh, God. I okay. know that feeling. I can't cast spells. I was, like, surprised that they were able to kill these, like, upgraded Bastions. It's, it's like this Marauder army that's just chilling in my lands with like, uh... Like, how do they win that? <laughs> Owned in all caps, I love it. I know, what the hell is this? All right, can we freeze any of these guys? Any of these sons of guns? It's, uh... They, like, all do, like, electric damage and Bastions are weak against electric. Is that true? Bastions aren't golems, they're just, like, regular dudes. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was thinking of golems. Forget everything I just said. <laughs> okay, I mean... Okay, I'm getting zapped. They hit pretty hard, actually. Ouchies. If I can kill the uh, Mage Bane, then I'm going to get all my spells. <clears throat> okay, I can kind of see it now. It's all starting to make sense. It is, dude. All right, this makes sense. The mage bane is just that jacked. 
Maybe they buffed it. I don't know. It's like beating the brakes off my army, and those little like they have they have some like astral wisps with them, which are yeah, the pretty little tier one guys. Yeah, dude, they dunk on my guys. Holy shit! I need to like make some good units. Oh, they have they have frenzy. They they keep getting strengthened every time they shoot you. Oh, bring it down! <laughs> oh, I'm too weak. Wasn't supposed to happen. So Those are some nasty tier one units, bro. Holy shit! I was they like, don't normally ha they don't normally have that strength and ability. So <laughs> that. I'm wondering if it's just because it's well. I know that uh, the longer <laughs> game goes on, even the creeps get oh god random buff stuff. So it's so that, annoying, that, dude. That guy have frenzy's really strong. <laughs> okay, so obviously the bastion sucks. So let's just make some boner golems to fight them, and then we can do some. Uh. I don't even know what else to make. The White Witch was pretty pretty bad there, actually. Could make some uh, Halberdiers, some Anvil Guard. I guess we'll just make some Arbalists. And we'll try and get them next turn. Yeah. The copyright free Beholder is no joke. It's almost dead now, though, and it won't heal. So I can probably get it before it kills that. Not that I like care too much about it, but... Okay. Oh, did I forget to move? I think I did. Oh, it's turns Dread Dragon. <laughs> Your Dread Dragon looks pretty freaking cool too, though, dude. Let's let's not mess about here, you know? We're messing. No, your dragon's rad, dude. It should hold its little dragon head up high and be proud of itself, you know? <laughs> yeah, those wisps are no joke. I don't even know what this spell does. Okay. Unit cannot recover hit points and will die when this effect ex expires. Five morale at the end of turn. Wow, that's an interesting spell. Are you ready for the most evil? If if Pwn has a spell jammer, I'm I'm just gonna go back to my base probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just turn up. I'll just pack up and walk home. Because I don't know if I can beat him without um, my magic. Yeah, I don't think I can. Whereas, like, we have a good situation going. We could honestly probably just turtle and go for magic victory. Um, but, yeah, this is way more fun. We try. Yeah. I said we could try to do that, yeah. You'd have to come to me. It's true. But I would have the aid <laughs> of the rabbit hobbits. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The hobbits might come. Although, honestly, the AIs don't really do much when that kind of stuff happens, in my experience. Kind of just sit around and, you know, do halfling things. Is that you? <laughs> Oh, that's that's nice. We're gonna get this next turn too, which is super exciting. And this army, we'll get it in there. Probably throw the skilled into the other army. Saffiron versus Deathwing. I'm all done, by the way. I'm sure you're just preparing your defenses and whatnot. Pwn will. Sit behind the walls and scheme. Oh, there's still some prospecting left on the map, it would seem. Okay, so let's get you. Move you into this army. Then we can do this. Hell yeah, look at that thing. Ho ho ho. Oh, that's so cool. And how much... They cost a hell of a lot of mana, though, to maintain. So one more batch of that, and we should be... Should be in pretty good shape. The Reaper. Uh, yeah, the Reaper is good, but, it, man, it's it's expensive. I'm, like, looking at it. I'm, like, the amount of souls it costs, it kind of puts you in the red, you know? Yes. Which is tough. We come to do battle, sort of. What's battle, precious? Can I even declare a justified war against you? Okay, good. I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Um, all right. So does Pwn, what does his army look like? He's got Deathwing, he's got some units. Wait, did I see a level 17 Lord? Oh my God, I was like, dude. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be pretty rad, but no, it's not the case. Okay, what can I cast here that's helpful? 
Enemies, okay. It's interesting. I never did cast this, which would have been nice. Kind of got a little bit of a hard on for some of the other abilities. It's gonna take me a handful of handful of turns to uh, siege him down. I I would wager. Suppose we can start on that. All right. Cool, man. Prepare, prepare for trouble. Make it. Oh, make it double. Okay, can we make some more roads? No, it doesn't look like it. Everybody's good. Everybody's chilling. The main base is still being absolutely annihilated by this stupid freaking hell beast thing. Let's make one more bone golem. That should get the job done. Then we can finish you and get a just a stupid anvil guard or something, whatever. Uh, we can even just throw a skeleton in there. Sure, why not? Okay. All right, so let me see. Deal with this first. Deathwing sits in his throne, looking like a cool dragon. And we want to get a top tier unit here. Are you attacking me right now? I'm not. No. Okay, I wasn't sure if I should pay attention down there. Oh my god. All right. So, Pwn, I'm going to fight this. It's the Dread Beast that's in my base. You can use Frost. Yeah, exactly. No, Red, Red Ult. Yeah, I'm aware of that. But I'm going to have to siege him for a handful of turns, too. I mean, he might come out and fight, but I, I would expect he would want the, the benefit of the uh, siege. Which is... I like siege battles. I think they're pretty fun in this game. All right. All right, Mage Bane, come on. Of course the Mage Bane hides in the back. Damn, damn thing. I have to be like all cagey right now because of this freaking Mage Bane here. Come on. Face tank. There we go. Okay. That's a little bit better. We're doing a little bit of scooting and shooting here. And you can come this way. Come on, Mage Bane. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're playing some here some heroes three tactics right now. I know. It's so jacked though, that thing, dude. If I can kill it and get my magic, then I think I can start doing some big bonking on the AI. Oh, they they have the astral membrane too, don't they? Okay, I think we need to just do everything we can to try and finish Homeboy off. Oh god. Oh, Pwn, help me, I'm too weak. No! Okay, spawn a skeleton, yes. Kill it! Oh, now we can use magic. Okay, I think we have a decent chance of winning now. Um, all right, so let's do a raise zombies. Although Unlimited we... power. I know, it's, it's time for it, dude. Then we can go ahead and do a uh, uh, mark for death. How long does that even last? I don't even know what that spell does. I'm going to have to read up on it. Soulfire will kill this guy, but okay. I have to like target a unit, which kind of sucks, unfortunately. I could just erase the zombie, but I don't know if that's going to be the way. Soulfire doesn't do a whole lot against them. Let's actually try this. Oh, that costs a lot. Jeez. Okay, we're not messing with that. We don't have any zombies at the moment. We could raise some. Does zombies cost souls? I need to like save my souls. It does. So yeah, we're just gonna use soul fire and hope we can get the job done here. Should have done that earlier for the lifelink. I totally forgot I'm playing man addicts. It's okay. You get skeletons back. Yes. Yes, precious. Okay, start doing some shanks on these guys. 
Damn, those things hit hard, dude. Come on. And uh, is there any sense in like healing the skeletons? I don't think so. Come on. Endure. Endure minions. <laughs> it's literally just like a, a horrific fight to the death here, dude. All right, we're just going to do this so I don't have to deal with this shit anymore. Little, I love the little lizard zombies. They're hilarious. Okay. Did everybody really act? Mm, and then we can, I guess, heal herself. Come on, zombies. I'm being killed by a space jellyfish. I know. The space jellyfish is, you don't, you don't want to sleep on them. They're pretty, uh, pretty damn strong. Okay, morale is low. Perfect. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Have you tried any of the uh, the other dragon techs yet? What do you mean? Like any of the, uh, like, uh, have you gotten to the point where you could try out like the end game dragons for like aside from chaos and stuff? Like the nature dragon or. Like any of those big ones? Oh, no. No. Okay. No, my God. End it. This, uh, so this was just a, like a random ass Marauder army that was like raiding my main base. Yeah, the, the dreaded Astral Sea units. Yeah. The zombies are dying. It's fine. That's their job. Let's keep spamming Soul Fire here. Yeah, so they made it so soul harvesting now it's just like uh, like it basically just automatically goes down. Oh, Pwn, we just barely won. We legit have like one unit left. Well, some summons too, but jeez. Oh, we've sal we've salvaged it. All right, so these guys can just hang out for now. Go up here. All right, so where were we? Pwn's in a city. He's hanging out. Hello. He's there. So I guess he wouldn't want to declare that. Oh, you, wait. I have Bulwark as my allies? Oh, those are the, the halflings up top. I've been a thorn in your side. You, Dude, you've been a thorn in my side since, since I can remember. I've done nothing to you. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, it's going to be a couple turns before we can, uh, you know, go fisticuffs here. I probably should have checked if you have a, a spell a spell jammer. I guess you're going to find out. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do, do you have one? Oh, God, dude. Here goes nothing. Let's see if we can beat him without magic. Honestly, our magic's not that good, though. Favorite tomes? Uh, dragons. <laughs> um, I personally very much enjoy like some of the chaos stuff in the end game. There, I'm so lucky that I'm undead, so the mana addicts doesn't affect me. Otherwise, I would just get owned. Yeah, so Pwn does have a spell jammer here. We might still be able to win without it, honestly. It, it, what do we you, lose? What do we you lose? have a solid arm. Yeah, I have a good army. Um, all right. So Although see. I have more because you ha you had. That group of one dudes in the area, you did not have your group of... Oh, Pwn with the, the the filthy ambush. <laughs> yeah, remember that time you ambushed me? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, well, we only have two of our armies now. We're missing one of our, our third one, which is okay. I mean, you have three armies, but one's just a one stack of skeletons. <laughs> yeah, it's not very good. Okay, no, so let's... Do not underestimate the skellies. If we win because this, have... that's pretty Skele crazy. They have Giant Slayer. Okay, let's move you up. Let's move you up. Yeah, they're not bad. They they definitely do some work. So we don't have magic, and uh, I don't think we have any mortal units. So I think everybody's undead. What does this do? Is that just a summon? Oh, thankfully we got our Reaper unit, which is cool too. Yeah. We did get that one. And do we have the Skjalds? No, the Skjalds in the other army here. 
Okay, so let's move up. Move you up a little bit. And uh, Crab Man can move up too. The spears are staunch indeed. I don't even know if I have a three stack. I think it's just this one. I just have like one random skeleton spearman over there in the corner. So it begins. Chaos Eaters is great. I use it all the time. It's a really nice trait. It's very good. Let's see what level. 125 on him. Stand together right now. On to me. Man, those Bastions are jacked. Holy shit. How are they so jacked? Huh, crazy. They work, they work out. I don't even know what that is. Dark a Reaper. Oh, a Reaper is enhancing them. Oh, so the Reaper actually buffs them up. Interesting. Does it? Yes. So, guys, even if we do lose this, I think we're okay. We just pull back to our capital and scheme. And not... I don't know if the Reaper's always done that. Yeah, it might be a buff to it. I'm not sure. It's your turn, by the way. I passed you. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah. Oh, okay. I do, I do see some knights moving and stuff. The knights of old come. We got you. We got this. What spells am I really missing? Mark for death, I guess, is one that I'm missing. That would be the only one I'd really be interested in. Little wyverns. Yeah, I mean, luckily you don't have to worry about mana addict morale loss since you're on. Yeah, missing my third army sucks though for sure. I was in the middle of moving it when you attacked me. It's like trying to move them all up. Let's see what we got. Oh, you have war breeds. Interesting. I have a war breed. Yeah, war that, breeds are a great unit. That, it's it's uh it was given to me. It was a gift, huh? It was. It's not my race. Terrifying gorging. Ooh. Okay, Pwn's forming his chaos box. Where are your skelds at? Okay, you have some skelds back there. I was going to say, you got to have some of those. I abandoned the skelds long ago. No, dude, they're so good. Skelds are amazing. Yep. Sorry. I think you should always have a couple skelds in all of your armies. Are you guys saying there's another upgrade for the tier 15 or the max tier one? Like, you can get your dragon another upgrade after this? Because that would be crazy cool. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to matter. Huh. Yeah, unfortunately it might. Okay, so he gathers up. He's ready to go. We got our bone daddies cruising. And Pwn passed his turn, and now it's time for us to move. A little bit of morale going down for his forces. And yeah, now we just we just advance up, I think. And that's pretty much it. We're just we we are the mouth breather since we don't have any magic. Uh-huh. What are these little mushrooms do? Are they poisonous mushrooms or distracting if I move over those? Okay, those are distracting, huh? That's not that bad. No, it's definitely not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely nasty. Okay, so what are we looking like here? Dragon Man is here. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of this. So he's got his knights ready to go. Uh, what does this do? It strengthens undead. Okay, so we could do that, I guess. Mm-hmm. Move up. You move up. Oh, we can actually reach you from here? Damn, that's pretty far. Good eye, sniper. Yeah, he's got some range. <gasps> Terran shoots. I run. Okay. So no magic here and down an army. Certainly a, a tricky situation to be in. Um, we can summon you. What a big spooky ass dragon. Your dragon's oh, just... Oh, and the worm. Your army's just as spooky as mine. I would wager it said the, the bounce was your favorite for you, right? Since... uh. And it was actually really close. Hmm, that's nice. It's like barely in my favor. Interesting. Let's see. Chaos is going to attack here, I, I would imagine. Now that I'm in range for all their shock damage and charges and stuff. 
try yeah, tr transformations that. are different than in yeah. So transformations, uh, did you just hit us with a breath attack. No. Oh, okay. I thought I saw something. Oh, infectious insanity. Okay, yeah. So that, that does something. A little it, some some. It does indeed. Does turn have the weaponized depression transformation? Yes, I believe. I, I don't know what you're referring to, but I think I have it. <laughs> I think I, I do. don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I definitely have one of those. I think I do. Infectious Insanity is a great spell. It's really good. Although, is it going to make my dragon? Yeah, it'll probably just claw one of the guys next to him, which is fine. Certainly not the end of the world. A battle for the ages. The dreaded Chaos yeah Drake. Ha, ha, la. It's not quite the Yaha la, la fight because it's not like the full forces. It's it's like yeah, la, 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 la. it gets it's close to that. Oh, what are you? Basic archers over there? Oh, you're feudal. That's right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cruel weaponry and joy siphoners. Yeah. With, if I'm playing pure shadow, so I have I have like all those all those upgrades and stuff. Okay, Pones buff to the gills, getting ready to charge. I would imagine. Or just maybe sit there, I'm not sure. It's fine, I can charge him too. I got shock damage units. You can do nothing of the sort. You gotta do it, dude. More buffs going down. Right out. Right out to meet them. I'm, ex I'm interested to see how your cavalry do. Let's see what upgrades you have. So you have a Draconic Vitality. Yeah, it's a little fire damage and stuff. Which is nice. Oh, shit, dude. He's bonking the hell out of me. <laughs> the March of Doom. Did Pwn just bash one of my zombies? Holy shit. Never again. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of neat. I like that. Never tell me the odds. Yeah, I like. I actually like undead industry culture, though. It feels pretty good. Like dark culture, I think might still be the strongest because of the weak weakness hacking. But industry, I think, does really well with undead. It's been very a very like smooth experience. Okay, so Pwn just karate clawed uh, one of my dudes in the front. Pretty fun. Uh oh, look at that. The big business. Hmm. We're going to have to do something. The undead will have to fall back to their haggard keeps. Lick their wounds after this one. I think he's got too much stuff. Arcane undead. Yeah, that's a cool one too. Man, there's... And now that undeads... It's way better now, guys. Like the, the soul management system, they like improved it hardcore. It's a lot better. Who's that too? Raise dead? Oh, okay. So Pwn shoots one of my bastions. Gives him a little sweet lovin'. Shoots me with the old nymph. What abilities do you have? You have this. Can you do that. Don't know what that's going to do. Is it a 60% chance on this? Yeah, on the, the Reaper. Man, the Reapers are such a cool unit. So they have dark rights. So all non-Reaper units get damage and magic resistance in your army if you have them. Oh, Arcane is crazy good. It's crazy good. Yeah, it's very, very strong. The culture? Or? Yeah. In general, Arcanes is very powerful, I think. The Mites in the mix. Now it's my turn. All right. So let's see if we can get him without magic and missing an army. Oh, hey. I'll take it. Oop. I shouldn't have scooted it up yet. Yeah, he, he did He did pretty good there. That was I, I, for, I forgot that you're not guaranteed to attack your own guys. Well, he's, he's not in like, the best position right now, though, to be fair. True. Yeah, so he might just like straight up die here. We'll see. Um, 29, 44. Okay, let's see if we get lucky here. Hey, look at that. That was pretty fortunate. That was the dreaded finger of death. What would you kill? I, will... I don't know, just some I, random knight, I, I think. Away. Okay, so let's pull back here. <laughs> Those lizard zombies. Look at that, look. They definitely skip leg day. Yeah, they do. 100%. My dragon's for sure in trouble now, though. Its back is facing his whole army, and it just, like, took, like, one of the most haggard moves possible. 
At least we're killing stuff, though. So if we lose this fight, we go down. We go down uh, sort of swinging. Okay. Do we have any strengthening of undead? Get some zombies. Get some haggard zombie claws going. Um, what else do I have? Huh. So you did your part. You can try and do this. Yeah, the lizard zombies are pretty great too. They're hilarious. Is that an actual elemental you're rocking there? Yes, I do have one. The one that just died, huh? Uh, no. No, it, it lives. Not oh, like my actual one is not dead. Okay, spur to the spur to action give the full value of the unit. Unsure. Okay, so let's do a little bit of that. Send the old caustic worm in there. And uh, what do we got in the backfield? He's got some like random, random ass banner men and shit. Well, you know, if our dragon dies on the bright side, um, we don't have magic anyways because of the spell jammer. So it could be worse. It's not like you're going to take a morale penalty. Yeah, that's true. Do a little bit of warding here. Corrupt souls can creep around here, although then they'll be quite distracted. Fine, whatever. And then we have this thing. I don't even remember what he does. Um, he's got the spider egg. <laughs> I wish what that... What ward do you need? It's too bad spur to action doesn't work against the, uh, the the guys anymore. Or on the lords, that'd be so good. I could actually get my dragon to do something. Okay, so let's do this. I don't know if it's going to be able to reach anything, but hopefully we get like a banshee or something. No, crap soul, it's fine. Don't know how that works. Okay, not quite able to get it. No, no, no. So what do you got back here? A young obsidian dragon. You got some like fire golems and shit. Pretty cool. Take some old spears. Give him the old razzle dazzle. Well, I think we killed a couple units. Not bad. Still don't think we can win it. I'd be shocked, but... Alright. I think it's just those guys chilling out. Alright, see what happens. Something just die over there randomly? Oh, your war breed just went and bashed a random zombie. <laughs> he got infected by the... insanity. He did, he did. Alright, so... We got some damage in there. Not too much, but something. We keep pushing. The haggard undead go. Yeah, dude, the new golems with that new tome are so good. The fact that they get resurgence is just crazy value, City. Yeah, it's crazy value. Oh. Look at it. I don't know why when I click on your dragon, it says its name is Azaza. Instead of death. It doesn't say Deathwing. Click off and click them again. Yeah, I was doing it over and over. It kept saying it. It's weird. Isn't that weird? Okay, a little bit of burning damage on the undead blob. Not bad. Not bad at all. I always find myself being kind of disappointed with night units in general, you know? What spell was that that you cast, by the way? Oh, use glory. What does that spell do? Give me more morale and strengthened. Strengthened on your whole army, right? Not on the whole army, no. Just just on a handful of the units. Yes, just who's ever in the sector. Whoever's lurking in the neighborhood. Pwn get going after the old skeletons. No retaliation because those are knights and they're cool. Oh, bone golems can eat the bodies even without 
even without. That's kind of cool. I love. I, I do like bone golems quite a bit. Do evolving units keep their buffs from the Tomb of Evolution? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure not all the buffs, because some of them only apply to like certain tier units. But to, the Tomb of Evolution like buff is just the experience gain, and it's for units with evolve. So after they evolve, they're no longer a unit with evolve. Yeah. Whatever Pwn said is accurate. So just just roll with it. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows the ways. Yeah, it's in a Deathwing's name is bugged. It's unfortunate. Every time I go to look. Right, we all we all, we all know, know it's Deathwing. He does look a little small though. Is it just okay? I'm standing on a hill in the middle. It's like a like an elevated high ground. All right, that makes more sense now. I was like, why does Deathwing look like a Papa Smurf over there? Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Yeah, so for anybody just joining, um, we're fighting a battle at Pwn's base, outside of his base. I'm, I'm currently spell jammed, um, and he got, a, he got a nice ambush on two of my armies. So I only have two armies against his full three, but we're still doing some damage. Uh, but, you know, if we lose it, we're at his base. We can rebuild. It's not the end of the world. But it would be very strong for him, for sure. Why did I have greater corpse consumption? What is this? Interesting. Shooting laser beams at my poor dragon. <laughs> Grazed. Pone's got some Skeld sitting in the back looking mighty cool. Great thing about Undead, you don't give a shit about morale. Your lord dies, something bad happens. It's like, it's awesome. It just does not matter at all. This is but he used Infectious Insanity on my dragon, and it flew up and attacked um, one of his units in a very bad position, which was a, a cool a cool thing. I was kind of hoping it would attack one of my own units back here and just, <laughs> just like chill, but no, it didn't happen. All right, so he's moving up with some gold wyverns. Oh, look at those things. Those are cool. The dreaded misses. You're very elusive. I, I think I have that ring that makes me hard to hit. No, no, I don't. I'm not sure. He shouldn't. That would have notified me if he had. That. I think I have it on one of my other characters. Oh, the young obsidian dragon. Oh, this thing's cool. So, the young obsidian dragon evolves into an adult obsidian. Oh, it evolves into a tier five dragon. That is so cool, dude. That is really fun. Oh no, my dragon's dead. Oh, look at all the debuffs that got applied. Holy shit, isn't that crazy? Because of your breath attack? Whereas mine freezes. But now, now, now we are in, uh, certainly in dangerous waters here. Okay, you killed a random zombie. Whose morale is right, Jared, Do your worst. Whose morale is low? It said morale low on something? Did it? Oh, that's weird, oh. Oh, that's totally GG. My archer character just flew into melee. <laughs> oh no. That was like my one hope. I was like, oh, he'll carry me. All right, so let's just keep. Yeah, sanity. Bonk things. No. Give me magic, please. Bonk, bonk me. We need the bonking, dude. The, you just experienced the cataclysm, bro. I know. It's just, it's just the, it's just the serious, the serious stuff. You know what? It's, I think that. <laughs> Insanity, instead of it spreading throughout your army, worked out better for me to expose your lord. Yeah, no, it did. I, I definitely need my third army to have a chance to win this. Uh, caustic worm explosion? I don't know. Now Pwn's going to attack my base, and we'll see if I can build up quick enough. Holy shit. Uh, okay, zombies. Right. I, I know you're, like, absolutely filthy rich. I'm pretty rich. Hundred percent. I am not. So. <laughs> yeah, we gotta we gotta do what damage we can here. The dreaded the dreaded uh chosen destroyers hasn't had enough time to to reap around to destroy yet. It's get it's getting there though. Okay. I need more bases to burn. What does this do? Insta a, like a lot more. Okay, target cannot be affected. Draconic rage. 
Uh, do I still have some units I can fight? I do. Sort of. So, we killed a handful of units. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. Banshee's there. So who do we have left? Corrupt Soul, Decaying Zombie. We definitely did some okay damage, considering it was only a couple stacks. But man, we needed our dragon to do something. and needed magic bad. Hmm. Is there anything we can do here? Strengthen Undead. Pop this guy, maybe. All right. Not dead yet. No, we're we're dead soon, but not yet. Okay, so Banshee, you guys are all chilling over here. We've done all this. We've done all this. Managed to kill a couple units. Let's pull you away. All right. Let's see. Let's see the dragon. See him get in there. Yeah, I know. Losing the heroes is the worst part. Granted, I, ha I, I still have a million items that I can restock new heroes with, but that is the most unfortunate part. Yeah. You can rebuild, make them faster, stronger. No, not faster, stronger. Weaker, for sure. But Faster. They'll stronger. They'll look cool. They'll definitely look cool. Okay, so he's getting a little bit of poke there. Not bad. Killing my, my bone golems, coming back as skeletons. I really do like the bone golems, though. They, I feel like they scale pretty well now. What is it? Six and ten, and then you guys are... Man, those stats are bad. Holy shit. The rally! <laughs> Even at Never Happier to Hear Dragons, I know. They're so cool. All right, Corrupt Souls and Bastions. Give them the business. I know. Well, not the items from my Dragon King, but yeah, he'll get the ones from my uh, my Archer character. The Archer character had a good bow. That was like the big thing. That was really nice. Yep, could have retreated a couple heroes, but they, uh, you know, I, I assume my Archer hero might be able to get some kills, but the it, it didn't resist the uh, rampage. What the hell was that? What'd you just kill? Is that one of my heroes? Uh, oh, that was like my side, my support hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just you just got him good. Go undead, fight to the bitter end. Kill them. Yeah, wizard kings are great. So are champions too. Like champions can get crazy eco and, and go pretty bananas with all that, which is a lot of fun. All right, so he's got scalds and mostly support characters back here. The bastions are pretty jacked, holy shit. They didn't hear no bell. Can fire wyverns level up beyond that point? I don't think so, right? No. No, so wyverns are like capped. It's the dragon characters. The, the young dragons got it. Oh, the tail whip. Look at that. I think you resisted my stun. Though. Yeah, I think I did. It's all good. It still looked awesome. Little little frost. Frost attempt there. Okay. I don't know what else. What more he has. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, my cool archer character. It was so cool. Gone, but never forgotten. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Undead summon. King zombies getting blasted. Survives. It was supposed to die there. I think you missed one of the attacks, unfortunately. It was supposed to take the wizard staff. Not today. Dude, the warbreed. What is your warbreed? Are you humans? What what race are your... No, you're lizards. Yeah, what? I was giving me... I told you at the start that was a gift. Okay, I wasn't sure if you built one at some point. I couldn't remember. The reaper character is taking 200 skulls. is brutal. Well, he'll be gone. <laughs> hey, at least it berserked into an okay target. <laughs> it could have been worse. Uh... Hold on here, is there something funny I can do? My opinion on Slithers, I think they do strong damage and they die quickly. I, I think it's an okay unit for for like an early mid game. I don't think it's it scales as well as like an elemental or something. Hmm. Okay, so we can do a little bit of that. You're here just being a necromancer man. I'll have your zombie staff. Oh, uh, yes, you will. 
It's my favorite item too. It's my beloved item. Is it worth choosing champion over wizard king? Turin's been liking it. Yeah, I like champion. It's it's fun. Well, now you know we're we're just gonna have to suffer a little bit, you know. And Cast build Veil's darkness as revenge. No, well, we'll build the spell jammer. I mean, like you know, if that's if that's how it's gonna be, we'll build a, a spell jammer and just camp and go uh, try and go magic victory. It's not gonna be easy. Because the halfling might help him. I'm not sure if it will. Oh, that's like three damage? Jeez, that's bad. Holy shit. Oh, I can't kill either of them. <laughs> okay, let's try and just finish this one off. See if we can get lucky here. Go, my minion. Yes. Oh, no. The fumble. Wait. What was, that? was that a leadership fumble? I don't know if it was. Uh, I have like mis I have ways to give your guys... Yeah, yeah. It was probably misfortune. Oh, next yeah, it's probably something like that. Uh, is there anything else I want to try and kill? I don't think yeah. so. I don't think there's much else I can do here. Let's just like tie you up. Bonk the dragon, I guess. Yes. Bonk him. Add the decayed. Bonk. What do we got? Okay. I think that's it. So he'll just clean up the rest of the army here now for sure. But he took some damage. It won't help him. He has chosen destroyer. You're right. We're, I'm not at war with him yet, though. And if Terran starts to build towards a magic victory, the AI like automatically declares. Yeah, yeah. It, it'll, it'll, it, the halfling will come help for sure. Because it, it, it doesn't want to lose the game, obviously, right? Dude, the Reaper. Has, why does it have so much HP? 140. I guess it's a tier five unit, right? It's like, goddamn. Yeah, I'd have buffed the shit out of it. Yeah, I think they might have because it, it was pretty bad before. It, yeah. it was pretty bad. Comparatively so. Hmm. Yeah, you could. I could make the halfling like me. I know. I could. Oh no! You gonna, gonna woo the fling? I might have to woo him, dude. Yeah, we have to, might have to re resort to the Machiavellian politics here. Okay, so what's the attack gonna be from the big dragon? It looked like he was attacking that. Like he did some weird animation, getting up on his feet. How much HP does your dragon have? One twenty-five, yeah. So he's got Chaos Aspect, so it deals damage, gains morale, which is awesome. Chaos Aura, so at the start of each turn, he like debuffs things around him. Pretty damn cool, dude. Pretty damn cool. Yeah, the Reaper, though the Reaper is a great unit. Yeah, I like it. I can definitely summon more of them, but my souls aren't like that crazy. I have a decent souls income, but it's not that nuts. Bones doing like those cowboys butts. I'm doing a little bit of zapping here. I like that. That was good. <laughs> What's it going to be? Uh-oh. He's getting a little Dak in there. We definitely have come... Uh, we're playing, we've only been playing for about three hours, and we've come pretty far. It seems like we, we definitely have uh, played quicker. Yeah, this opponent could basically auto at this point. Although, we just got to maybe kill that Reaper first to make sure it doesn't do anything. Yeah. And then he just kills the uh, corrupt souls. Got to be laughing all the way to the bank. I do like the corrupt souls unit, but against you, they don't seem that good because the uh, you have like chaos has really good leadership from the uh, revelry stuff, so it doesn't seem terribly effective against you. Oh no, zombies! No, oh, no. Yeah, without magic, no chance here, guys. No chance. Uh, well, they had two spells. That makes me feel better. You only had two, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we actually get a kill here? Look at that. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take the scraps. War breed. Finish it, Pwn. Put it out of its misery. It must be ended. Oh, okay. Let's. <laughs> oh, All auto? right. <laughs> I had it on auto. Okay, is, it okay, a, is it auto combating? Oh, my God. Yeah. I love it. Get all the buffs. No, no. All the things. Okay, that works. Oh, well, we did some damage. It could be worse. You definitely did. Hey, I got my other hero away too. The rat. The rat has run ran to the north to tell everyone about the spell jammers. Like, watch out! Don't go down there. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it is a trap, dude. All right. I so, did. What ruler didn't even level up? Yeah, you were. Wait, I saw you at level thirteen. How could you have not leveled up? That's what I'm saying. I got cheesed. Some weird shit. I could have sworn you were going to level there. 
you hacking my ship, bro? All right, dude. Have fun. Have fun coming up to the winter uh, wonderland here. <laughs> it's cold up there. I like it, is. it down here. I know. I know you do. So if I recruit these guys, they will, let's see, feeding on chaos. What does that do? It removes all negative status effects. Demolitionist is the uh, the devastator sphere, which is hilarious. So we're definitely going to get that. <laughs> all right. So we got that hero. Um, we need to reset governors. So you can be the governor of the city. The dragon lord will be back soon. Hmm. All right. Let's see. You head north. And uh, yes, we start on this. So that is gonna go right here. What, what province improvements do we have here? Is that just a farm? Okay. And then we do this. Do that. And then we need to build one over here too. Which, uh, I guess the city isn't leveled up enough. Yeah, so we would need to do that first. Okay, looks good. Yeah, Feed on Chaos is good. It's 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 very good. Uh, hold on a sec here. So in the prison, we have some alligator guy. And then we have this. Who is the Lizard Scourge? Who is he from? Recruit him? Uh, your staff summons a zombie for the first three turns. Yeah, it's a couple turns you get one. Yeah, I, I thought it was just like all battle. No, no, no. That would be really OP. I agree. All right, I think I'm, I'm done here. Like, hot damn. Ruler will be back soon, I think. Yeah, he's only he's back in, like, literally a turn. So we need to start re rebuilding like units. Like never left. I know. He's, he's back again, dude. He's back with a vengeance, hopefully. If only Mole Man would be alive. I know. Mole Man, Mole Man wouldn't save me, though. You have to remember this. Mole Man would just be absolutely shit. You killed my skeleton army, huh? You are burning down my lands. Was he? Yeah, he was doing a little raiding, huh? Okay, so we got this, though. It's good. At least we still have the scraps of this army. And uh, that is probably not the skill we want to get in retrospect. Let's see. Heals. Okay, city structure heals us. Mm, it's kind of interesting. Holy shit. One sec, guys. So I can do the... I can do the Draconic Transformation, guys, but it costs 600 mana and 600 uh, like casting points. It's, a, it's so expensive, kind of, dude. It's really expensive. Yeah. yeah. It's no joke. God damn. God damn. Immunity to burning would be really nice if you were... You I Dude, I have it. nothing. It's like my guy's getting immunity to frozen. It's just like... <laughs> it's basically pointless here. <clears throat> hmm... Try to trade with the Vassal. He doesn't really have much to offer. I mean, he give me a little bit of knowledge, I guess, but I don't really need it. Like, I'm pretty happy with my current um, resource expenditures and whatnot. So this is the army we were missing in the last fight right here. This was the one that was supposed to be there. But thankfully, you know, it's still alive. Could be way worse. Heading well, back to the main city. Yes. I'm all done, by the way. Uh, yes, yes, and yes. Looking good. All right, my minions, head to the north. Trade with the vassal. Uh, do it anyway. Oh, because it what? Does it improve relations or something? Is that is that why I should be doing it? I mean, eighty-eight mana. I kind of want to hoard mana. Honestly, I don't want to lose like either of those resources. Yes, yeah, so the chosen destroyer lurks in the shadows. We gotta we gotta pull back. Stay. Where is this Spelljammer? Isn't it supposed to be revealed on the map? No, it's not, I guess, huh? No, it's not a, it's not like a seed or anything. Uh, you gain a skeleton. Population. I'll take the Imperium. That looks nice. You retreat up here. Dragon Man is back next turn. Dragon Man. What is that? That's a Doomed Up Trench. Should we just replace the farm there? All right. So we're all set here. Um, we still have this like haggard ball of units, which I think I just want to get rid of to save on upkeep. Steel shapers really don't do much for us. So what items do we have? We do have some like combat gear. So this could be like a combat character of sorts. 
Crown of Ruin. We still have an army leader character, which is nice. Like a support character. A ring of concealment makes it invisible on the world map. We'll do the wind barrier ring. Wand of healing, and we sure we can do the assassin's dagger too. Is there anything else I want to get? Nope, not really. So we can reset the skills, and I know that I have one that's pretty good now. Where is it? Unholy leader. Is it in here? Huh, okay. Well, anyways. Sprints. Ross weapons. Fighting. Fighting two. Sentinel. I don't think the other stuff will be that good against Pwn Dog since he's um since he's got such high leadership. Like the the leadership discouraging stuff. It's not like useless, but it's definitely not in the uh, in the ballpark. Garbage. Yeah, it's not amazing. All right, looking good. So you're here. Dragon Man will be back next turn. The Draconic Punisher. So I, am I at the hero limit? I could get one more. Okay. So level seven, defeat on chaos. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, we'll get him next turn. Outstanding. All right. So we're back in business, baby. Uh, desecrate structure. Not very useful. Hmm. That seems like it could be good. Now we could get this. This lets me see all the big scheming on the map. Um, we want to save a little bit for that. All currently active units get a buff. Okay, you just killed a random scout down there. It's fine. And this is about to finish. This is about to finish. And then we need to get the... Um... Did we already build a, a jammer up here? Can't remember if we did. Can't remember if we did. Well, regardless, let's go ahead and grab that. That's going to be pretty nice for us. Doom Depth Trench is an option. All right. So I guess we just update the main city. It's expensive. Crute. These are Conjuring Orcs. Unfortunately, they're not of my race, so they're not going to get like the sweet abilities. Hmm. Yeah, this guy is part of the Lizard Scourge Field Medic. While, oh, heals five points after combat. Nah, that's not that useful. Friend of Ogre sucks too. Yeah, so we're just going to have to take these guys because they're just straight up higher level. All right, so Dragon Man is here. We'll take this. This gives us vision to the map so we can see what Pwn's up to. All right, so he's just sitting, smaugging in his city, which is badass. Being a dragon sitting on his treasure is always cool. Um, you, my friend, are going to be the support character. So reset skills. Nope. Soul collector isn't that useful here. Restore is okay for removing negative effects. Just the, ge the generic Lord of the Gods. And uh, precision training is all right, but we'll get spurred action. Give him a helmet, give him evoker's robes, give him some basic gear. Sure, why not? All right. So he will have his own little army with which she can be part of, and the dragon will have his own goon squad. Capital city. School of crime, Nancy. Uh, do we really need this? Not really. All right, looking good. Got some frosty boys back. Thankfully, we were Pone was kind enough to allow one of our armies to escape. Pwn's I am a, a generous lord. I am a merciful god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, signature skill. So for you, yeah, that's just really good. You have some mount options, but honestly, he's just going to be support character, so it's whatever. And uh, yes, we have you too. So for you, we can do that. Let's 
really good for those type of characters. So Bastion and um, yes, a couple of those homeboys would be really good for the army. Hey, it's go time. Yay. Undead snow people against fire. Let's go. <laughs> the big MLG plays. I think I think in this game, Frost is actually good against fire. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. There's some, some shenanigans afoot. Okay. Yeah. I have Frost weakness. Okay. So it looks like we just kind of beat each other up. Unless we both, yeah. We just beat up each other's dad. My dad beat up your dad. Okay. It'll be nice to have magic in the next fight. I must admit, I'm quite excited for that. Uh, all right, Halfling Man, how you doing, buddy? Let's let's do a, let's do a little something something. <laughs> the Halfling guy is definitely not not pleased with me. Um, he's pretty hostile, as a matter of fact. Dude, all, all he all he sees is you, is that you are taking up his sex space. I know, it's true. Okay, so we we can see where Pone's armies are, which is hilarious. I love that I can just straight up see his armies. So he's got one army here, one army here. Um, we we've returned home with our uh, our beat beat up force, and you come down here. Okay. We got that coming out. Um, yes. Not a bad idea. Boner golems. No, thank you. Empire development skills. Yes, we want that one. That one's pretty good. All right. Hambinger. I know. Hambinger. Is it? Is it Hambinger or Harbinger? Or, I don't know what the halfling's name is, but it's, it is hilarious. Harvest is it, is it a hero. This is one population to gain 60 souls. That's pretty rad. I don't know if Bone's coming this way. He, he could be going to... Oh, no, he's torching the Halfling? No, the Halfling... I was, I was gonna go destroy that uh, free city, but the Fling's already on it. I know, I see him. Oh, this is my favorite book, by the way, guys. I love this one. Is not truly ho, 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 ho. It's not the tier 5 the I'm dead hard. one, is it? <laughs> hmm. The true it's pretty good. That would be bad. You would love it. Stop, dude. You're acting all high and mighty over there, you know? Harvest, let's harvest some population. Ho oh, ho, yes, give me the souls, precious. Pone is such an evil villain this game. He's more evil than even I am, which is saying something. I am pure evil. It's true. I, I didn't see it coming. The depths of your... Oh, did it... Oh, shit, did that not reach with everyone? It should have. Yeah, it's fine. We lost one Banshee, whatever. All good. Okay, so this army looks pretty decent. Get you in there, and you in there too. Dragon Man is going. School of Cryomancy. Like, it's cool and all, but I don't know. We don't have a lot of space to build, so. I love the dragon sword mechanic, though, dude. I think they did a, a great job with that. It's very flavorful, and pretty damn, pretty damn fun. Yes, they did a great job with the drags. Did. Are you did on the number of spell jammers you can have. Like in your base. Like in total, I, I wish I could like spot it easy. You can have one per city. Yeah, I'm trying to see why I can't find it here. Well, we'll have to keep tabs on it, guys. I Poem might have some big dragons next time we fight. I'm not sure. The knight is young, man. The knight is young. Pone's dragons have yet have yet to rise. Okay, so our support hero thankfully lived, which is really good. Dragon's got a long way to go. <laughs> Could attack him again. Let's go attack into the spell jammer once more. Just bang our heads against the wall. Uh quickening breath, exhilarating roar, heightened senses, shadow aura. What does misfortune even do? Fumble chance. Fumble. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Certainly not bad, my friend. All right. So he's chilling out. 
Yeah, yeah, the city wasn't upgraded enough. I just realized that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so units, units. Uh, we need to build something here. Build another oh one of these. Oh my gosh, bunch of, bunch of uh, astral units marching towards me. You better watch out, dude. Put some respect on those astral units. What is their upkeep? 60 mana and 7 Imperium? Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing for us. Pone's got these like marauder camps over here. All right. Tomb is here, so I receive knowledge and finishes that. All cities. This. Uh, no new traits. Mark of the Conflux. What is that? Have you seen that? Yes. Okay. Remember earlier when I was talking about the uh, the bad traits. The weird. Yeah, the bad traits. I, I'm not a fan of that one. I took the the sword one, which is, I guess, good for yeah. somebody who can never have an ally. But oh, what does Mark of the Conflux do? Astral affinity. Yeah, we'll just take the knowledge. Thank you very much. Shuffle research. Start of the battle. Well, that's pretty good. Greater reanimation. Revive target. Non-hero becomes undead. Dies at the end of battle. All righty. Last one world map turn. Greater reanimation seems pretty respectable, though. I think we'll go for that. Dude, there's just like some Jactimus Prime army down here. Like some of these AI armies that level up over the battle. Holy shit. Got like heroes in them and stuff. You definitely want to have a Reaper in each army to get the benefit of those. Yeah, that's... Uh, really crazy good. Although that's a lot of skulls. Skulls or, or or skulls? Yeah, upkeep. Mm -hmm. Skulls. Yeah, I think having at least like two is is really good. <laughs> Wand of inversion, eh? I'm just awaiting the inevitable pwn attack. I'm more than happy to be given time. I, wanted to, I said I wanted to go kill that uh, free city, but yeah, the fling man said no more. It belongs to the flings, dude. You got to respect it. Okay, looking good. I need Bulwark to march down and just wipe you off the map. Dude, I would smash Bulwark, bro. <laughs> I don't know. He's a... He's a mole man. Mole man. <laughs> That's true. It is you a. You killed my cousin. <laughs> it is. A, it is a mole man. He'll be the one that stops you from your magic victory. I know. What a villain. So we're selling the remains to get their items because it just gives us income. Okay. A new rally is started. We don't care for anything from the rally. And uh, looks like we're good. Pwn dog is nowhere to be found yet. You already know where I'm at. I can't I, hide from you. I could just look. Okay, I see I see you have a couple armies here, a couple armies out front. You're getting raided by some random <laughs> The Astral Rift that attacked you is now attacking me. Dude, get owned, bro. That's what you that's what you deserve for your treachery. That's what you deserve. Alright. So let's just like fully upgrade this. It doesn't matter, yeah, whatever. Upgrade, compound, and uh, this is looking good. Doom Depth Trench, is there anything we can replace around here? Yeah, we could do that. And Blacksmith. And cool, take a little bit of that. Come down here. Should be able to squash that pretty easily without losing anything. Oh, that's pretty elite, Jesus. What is even here? Is there like some, ah, oh, rainbow clover under it, okay. I better not lose a single unit in this auto, I swear. <laughs> hmm. Don't, don't fuck with me, game. It's fine. I lost one bone golem, it's it's acceptable losses. GG. Yeah, I, know. I should, just, should just give up now, dude. Mm, is there anything else we want to make? Maybe the Banshees didn't feel super useful against him. 
Granted, we have a lot of ma magic, and, and that would be a, a fine usage of our upkeep, I think. Your dragon wasn't useful against me. Not a lot was. Like, because uh, me having to charge you sucks, since I'm, like, a defensive army. So I just, like, move up into your kill box, and then you just, like, you just roasted me. <laughs> I, don't ha I don't have that much uh, range, though. No, you have shock damage, though. So I, like, gave you, like, really easy charges. Because uh, otherwise, it would sit back and just get blasted with magic. Although I don't know about your magic situation. Like, how good that is. I, I, ha I have some magic. I don't have an... I, I only have so many casting points. Yeah. It's not... That not definitely not the the wizard king <laughs> with power powerful evoker feeling you know where you just <laughs> you will have magic if you have mana yeah you're not like a dark wizard in that regard yeah I get you um all right so let's do That's holy retribution That's... another one that'd be good is the uh, taking your or, or getting five casting points whenever you kill something. Yeah, that's a good one, the dark culture. Yeah, I don't have any dark abilities. I just got, I, I got that a while ago. Yeah, it's it's been useful. Plus 10 per kill. That would be wonderful. But alas, I have, I have nothing for that. I've got nothing. Inspiring leader. All right, so we got an army here. We got an army here. Um, Dragon Man needs a little bit of... He needs some homies. He's kind of feeling a bit lonely here. Okay, okay. Everything's coming together. Looks good. We got to keep tabs on Pwn. Doesn't look like he's battling the Halfling. Dude, that Halfling guy. Yeah, he's going balls deep on that city down there, isn't he? Now, what else can we get that's really cool? I think you forgot to give one of the guys level 8 ability. I know I might have. There's so many to keep track of here. Uh, not you. Ah, it was you. It was you all along. He's my support character. Always good to just have like haggard summons on those guys. Just sit them in the back and drop drop a little eleven. Horn of plenty. Oh, it's cool. New empire development skills. Um, I actually like that for this hero. Make her a little bit tankier. Yeah. I was really expecting a swift counterattack from you, to be completely honest. Are you just, are you just like poor that you can't like muster an army to attack? I don't know about poor, but I'm certainly not a Giga Chungus. Oh, the the AI, I, I haven't experienced it too much because Pone and I usually just play multiplayer, so we're we're just having a you know, balls deep Saturday night multiplayer session here. But um, yeah, normally, yeah. Normally the AI is pretty passive still from the two games I played, but I don't know. This halfling ruler is mighty aggressive, but he's also been chilling. Okay. So we need to shuffle until we get what we want here. Yeah, the living fogs are so cool. Oh, they're so cool. I wonder if they got buffed. Let's go shopping. Here we go. This is the one I'm talking about. That's like that's my favorite ability right there. It's so much fun. All right, so let's get you down here. Gather up the old troops. Draconic transformation. Oh no, Pone's got the dragon transform. Oh. oh yeah. Okay, looking good. Should be there soon. And uh that's looking mighty mighty upset there, those folks. I don't know if there's any like public order stuff I can do there to really help. And obelisk. Dragon wings. <laughs> Look at his little dragon wings. His tiny little dragon wings. Very uh, adorable. Are they? Yeah. Okay, so we can give you this. And what other spells would I want to even prepare? I don't know if I need to like harvest anything. Corrupt souls do cost 36 to summon. So pretty pricey. Anything sadder than a poor dragon? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how poor he actually is. Go forth, my minions. Got this, and then it's here. And the other one is 
So I'm trying to like see where I have everything here. Yeah, it's gonna finish next turn. Should all be like right within striking distance of one another. The transformation, the dragon transformations are good. Even the, the early tier one is very strong. The one you get from the first book, it gives you um it gives you HP for every level. So like your entire army gets like plus 12 HP in the end game. It's like that's pretty damn good. I think. Um, but again, could be wrong. I, I, I think it's good though. Hmm. Where's Pwn at, huh? Where's the big dragon of chaos? I see him here. So these are Pwn's armies, because since we're Haggard Shadow Culture, we can snoop. Uh, Stop looking at me. Oh, we haven't gotten this yet. Holy shit, I totally... That would have been bad if I overlooked that. Jeez. Guess we got to grab that soon. What are the relations between you and the Halfling? Not great. He appears to be <laughs> the strongest of all of us. It's just because of his expansions, though. I think he's got like 500 yeah. cities. He's got, he's got four. Yeah, he's he's pretty pretty upset. All right, so we need to get that magic thing. Um, looking good. Let's get you back here. Go to this. We have a good army here, so let's go do this temple. I should have done that like 10 years ago. Hmm. We'll finally do the desecrated temple at the, you know, on turn 66 of our campaign. <laughs> A long time. Okay, looking good. Any spells I want to cast? Not really. I don't really need to like farm souls too hard. I think we're uh, I think we're chilling. So yeah, yeah. This little halfling guy is probably going to come at me pretty hard. Um, Gauntlet is what a vassal city. So that's one of his vassal cities. Okay. There's like some great birds nest up there too. Hmm. That's a really good ability too. That one's insane. How much does it cost to upkeep that? Huh, a little bit, not too bad. Yeah, endurance training gives it without the spell, but then you can you can add that to endurance training. It's it's not like mutually exclusive, right? So you can you can get some good value from that. Okay, Pwn's still doing his thing. He probably has a little bit more going on than I do right now. Big dragon man's Sitting with his troops. We see Pwn gathering his armies. He's probably going to go for that Astral Rift. Get some nice experience and items. Alright, let's explore it. Stop the ritual. Two arms now. Auto combat. So a shrine of smiting in that desecrated temple. Jeez. The edge. It's a great sword. Um, Alright. What do I get from this? A dire penguin? Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> a dire penguin, bro. No. Okay, can't queue in order because Pwn's battling something. Oh, we see the big dragon. We see him looking extra spicy over there. Okay, let's do this. Gather you here. We can take that. Go that way. Outstanding. All right. Devouring is a pretty fun one. We almost forgot to get this. Yeah, they moved death magic up in the tree. It's it's further up now and more expensive. So it's uh it's yeah it's definitely a bit of a different beast now. Hero leveled up. Nice. Everyone's catching up. After uh, losing him earlier. Eagle Eye, Weakening Aura, Resistances. Anything we can do. Always end in defensive mode. Seems relatively good. Why not? Let's see if that character can live. Hmm. I think Pwn's probably done for the turn. I can see his, his armies here. Dude, the Halfling has like an unholy amount of units, bro. Uh, yeah. Classic AI. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see. So, each turn. 
is a land of hope. That's, why, that's why I'm like, uh, I'm just waiting for you to try and start that magic <laughs> victory so you gotta fight the two of us. I know, I know that's what you want. Each turn for three turns, all enemies. So my chance to become blind for a second. A halfling will ride to what is it? What is a combat enchantment? It's a type of spell that affects the entire battlefield. Okay. The age of shadow. Huh. I'll say, I'll say it's that. Become what you just said. Eternal. Sounds good. This is cool. This is some cool shit, man. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem bad. For each, uh, for three turns, all enemies I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah, why not? Well, it's, that looks good. So I receive money, or I receive suede. We'll use the draconic action. Yeah, raise uh, the the raise undead army. All those are very cool. Hundred percent. It's. This is this is a fun one too though. Although honestly, maybe like yeah, maybe that. I don't know. We'll go with this for now. Okay, so we got you, you, and then this would need to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel that for now. Set this up right here. What is that? Is that my Yeah, so it would just go right here at the Frostfire, because I think we're honestly fine in the knowledge department. Hmm. Don't worry, guys. We can get it. Get all the cool stuff. Pone's cackling over there at the Astral Rift. Sure is. Dude, I have so much money. Holy shit! I should. I should be doing way more. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Yes. Uh huh. I think it'd be funny if the if the fling just like out of nowhere is like world ending spell. The fling just beats both of us, that'd be hilarious. Or we have to both unlikely march in to fight the fling. That would be hilarious. Alright. So uh yeah, it's it's escalating. Things are going down. I should just start paying the halfling money to like me, dude. Just like send him gifts. Let's let's just start. Let's let's start. Uh, you know. Sure. Did that work? <laughs> Are you buying the fling's favor? I think I can. Oh, he's in the void right now. <laughs> he just died randomly, dude. Died. Yeah. Oh, I I bet he died at the. Uh... The free city. That there. free city's just like I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> hey, you happily. I didn't hear no bell. I know it's so funny, dude. Holy shit. Okay. That looks good to me. So what we need to start doing is building up the duders, the big old uh, dread legions, because you're gonna need extra extra stuff to defend. Cool. Ruler Ham Ham is withdrawn to the void. Yeah, I have I had skeletons. I have undead units. I have like banshees. I have reapers. I mean, I've I've got pretty good late game stuff. I see Pone's armies over here, over towards the Astral Rift. Up to no good as usual. I'm just trying to make trouble in the neighborhood. I know. I can see that. Hmm. What do we got here? I honestly don't think the halfling guy is going to help you. If uh, if you start the in, end of the game? Yeah, not now that he's like dead. He might like send some stuff over, but overall it's going to be uh, it's going to be tricksy hobbitses, dude. Okay. Yeah, so let's just like do this. Yeah, looking good, looking good. It's time. It's just time. Yeah, they're all pretty close proximity to one another. All right. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I think we 
cast some of these other spells first. Yeah, I think we do that. Going out in the wilderness here. Clearing. It's time, man. The big dragon fight. Will I do the ultimate? I don't know. Maybe I gotta research some other cool shit first. The halfling guy, like, yeah, he's we got a mountain pass between us. Um like why does Gauntlet keep like giving me events? He keeps giving me events. Alright, so this is here. So I wish I could see the regions a little bit better. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Yeah, and then here's this, which is back there. Okay, that looks pretty respectable for sure. All right, Pone, I don't know what you're doing, man. I see you moving. I see his little dragons moving around the map. You see it, guys? The the spies of Saruman. Midi, uh, oh, dude, it was just, we. I just want to take a moment to realize we did just move off of turn 69. Oh, man. Uh, shout out to turn 69 for uh, for existing. Gone, but never forgotten. Yeah, it was great. All right, so Fog of Insanity. Let's do that here. Okay, let's keep popping that like it's hot. Pone's got his old seed of chaos. Oh, I know. I'm aware of it. Look at look at look at this gremlin in the mountains. Pone oh, just sitting has, there. He vassalized that. Maybe he died in a. Uh... In a wonder. He could have been, dude. He vassalized the free city. Okay. Pulling you back. Alright, so that's going here. Let's do this here. Now you guys are all chilling around. You see Pwn coming to party. Yeah, Blacksmith is finishing. Could just hurry up and hurry production on all these things. Hmm. Don't care too much about this, but you're going to head up this way. So he's on that. Then we got you here. Okay. What else do we have? So there's this, this, and then there's one right there, which we want to do that. It is time. Oh no, the halfling, the halfling declared war right away. <laughs> All right, so guys, Pwn has 15 turns to come stop me now. It's his turn to come into my lands. I'm not going to his spell jam and shit again. I don't want to get owned. Okay. The age of shadows is upon us, brothers. And so it begins, the greatest battle of our time. Can we not seek counsel as we once did, Professor Pone? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing better than that that like that whole situation. It's just so hilarious, you know. He just like knows Saruman just knows he got owned and he's like, all right, man. All right. I was wrong. Sorry. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous, you know? Uh... Oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay. I think we get that. This is what Pwn gets for his treacherous ambush earlier. He has to come to me. He's got good armies. Right. Oh, a Baylor. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's got a Baylor, guys. Hell yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited for the Dread Baylor. Raise it up for our homie Baylor. Uh huh. While Pone's doing something, we can do something too. Mm hmm. Looking good. Dude, the Baylor is on his way. Look at Pwn's dragon sitting here. Maybe he's going to wait for the halfling vanguard to charge. 
<laughs> the halflings will show up on the last turn and just steamroll me, dude. Yeah, Baylors are, are are they're just funny. They're just like these little sausage monsters. Yeah. I love Baylors. Yeah, they're cool. They're definitely cool. Um, is there anything we could do here? Not really, I guess. You have cast the final spell for victory. Okay. Opponents are moving. How's that thing? You are wise. Mark of the Owl trait. Okay. Um, what does the Mark of the Owl do, bro? Shadow Affinity. Gain 50 knowledge for Ancient Wonders. Oh. Oh God, it always freezes for me on these on these event screens. It like locks up for like thirty seconds. That was what crashed my game completely. Was the uh, the little event thing? Yeah, you just you basically just uh, if you sit there, it, it it stabilizes after like maybe thirty seconds to a minute. On the fourteenth turn, look to the west. <laughs> I don't know why they made Baylor such little sausages. You know, I really don't. I don't think they're that tiny. They're pretty small, like in a funky way. Dude, that guy just gave me four skulls, bro. I didn't. I didn't even know I had scout units left. It ran right I, in front of me. I was like, I was like, kinda... I was looking around for some like way earlier. I was like, oh yeah, they all got wiped out. Yeah, <laughs> they know they're still around, dude. Okay. You do a little bit of this. Sustain city spell. Spell upkeep. Hmm. Sure, why not? All these domain of death things are so cool. Like all those like late game undead. Okay, the halflings don't appear to be mobilizing super aggressively. So I think it's going to be up to you, homie. I could be wrong. Could be wrong for sure, but they, they, they're looking pretty low key over there and their uh with their movements. Okay, so you guys are here. Okay. You guys are back here. Let's do this. Let's do that. Alright. They wanted to make Baylors look funny? Well they certainly succeeded, so they definitely succeeded. Got a quest here? Hmm. Pwn's up to no good. I see his legions moving up on me here. All right, so let's grab you. Ah, it's not even worth it. Let's just keep grabbing these units. And we can get you too. All right. Ham built the root of nature. Oh man, he's catching up. <laughs> sure, sure got us on the back foot. All right. So yeah, now if we manage to hold it for another thirteen turns, Pone's in trouble. But like, that's not going to be easy for sure. Uh huh. Let's just do this. I'm on bulwark. You know they're you know they're not gonna help, dude. Ride down and in turn. You know he's not gonna help you. They're just like the 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 traders in Braveheart, like looking over and just like, <laughs> you know. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Um, all currently active units get defensive buffs. That's really good. Cool. It's done. And units being produced. Yes, yes. All in, baby. Here comes Smaug the Destroyer, a.k.a. Deathwing. Uh, we don't care for that. We just want to look for this stuff. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I love how the in invaders are kind enough to just show up and give me a ton of experience, you know, in Skulls. It, like, helps me, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, I do have the, uh, I don't know if I have the hero experience one yet. No, I might've skipped it on accident. They reworked the trees and where things are. So 
It's been it's been tricksy hobbitses. Ninety five skulls for the skull throne. All right. All right. What is the upkeep on these things? It's pretty damn expensive, isn't it? No, it's actually only mana. Okay. Okay. Mints. Yes. Oh, bro, the halflings have come over the mountain like they're over him. <laughs> they have! A halfling <laughs> army! It descended from the mountains in the south. I know I shouldn't tell you, but it's hilarious. Alright, dragon. We need you to we need you to do some cool things. Um, so let's go ahead and get you this. Yeah, that's going to be useful against all the chaos stuff. They, thankfully, they're just like literally doing nothing productive, but it's uh, it's still, you know, something. Okay. What units can we cut here? To be fair, that Banshee looks okay. Our mana, we have such a surplus of mana, I don't think it matters too much anymore. Let's go down here and do this. The finger of death points it to you, Pone. Me? Yeah, dude, that's what you get. All right. They went through the mines of Moria, I sure did. Did forget to do this. Be able to fight them off here. We'll have to see. Make some more banshees and stuff. Oh, it's a 700 strength army. We're almost there. Almost there. Here comes Pone's legions of scouts. Looking to try some treacherous tricks, I would imagine. Oh shit, I just I just uh went to the negative on souls. What is that? Did you just do something? I have not. Oh, it's the halflings. Holy shit. They just besieged one of my cities, dude. Alright, so let's go ahead and do one more here, summon this. How good is this army that's sieging here is the question. Ooh, it's pretty respectable actually. Yeah, they're sieging a city, so it affected my uh, my eco a little bit. We're all in, baby. We're all in. All right. So, what else do we want to cast? Here comes the pwn. Let's make sure I have all those cool buffs active. I do. All right, it's fine. It's gonna take him a while, and we could honestly probably defend that. You forgot about Ham, dude. I did forget about the Ham. I'm not gonna lie. He he surprised me here. Um, yeah, looking pretty resilient. Why are these guys? Oh, they cost mana upkeep too because of all the enchantments I have on them and stuff. That's what it is. We do have five thousand mana, so whatever. All right. All right, Pone. Do your thing, dog. Here he comes. Ham is being a ham ham over here. We might actually be able to beat his armies, though. All jokes aside, because of the magic and stuff, so. Well, I'm sure his armies aren't that strong. I mean, it's a thousand, a thousand. Yeah, it's like 2,000 value worth, like attacking one of my side cities, so. I would honestly rather they attack me in siege, though, so then I can cheese with the walls. So, 10 more turns to hold. Um, looking good. A little population harvesting is always fun. Get some more souls for the soul god. Here's uh, here's Pone. He's offering me a challenge. 
I will be a gentleman and let you set up your armies how you how you like. You got everything you're happy with? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Just making sure you're you're all set there. Dude, look at Pone's Legion of Scouts. Look at them, the riders. <laughs> We're here to burn the cities. You weren't kidding, man. You weren't kidding. All right, so let's see, is there anything we want to do here? Looks fine. Um, evil. <laughs> Extra evil. All right, guys, it's time for us to try and get... Where's your third army, bro? It's there. I only see two armies. Uh, Is it I not... Can you move it out far enough? I, I can't move anymore. I'm out of movement. Okay, one sec. I, I will not pull the degenerate there. <laughs> so here we go. I think I can pull all three of your armies in. There we go. Look at that. A true bro. Um, all right. So where are we at here? So yeah, we got this and we got this. So you guys ready to see the fully unleashed Death Star? Oh man. I have almost, I have almost no magic. I, well, there's anyway. a, yeah, it doesn't, the jammer doesn't affect him too much, but I have magic now, which is nice. So Saffron's back and he's pissed. I am not in this, this battle is not in your spell jammer. Oh, I do have a spell jammer in this region, don't I? Uh, I'm very certain. I, oh, yeah. I, I have one in every yeah. region, bro. I thought it popped up in the top left. I wasn't about to, about to, you know, get there. You, you're undead. You don't care for honor. I know it's true. So Pwn's army should be stunned for two turns because of the spell I cast on him. Or a handful of the units should be. There's a chance. And the Fog of Insanity is active too, so... How Fog of Insanity works is... It's active right now, isn't it? Is the Fog of Insanity not yeah. active? It is. It is. It's up in the top left there. So, at the start... Unit has at the start of all enemy units at the start of each turn. So, it didn't hit any of your units, huh? Ten, but to be fair, 10%. Yeah, no. I was expecting... You have like 20, 20 units there. 15, so it should hit at least one or two. Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a stunned unit. Oh, yeah. My Lord's stunned. My yes. My whole army got stunned over there. Yeah, well, it's a 90% chance, so. It's... Okay, never mind. Like, that was a. You cast it all in my army. Yeah, there's two spells. There's I only cast it on that army. Like, so the other ones are chilling. It's a very small chance against elites. Makes sense. Dude, Pwn's, Pwn's got a cool ass army, too, though. It's like demons and all sorts of witchcraft. I do have the most forbidden combo, though. Yeah, the insta kill and then it becomes a zombie. Yes. Okay, so your whole dragon army's over here. Hmm. How many casting points do you have? 160. That's pretty. Wow. How do you have so much? Uh, I don't. I have two lockets of channeling, and uh, I don't know how else, to be honest. You didn't like you. You did not. I, I'm pure there. shadow, bro. Yeah, I mean, every time you kill something, you'll get points. Yeah, no man is not an issue for me. Oh yes, the the dreaded caustic worm. Okay, let's do a little bit of this. I like the like shadowy wings you got. Which character is this? Is this uh my support character? Okay, so that thing should just like literally go camp back here. I want the able to get my big adult dragons. Some in another life. They must be kind of close though, right? Yes, which is not gonna help me here. Yeah, you, you you don't think you could have waited a little bit and tried to get it? No, because you casted a spell, which means I got to run over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Okay, let's do some buffs. It is time for the evil revenge. It, this is gonna be like when Daenerys showed up with her three dragons and she's like, let's just kill all the undead right now. And the Night King just like <laughs> chucked that spear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, okay, Insanity went off on a couple units. So that's an undead high tier ability where it just, um, Whoa. <laughs> just all your shits just bashing each other over there. Yeah, and his this army's stunned for another turn because of the, the spell we cast, so. Yeah. Now that we got three full armies, we should be good here. I don't know, though. Pwn's definitely had a huge disadvantage fighting in my territory with the endgame spell. Fighting in other people's territory is dangerous as hell. Like, if they have spell jammers, they're just so dangerous. Not that magic's probably that crazy good for Pwn, but... And that fog of insanity thing is, uh, you cast it on your cities, and every single turn it, um... Yeah, I, I forgot to use bolster on the Bastions, it's, you're right. I just, yeah. I'm so used to playing Dark Culture these days. The Chaos Eaters. Okay. Bitch. You, sh you showed me, you showed me, dude. Five, five damage. <laughs> yeah. You showed me who was boss there for make, sure. Make you think think about some things. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Deathwing to come over. So Deathwing's got pretty jacked since last time we saw him. Um, Deathwing's stunned. Yeah, I mean, he'll be back next turn. He's... Um, Domain of Death is so nice. Yeah, for one more turn. But you got 170 HP, so it looks like you pimped out your character a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Game of Thrones spoilers? That's been out forever, bro. I don't have to worry about being driven insane unless he procs me with something. Look how cool your Pyromancer. Oh, look how cool that thing is. Why do you have the Signet of Knighthood on your guys? Oh, because you're feudal. That's right. Yeah, he's a feudal culture. We forget this. This is no. Oh, the Baylor Sausage. He's coming. Can I point the finger of death at him? Ah, uh, it's a 19% chance of working. All right. That was that. Was that your Baylor? Yep. Oh, they buffed him. That didn't used to work like that, I don't think. It did. Did it? You made fun of my Baylor. <laughs> oh, he's getting it next turn, dude. I have to stop Pwn here before he grows. If I lose this, then Pwn is going to... There gonna is no way in hell you lose. I don't think there's any way either, but if I do happen to, somehow, if Palpatine yeah. returns. All you literally have to do is just every single turn start insta-killing my units. Well, that it's not just that, too. It's There's other degenerate tier 5 spells I have. Let's Wait, see. that's a good one. It is. That's tier 4, though. I don't, they might have changed it. I actually didn't read the patch notes, really. No, I did it. Uh... <laughs> you did it earlier? I, yeah. I did it Yeah, with playing with the AI. So, status vulnerability, sleep of oblivion, okay. Let's see if it still works. Okay, so that Baylor will be back. <laughs> what the? Did he just blow up? Yeah, he blows up when he does. Oh, so I don't get my zombie. You do. Are you sure? It, it kind of looks like I'm he not getting a zombie here. Yeah, so it should be when you pass the turn, it should sprout up. Hmm. Because that it, my guy's supposed to revive in two turns. No, I don't think his corpse is even there, dude. The interaction with the Baylor is different. Like, there's no corpse. When I go to raise dead, there's no option. See the green? Uh, so I'm on my caster guy. And it, no, there's no dark ritual green. Nothing. Well, it literally just please. exploded your Baylor. R.I.P. Baylor. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he tried. All right, so let's do a little bit of this. Uh-huh. Zombie demon is pretty metal. It is, for sure. Okay, let's do a little bit of this. The old finger of death. Can't quite get it in range. Let's move you up. It's dragon in time. 
Does the... Okay, my guys should be immune to Frozen, although they still take some damage, which is interesting. I also wanted to hit level 16. It was a sad day. Couldn't get there either. Hmm, that is bleak. I think 40 damage on that charge is pretty damn good. Um, we do have this. Never underestimate the power of the Bone Golem. The Bone Golem, is he coming? She did some respectable damage. Down goes the beast. Mm hmm. Get you safe. And let's summon this. Could spur that to action again. Don't want to, like, lose my dragon to some stupid shit, you know? <laughs> Do it. How about no, dude? Lose the dragon. Okay, it does a little bit of damage to my guys, but way more to his. Oh. Ow. It's not as cool as your breath attack from earlier. That was way cooler. All right. Uh-huh. Evil. Evil spells. Uh, my guys are just gonna route before they're done being stunned. Yeah, it's looking like they might. <laughs> so if I go here, let's mm. give you this finger of death, evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude, that's a good combo. Spur to action with finger of death. That's pretty nice. All right, let's buff up some of these undead here. What are you guys here? And, uh, all right. Think we're good. So now, I think it procs the insanity things. So yeah, it goes off and gets them nice and insane. Pone's dragon is, oh, <laughs> your dragon just, is there AOE thing each other? <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh my God, it's just anarchy. It's a lot of stuff that have went insane there. Yeah, dude. Holy shit, this Reaper unit's gonna karate chop. Remember the feed your Reaper for... Yeah, yeah, I need to do that. I, I don't use them often. I'm... <laughs> the finger of evil. Oh, man. The dragons. He's Pone, Pone stole all my items in the previous fight. Dude, I'm pointing the dirty, smelly finger at him again, dude. It's happening. I'm going to see if I can get this gold worm with the stinky finger. It's 44%. Okay, he did a little AoE damage there. Bumbled. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, at least I can kill some. Well, no, it's like, yeah, the Whale of the Banshee and Joy Siphoners, too, and all that. It's like, plus the units lost. Man, look at these zombie dragons. These came from Pwns, guys, so they still have the Draconic upgrades. Hmm. Man, 75 damage is fat. Holy shit. What is the cooldown on breaths? Two turns? <clears throat> Deathwing comes. Puff the magic dragon. I that was the other idea for today was puff the magic dragon. Yeah. All right, let's let's cast a little something different. Let's experiment with some fun spells here. So target non-hero unit. How long does that last? Is the question. Affected units also gain status vulnerability. Oh, that's from the. Uh... So each three turn for. Each turn for three turns, all enemies suffer frost damage and have a chance of becoming blind. So this is Withering Mists. Should have cast that in the beginning. So that will affect, like, every enemy, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So the Grim Reaper will, uh, let's soften this thing up. Then we can bonk it here. Grim Reaper gets it. 
The purple dragon did its breath attack earlier. It's it's looking for a fight. Pwn stunned a couple of my guys here. Kind of like trapped up. The Zhao Ming dragon? Yeah, I know. Summon some zombies. They got their claws. Couldn't quite get the decay on them though. All right, zombies, go. Oh, you're. Oh, those are your dragon zombies. So they actually have like some jack stats. Okay, what do we want to do here? See, I like that we each want to fight against each other. That's. That's what I was going for. It's true teamwork. <laughs> and how could we not have you showing off the game and not win? I mean, it's true. It's true. You, you definitely had some some good sneaky tactics earlier. Yeah. Still, still don't think chosen destroyer is the. No, it's uh, not very one, good. But, no. but it's cool. <laughs> it, it's it's good if I think if you're like go straight after me, you know. Maybe then. Yeah. I, I mean, you have to destroy some things for it to be viable. Yeah, if you just maybe so go after... If I just run at you, it's literally useless. I mean, if you go and kill, like, two free cities and then just, like, beeline to the player, maybe. Um, Alright, so we'll do this. Uh, do we have anything we can heal? I, I think it's more of a, uh, like, use it to, to exploit AI. <laughs> Yeah, I think they fixed that though. They actually, you can't like just cycle farm them like you used to. What's to stop you from cycling? There's some weird thing where you can't like do, I saw it in the patch notes. I don't think you can do the Chosen Destroyer's exploit anymore. Where you just like chain farm cities over and over. All right. And well, good. Yeah, no, definitely. They figured that out. Let's eat to get strengthened on those guys. I saw one person, I don't know if you can still do it, but like, the, the in the first tome, where you, it like gives your units plus 20 permanent, uh... <laughs> it's sad. The mage just went and bonked your caster. Oh my god. Yeah. Hmm. Dude, I love this dragon build. I legit think that like a dragon summoning build can be crazy strong. Like, if you go, what would be the best way to level your dragon? So you go... You would just obviously go Dragon Tome, then you would need to get the... Did you get the Adaptable trait? The the skill trait for 30% more experience on your units? No, because that wouldn't affect my dragon. It would affect your, your minions. Oh no, it's just a race trait, isn't it? Yeah. It would affect your Lord, but I think that's it. Why would that affect my Lord? I'm pretty sure it affects like all your... I'm not sure actually, yeah, since the Dragon's like a different race, Every right? Every single race... Every single race thing we've used did not affect our lords. Yeah. And I'm sure that's balancing reasons. <laughs> yeah. All right, here he comes. The big dragon man is on his way. He's gonna breath attack me right now. The fog of insanity. Order with the rank up spell. Oh yeah, yeah, so you go order and you use the rank up spell, dude. That like late game order? Oh, that's a great idea. Like order, golden dragon level up. Oh, that's so cool. Feudal, then get adaptable, then get champion for even more experience. Because champions give your units 100% more experience, right? So yeah, Pokemon. That's that's what's up. It's just time. <laughs> Is it time for, uh, for Deathwing to just have his final hoorah here? Oh, breath attack time. Didn't do bad. Not bad. This is vengeance, dude. They've wronged us. <laughs> you wronged me so hard earlier. <laughs> you wronged me so hard. With my third army not making it. That was so wronged. It's like the time you attacked me after I... Well, you had all your armies there, though, to be fair, right? You... Yeah, I had just fought, though. I know, but that's it's not like... like I had a fresh army there. <laughs> Don't try to defend yourself with that. This this was more evil for sure, in my opinion. That was scum and villainy. Bro. No, this this was more evil. I, I think we can agree on that. Like I just a whole army not there. In endgame. You you still had three armies. I, I had one skeleton in the other army. It was one <laughs> skeleton, bro. You had three. That doesn't armies. count. 
This was next level evil, which I respect. I have nothing against it. I respect the evilness. Just inspires me to step up my evilness. I do like how the dragon stuff lets your armies like regenerate every turn. It's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. You, he pwn has healing every single turn, which is pretty good. Um, all right, so. But that's why they just die every turn. Bro, I have a spell that brings back my entire army with yeah, 50 percent the, HP. The rays undead. Yeah, I'll just start spamming shit just to, you know. To get... I, I just put I just put mine on auto. So. <laughs> the dragon just like I'm too weak. So you the... put it on auto. See how fast we can zip through this. I'm just gonna bonk your lord, and then I'll do that. Okay. So yes. All right, so where's where's the big man here? Here he is, dude. Your dragon's pretty raid boss, actually. Jeez, he's uh he's got some tankiness. I tried, I tried. I don't, I haven't lost any units yet though, so bringing my stuff back it wouldn't um it wouldn't help. Dude, finger, I'm pointing my bony finger at you right now. Ready? <laughs> 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 That's such a cool spell. So that's like a D and D spell, finger of death. Yeah, it's awesome. Except for it's like the end game where you like nobody ever plays, but it does it like if you kill somebody with it, you get a zombie under your control. It's rad, dude. Oh, dragon not reached that far. Oh, the breath attack is back. Shoot a fat breath and just nuke my own army. Let's do it, dude. Oh! <laughs> Did that freeze some stuff? Can't even tell. All right, let's get you out of here. You're kind of in the way. Banshee can't attack. Uh, we have the finger of death. I could point it at you. It's a 44% chance. Oh, it looks like your lord did get frozen, actually. It's Cast it. Fire. We got to bring it down. The old skulls. Oh my god, really? 4 HP? Do you have like some, some like survive Palpatine shit on that guy or what? No. Nope. He will be dead. <laughs> oh, he just disappeared. <laughs> just like all haggardly bugged. Like, oh man. No. Yeah. Okay, this guy needs to get its bonk on here. Let's see if we can. Oh shit, I could have gone even further. Oh! Talk about a marathon across the map, huh? Oh, killing power! Oh! It's always fun having a character like that. Yeah, we'll just claim it. It's fine. GG, dog. GG. Yeah, that's usually the fate of chaos, though. If it doesn't end the game early, it's gonna struggle. Um, uh, what was your knowledge per turn at that point? 240. Yeah, so I was hitting at like four or five, 600 around most of that game. Towards the end, well, eh, uh, but you still got it. You had a tier four tome, right? Because you had the demon. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you I, must you must have had something. Like, uh, very or no no I got the bailer from a from a thing. I like just hit tier four tome. Hmm. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, GG dog, you gonna keep you gonna keep trying to push up, or you think you're you're all done for here? No, no, no. I'm surrender. The the mighty chaos hordes they they did well, dude. The dragon um. I like. I think the Chaos Dragon is really good, though. With the like, that Breath Attack might be the best one. The fact that it can apply Insanity and Berserk on units is nuts. Yeah, deb debuffs is. That's cr it's better than I, my Breath. Mine freezes. I think debuffs are quite powerful. In this oh game. my god! Like in the early battle, you had that Breath Attack where you um, you like Berserk like two or three of my units, which was nuts. It's like just bonkers. So yeah. luck you roll the die. No, it was, yeah, I mean, it, there's not that many debuffs. So, like, the odds, if you hit, like, seven or eight units of getting, like, you know, one of the, the right ones is pretty decent, to be to be fair. Yeah, so the dragon, I, I definitely like this. Like, the undeads, just, undeads are way better now. You can spam undead armies and afford it. Um, and obviously, you guys saw the Pokemon to an extent, but, um, you know, he went Chosen Destroyers, which is a pretty big handicap. So, um, you know, you, we didn't get to see, but we'll do another one sometime this week. All you have to do is capture his shrine for three turns and disrupt the ritual. There's no way he can. His hey, that's, oh, is that all I had to do? <laughs> the, like the, the fully defended shrine, each spell jammer has like a full army of, of units on it, you know, and there's, there's pretty much no chances. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that's that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be all she wrote. But yeah, we'll play again this week, man. What is your uh, what does your schedule look like? What days you got off? Thursday. Got Thursday. All right, so maybe we'll have to let's see. This actually this comes out officially on the twentieth, I think, right? Which is which is that Ten Tuesday? Days. Yeah, yeah. So we we could do one on Tuesday. We'll do we could do another dragon duel. What which uh which culture were you were you leaning into playing next? I don't know. Yeah. I would. I gotta go the old think tank. I think the uh, I really do that. Holy dragon sounds pretty mean. Although pure nature dragon, what do they have? Like a poison breath attack or something? Blight damage, yeah. Blight damage. Yeah, going like going pure uh, pure of an element, I suppose. Can I like Holy look at? Holy would be fun, and so would uh, I, I would like the electric. I think. Can oh, can you respec your dragon's marks and like switch them up? It looks like uh, I wonder if you reset skills if it does I'm that. Sure, if you reset skills, I'm sure you could pick a, like a new affinity. Yeah, obviously not the original affinity, but you could pick the your your t tier four thing. I would imagine. Yeah, astral dragon. Yeah, maybe one of us might do puff the magic dragon. We could try that. I think that would be um, that would be pretty fun. Astral's very strong though. I'd like to play something that isn't quite like I feel like astral is just insanely good. Um, so maybe trying something slightly different. Like I, I like the idea of a holy dragon. That seems like it could be fun. Like just some like paladin dragon leading like an inquisition could be cool. Uh, there's a lot of cool ideas. Yeah, and holy is obviously very good. Yeah, we'll try something. GG's man. I'm gonna sit here for a bit and show them some of the stuff on the stream, but we'll uh, we'll play soon. Maybe we could do some offline matches this week. Try some stuff out too. Right. Peace out, dude. Peace out, brother. Get some rest. All right. Let's go ahead and check here. So yeah, at this point, it's basically it would just be cleaning out the halflings. Um, but we can we can look at the uh, new tomes, like whatever you guys want to see while we're here for a couple more minutes. Well, GG to old Pwn Dog. You know, he really like putting himself on chaos is um, is tough. You know, chaos is is mono chaos is not the best unless you're just going for the kill. Um, like going quick, then it's one of the strongest. But late game mono chaos is always pretty much going to lose against like late game dark late game different things like that you don't have the wizard king uh you don't have wizard king with astral so it's not quite as yeah it's it wouldn't be quite as good but the astral dragon probably does some cool shit too um nature dragon's breath can eventually heal your own units while hurting enemies that's awesome dude that's awesome um we can go smash the halfling if we want to and no, we could we could totally do that so let me let me just uh take you down the dragon's got a pretty good army so he can go this way and we'll just send these two up here to defend against the uh incursions and stuff like the halfling army will not even succeed against my garrison it, it will definitely lose okay so evil alignment was released from the prison of bulwark yeah we'll take the money why not all right so dragon's gonna head down there just give the business to those guys we have a army here that has spawned is it pulling that army? No, oh, risky battle, really? Oh, because it's just that force. Okay. Hmm. So we can move you guys in. Now that the... Um, yeah, we can just auto that. Should be fine. The DLC is really fun. I think... A, a, dude, the Holy Dragon Pokemon seems really good. Um, how else could you take advantage of that? Yeah, we should we should just crush that. Because we have all these like faction abilities here. Like the... Um, the holy miasma and whatever. Why are they not attacking us? This is weird. Maybe they're just waiting for the wrath of the dragon. True death magic. I think we can raise an undead army now. How many skulls does that cost? So check this out. This is going to be pretty rad. So you could just, boom, get a full 700 strength army, right? And then just give them the biz. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Or negative on mana, but you know it is what it is. So we'll just keep playing this one out till the bitter end here. Uh, we'll try and auto combat it. It should be a, a favorite for us, considering we have fog of insanity. It should just wreck his army, and uh, it depends on how the AI uses magic, though. Yeah, see, like the defensive city buffs are just insane for this uh, for this faction. All right, so Dragon Man can uh, chill here. And we basically just have the dragon camp and we just speed spawn. So, um, by the way, if you guys are going for like magic victories, yeah, revelry could be good too. 
Revelry. Ma Materium Dragon actually sounds really fun, but I just played Materium. But I think the Dragon Hoarder um, trade is crazy good. Yeah, so the Halflings will probably come over the mountain again. I don't think they'll come from this direction. But you usually want to set up your three bases in a triangle like this, so you can get your all three of your um, your magic victory conditions like right next to each other. Waiting on another player? What the hell's, who's, who's the other player it's waiting on? Phone's not in the game anymore. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think he's in the game. It's just a halfling. Could be a new bug we found. Um. So exit game. Oh, it was just lagging. Pwn was using Revelry, so that's really smart for level ups. Yeah, so Revelry... I I actually like the idea of... Um, so the AI was just taking like 10 years. I really like the idea of using um, the Holy, though. That seems like really strong. Okay, just keep spam passing. Let the AI do its thing. And we'll show you the... Um, we'll show you everything afterwards. I've been disabling Magic for Tree because I think it occurs too often. Um, It's pretty good. There was a couple windows in the game which he could have really pressured me. I wasn't that strong. Like, I, when I encountered his armies the first time, like, I think if I had all three armies in open field, I would probably win with magic. But um, his dragon lord was stronger than mine. There, there was win a window of time in which he maybe could have been aggressive. Um, no, it seems like it's working. It's just a little bit slow, so. All right. All right. I'll resolve. I always want to be camping units on spell jammers in late game. People can sneak scouts, and if they get a scout on top of the spell jammer, it shuts it down. And then they can use a nuke ability to destroy your province upgrades. Um, yeah, it's pretty nasty. You can get a magic victory with, I think, I don't know if you can get it with a single city, actually. It's a good question. I don't know. So, yeah, just passing here. What do we have? Oh, we have another tome. We're literally like just in dark though, so we can't really, um, what you would want to do to be really annoying would probably be like a sanctuary. And then you would just um, get the keeper's mark. My faith is my shield. Oh, cannot queue at this moment. I think the halfling guy is preparing to come over the mountain again. Yeah, you see him like waddling, just like a potato. All right, so yeah, I guess we just go Sanctuary and just get Keeper's Mark. That makes your auto resolves crazy because you just like never lose units. My faith is you need three cities. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Let's get some souls. Souls for the soul god. Souls for the soul throne. We could summon another Reaper too if we want to. Or just more undead armies. Like, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, let's make another... Five turns until the old magic victory. Yeah, so it looks like you need three cities. Should I? I think this is a great DLC. It's very fun. I don't know how much it costs, but uh, it's really fun. The dragon customization. We'll go to the uh, after this. We'll go to the the post screen and look at everything. And let's just summon another undead army. Look at that! Boom! That's a good army. That's seven hundred and twenty power, just like that. <clears throat> I love the thematics of Pwn's build, though. It's really cool. Chosen Destroyers is just, um, it's, they, it, it, they should buff it for sure. I don't know how they would buff it, but it's, it's definitely janky. It's definitely very janky. Yeah, Keeper's Mark will make all your shield and polearm and shock units, like, basically immune to death. We could do, I could do Lord Mazda Mundi. I could do, like, a Toad Lord with lizards, but I feel like the dragons are, are really fun. Hey, Keeper's Mark. One of the best abilities in the game. If somebody has um, uh, the plague damage, though, it really shuts it down. Oh, shit. Well, hopefully they don't get on top of the seed there. I didn't see them spawn. I think it takes a couple turns to burn it down. Is the sausage coming over the mountains yet? What is he doing? Where's his armies? Yeah, it's like there's like an unholy legion of units up there, but... I guess the halfling is doing all of his moves. He's does he not have the city? Is it some weird going on with that? Just have to buff. Yeah, you definitely need more. Okay, and let's get you knock these guys down. All right, 
Should finish him off. I love that they buff the Reaper units, though. The fact that they like buff your army, too, is, is pretty cool. Ah, so that actually slows me down, because I was slow to react. and stupid. Alright. Outstanding. Pass turn. We're just being lazy. I just want to get. I just want to get the uh, end game screen, and then I'll show you guys everything. Get some of those uh, points. Yeah, anointed is a minor transformation, so it can stack with the uh, greater ones. It's uh, it's really good if you have healing, because the unit gets down to one percent, and then you can potentially heal it back up to full. But um, what Pone Pone and I played a game last night where he beat my holy army. Uh, he went um, shadow archers. So he was like a. Shadow archers, ice archers, like ice culture, with um with blight. So we had some nature too, and and like he gets you to one percent, and then the blight keeps you from being able to heal it. So it basically hard counters like the entire strategy. Yeah, it's 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 a rough one. But yeah, this this is uh dude, look how much money I'm getting from the dragon horde. Currently, um, so twenty five, one hundred forty four, and twenty one. That's crazy amount of income. That's crazy. That adds up, man. That really does add up. All right. Cool. And then we just uh, pass. That should be it. The Reaper thing is not new. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Oh, thanks for the correction, brother. Apparently, the Reapers always did that. They didn't seem as good before, but they seem pretty good today. Oh, yeah. Um, shit. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to respect the dragon. We'll, we'll try. It might just end. I think you can. I'm pretty sure it does um, reset your aspects. You can like you can choose new ones. You're tanking mana. I mean, at this point, yes, because I summoned like 50 armies. Like I have armies here, like all over the place. Uh, otherwise, mana is not an issue. I'm just you know was planning an all-out defense. All right. So there we go. Get the old points there. The dragon lord has done it. GG's again. And we'll go look at the dragons. Oh yeah, he can totally... Oh, that, that that's a fun character. The undead dragon, Saffron. Alright, so get those Pantheon points. I don't know if it'll ever matter again. But I already have everything unlocked. Alright, so check this out. Now, you don't have to load into the game anymore to make your armies. There's a Create Faction screen on the front. Stop. In which you can make your... You can just make armies on the front page. So, um, if you go to Dragons, you got Lizard Folk. Their new trait is Poisonous, so every time you attack them in melee, they, they get Blight Resist, which is really nice. Um, actually, that's really good. If you're going going for Holy Lizards, like Holy Lizards, okay? Uh, blight is a counter to Holy, but then you get Blight Resistance from having the Poisonous trait. I did use it this game. It wasn't like super relevant against Pwn, I don't think, but um, yeah, it's not bad. It's really not bad. So they're the new race. Um, same cultures, obviously. You can go with, uh, you know, whatever your whatever your flavor is. See, so a high culture is fine. Um, the new trait that I was using that game is the um, is the artifact hoarders. It's really good. Um, so you start with a, a tier two or tier three hero item, or no, you you get it every time you clear a wonder or an infestation, which you're pretty much guaranteed to get like two or three of these early on, which is which is quite nice. Um, on top of that, you gain extra mana for your heroes uh, via the Artifact Horde. So if, if you're playing Materium, dude, I think this is an auto-take. It's really good. And you also start with two random hero items. So you can get something pretty good. So, um, yeah, just whatever. We're just, we're just clicking on this. Um, the new Tome that you can start with. We looked at this one earlier, but for anybody joining late, it's the Tome of Evolution. Which is crazy good, and it's not just for dragons. If you want to play uh, Astral Elemental Summoner... You get the rapid evolution, so your elementals level twenty percent faster, and they also get resurgent. So if they die in combat, they um, they come back after they die. It is a godsend. It is the best thing for like those type of builds. It is so good. Um, you also get a hatchling. Uh, Draconic vitality is quite good. It just gives your race more HP, which is uh, it's a decent tier one upgrade, honestly. And it also you get a heal, youthful uh, rejuvenation, which is pretty rad. So. Uh, so here's the the different options, right? You have the classic champion. Champion might be really good for dragon Pokemon, like having a dragon tamer. Oh man, I might make a dragon tamer character. Yeah. So next time we play, I'll make a champion um, for the hero experience gain, twenty percent, right? So you make like a, a dragon tamer. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, for golems and for beasts, there's tons of great options. Um, 
But the Dragon Lord, you gain the Dragon Horde. So for every item tier you have, like not equipped to a unit, you get gold. So by the end of the game, I was getting 200 gold to turn from my Dragon Horde. Um, they do have a 30 gold unit upkeep and cannot... So they are more... Dragons out of the gates cost 30 more gold. So your economy is going to be a bit weaker. Um, but even still, it's, it's worth it. I think... I don't know if the Dragon Horde is that good unless you go Materium, honestly. Like, I don't know if I would ever pick the Dragon if I wasn't... Like, Materium Dragon just seems so much better because of the fact that you get um, all those free items from the prospecting. It's just the... They have another... There's two There's two tomes. I'll show you the other one in a second. And Dragon Lords have their own tech tree, which we saw. They transform... Like you saw in that first battle we had, how devastating Pwn's Dragon was. He literally moved in got a breath attack, roasted like half my army for like a quarter of to half their health and then like rampaged them. So the dragon breaths are crazy good. And they have good range too. If you get the comet one, you can shoot it from very far away and be very effective. So um yeah, so the dragons are pretty rad. The customization options are pretty cool too. I mean, you can make like you could totally make a little like you could make like a fat little like sausage dragon like the one from like look at this. You could totally just make like the most sausage dragon ever. Look at this little guy. Oh, oh yeah. Look at this thing, dude. Look at that. Holy shit. Yeah. Pwn says I had major mana problems and, and definitely needed mana early on anyways. Yeah. Dude, look at the dragon. Oh my God. <laughs> so you can choose your different dragon types. You can go astral dragon, which gives you astral affinity. It gives you lightning damage, chaos, um, materium. There's one for each type. They each do different damage types and give you affinity of that specific um, stuff. And obviously they level to do certain things. The dragon loaf. Make his face small. Okay, where, how do I do that? You could, oh my God, look, it's like the Pee Wee Herman dragon. I kind of like that he has a big head though. Holy shit. You could give him like a giraffe. All right, let's see. And his head, let's see here. Oh, you can like, dude, that's like a bird. Seems like a bird all of a sudden. Head size is really small. Okay. Yeah, so you can make like a baby dragon if you want to. It's like a corgi. <laughs> yeah, the corgi of dragons. Anyways, what you guys are all going to be doing is going to be this. Um, it's going to be the big Chad dragon. So let's... Oh, I, this, is, this is my favorite. Look at the short fat one. Hell yeah, dude. The spirit animal. Well, anyways, let's, let's bring him back up to size so you can see what the customization options look like. This is what Pwn and I both did because we're just man children. It has to be giant and cool. They even have a Cathay dragon. See, he gets like the Cathay kind of Chinese inspired um, tendrils on his face. Really, really cool. So yeah, they have a lot of customization. You can do, um, you can you can give them different kind of scale outfits. You can give them like a little bit of like a bird, like a, like a feathered dragon look, which is rad. Um, let's see. And then down here, you can do different heads if you want to. They have all kinds of horns. Like you can do really cool dragon horns. Yeah, they're fun, man. They're really cool. You can change the color, obviously. You can you can be a pink dragon if you want to. You can be an orange dragon. The dreaded black dragon. Oh, always the coolest. Always the coolest. Chonk the dragon, the pigeon dragon, I know. Yeah, they're cool, man. They're super cool. Um, so that's the um, creation screen. And then if we go to the main menu, we can do the uh, encyclopedia. So the two tomes that have been added, are going here going to there it's a you can they're chaos and nature both of the new tomes we looked at the first one and this is tome of the dragons so this is a tier three one it gives all of your battle mages like a, a fire like aoe fire attack which is rad so even if you're not pyromancy you get this uh you get a heal which removes negative status effects and it's a radius so this is a really good counter against blight damage because it removes the negative status effects and heals you so uh, if somebody's got you blighted down, you can use this and get rid of it, which is great. You can make an ice dragon. There is an ice dragon. Yeah, you can make an ice dragon 100%. They they even have frost uh, frost on there. You can make an ice dragon, dude. Here's what Pwn had, the Draconic Transformation. Um, it gives natural healing and immunity to burning, which is pretty cool. Dragon attack is a siege, and then young dragon is what Pwn did. So depending on your alignment, you get different types of dragons. So um, yeah, it's really cool. Hey! Little Paladin, thank you for becoming a channel member. Welcome to the Dukes of Haggard, man. Shadow is ice and undeath, not pure ice. That's true, but you could you could totally just make an astral ice dragon, like, and you're gonna be you're gonna be living it up. Yeah. So those are the two tomes, and they unlock the wyvern eerie. 
So you get the, uh, it gives you knowledge draft and also allows you to recruit wyvern units and different dragon units. Um, so it's much like fiends where you can recruit demon units with that building. Yeah. It's awesome, dude. It's a, it's a great, it's a great one. Um, somebody wanted to see the custom dragons that you start with. Let's see. Sure. Sure. Your journey. So yeah, they have this guy. He's pretty cool. He's like a classic red dragon. So this is like a materium dragon with uh, with chaos. Yeah, poisonous under. Oh, this is like an underground dragon with barbarian stuff. That's really cool. Oh, that's a cool one. That's like a. That's like oh, there's your ice lightning astral dragon right there. So that's astral. Yeah. Ancient wise ones. That makes sense. When a tome is unlocked, a random skill from that tome costs minus sixty percent knowledge. It's not bad. It's not great either though. Tempest, oh my god, he got so much smaller. Oh, look at the crocodiles, man. You're ice with shadow until you turn it undead. Indeed. Indeed. So here's the lizard men. That's a really cool crocodile cor corsairs. What else do they have? Do they have any other? I mean, pre-made ones? I think it's just those. But you could totally make lizard men. You just you would just probably do like a, like a high culture with like Saurus warriors and yeah, and then you have a toad leading your army, which is cool. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and the showcase and everything. GG to Pone. He certainly put a handicap on himself. Still did really well. It was a, it was a fun duel of fates. And uh, we'll be back next time with some more action. We'll scheme up some cool builds. I might do a champion, like a dragon tamer guy. That'd be really cool. Like a support dragon tamer guy where he's there and he just, uh, he, he like is focused on leveling dragons. But man, using the dragons themselves is so much fun. But like, oh man, the dragon hoarder thing isn't that good unless you go materium, I feel. I don't know. We have yet to see. GG well played. See you guys next time. That's it for tonight. And if you enjoyed the stream, please do drop a like on the way out. It helps out quite a bit. And big thanks to Pone for uh, spending his afternoon and night playing. All right. See you next time. Take care. That's it. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves. Yes.